This show him those guns, man. I was creeping on your Instagram. I'm like, yo, this guy is ripped. Oh, Look, at him. Right That's right. Look at they're both hovering. I thought you were a video game player. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of video hey, games. I was a former athlete. I used to do okay. some football, did some wrestling. Nice, I follow nice. his lifting. That's like I'm saying, chat. It's horrifying. That's why I'm the only one with long sleeves because Ange, <laughs> Ange is ripped right now. She's ripped. And then and this, he's got he's got the big, and I'm like. Man, I'll put mine oh, in his long sleeve. We so. see those guns. You got some Come guns, on. and I see that. Uh, see but them. still, man, it's like <laughs> these two youngsters out here just flexing. It's like, dang it. So I'm going long sleeve. I'm going long <laughs> sleeve. But no, so, but to get back to it, and the reason why we we're saying it in the first place is so I know that they were saying the same thing, but Norma Dumont misses the same way. And she ends up missing by five as well. How nice. will that play into? Today she's been fine thirty percent. I wonder. I purse. haven't had a chance to look and see how she is feeling. I can't see the eyes, right? But mm. I don't know how beat up was she? she. I didn't see how bad it was for her getting in there. You know, I need to get this story straight because I'm I'm confused as to when they found out they had to cut more weight. Because if it was in the morning when they still had time, she might get messed up from trying to cut that extra half a pound. Yeah. But if it was once they got there and it was too late to do anything about it, then she should be chilling right now. Okay. Well, then see, I want to wrap with you because that is something important <laughs> to know that we have those kind of, you have to weigh in on those. You have those scales about, right? This right. isn't a surprise, except when you do get on that commission scale at the end, right? You know what I mean? As soon as that quote unquote official scale, and mm -hmm. it's like, okay, this thing is a little heavy, but wouldn't you want to, as soon as it's up, do you have the option to get in there and at least check it? Um, you know what I mean? At least can't, can't get, on, get it. on it. No, you can't they don't get, like on, it get on the official scale at all. The, the one with the slidey thing, yeah. they don't let you touch that thing. Okay, so, so yeah, it's, it's, that's it's how long is it? sketch. Okay, okay, so how long is it up? I, because they were doing the, the weight cutting show, right? And I was uh -huh. talking on it. So do you, is it like a two hour window or do they say you cannot be here until 20 minutes that, you know what I mean? At this time, exactly. Or those two hours that they're up there, can you like, they ha, huh, all right. You can't get on that scale unless you're ready to make it official. You can't get on unless you're ready. Like you can't get on it early to check. You can't, you can only get on the digital ones that they provide you before you get on the official one. That's the okay. way that, uh, that's the way they do it now. Cause I know it wasn't like that always. No, that's but why that's, I was having that yeah. conversation that you could, the minute they made it official, mm -hmm. you were allowed to check it before you, and they're like, man, I'm a pound off or whatever. I'm going to go, I've got two hours before it's a, the official way in. I'm going to go cut it. But it seemed like this time that some people were just waiting till the end and they yeah. got on. Like, but if that's why they kept checking the other scale, now they've got a legitimate argument. You know what I mean? Exactly. Yeah. So it depends. If, if it was the scale that was right at the uh, at the arena, then, yeah, they definitely have an argument. Okay, if it was so the that one that was at the hotel, they might have been able to cut that extra half a pound. But I think that's what happened with Olivieta was he was it was mm -hmm. the scale at the venue or at the official weigh-ins and uh -huh. even he looked around a little lost and then i heard the story that he had peeled off his his trousers and he still didn't lose anything so i don't know it's yeah craziness. man it's but, crazy well, yeah all right so now we've got this fight with chesson and dumont and right off the bat getting back to the reason what got us started we got the righty versus lefty dumont looks like she is Regardless of missing the weight, she looks filled up. She's looking all uh -huh. right, Chess on. Yes. She's trying she to cut that chunky. right in. Yeah, she's like, she has those nice thick legs. I'm I'm expecting some like killer push kicks from her. <laughs> like some good yeah, leg kicks she can in. launch people with those legs. You know, and that's the one thing that I think Chesson's doing a really good job right now, kind of circling. If you see Dumont's already starting to switch up the stance, what would be the reason to switch up the stance? And do you have certain offense you want to do on one side or, you know what I mean? Or is there something the fighter is showing you that makes you want to switch up the stance? It depends because I know uh, Chesson, she's, she's a really nice rangy striker. So I think Dumont's trying to keep her guessing on where the targets are. When you switch your stance, the front leg isn't there anymore. So uh, Macy's trying to go for that lead leg. When she switches, Macy has to second guess and say, okay, now what am I going to hit? Oh, I she's do doing like a that. good job though. Nice catch of the leg. Chasson's doing a good job of staying patient, trying to catch that kick, throw that left hand going inside. And Ooh, see right here, here's the one thing left from I would say. Yeah. Dumont's throwing that. She's coming in, she's throwing that right hand, but then coming back with that left hook. And it seems to be an open, that second punch, right? 
Yeah. And that's the other thing that switch and stance does. You're not sure when they're going to pop in because they're switching their feet. Your, your peripheral vision is trying to calculate everything that's coming forward. And when you're switching, switching, you're not sure when that forward charge is going to happen. So she's doing a good job of kind of bucking. Dumana is bucking, coming in, coming out, and then committing to a nice flurry. And a good job right there, Chase. So, see, that's what I, I like that Dumont is. She's being oh, seen there. Yeah, she there's a the flurry. Big right, there. right hands go right there. But see, I like that she's bringing back that hook. That was a nice two, three, two, kind of keep the combination going a little bit. And, you know, I mean, that's the one thing she has going when she waits. Chesson is out there kind of just dwelling in the background looking to find that opening. Yeah. Mm hmm. She used to start using her length a little more. Macy does like just stick those push kicks in there. If she had a hard weight cut, she needs to dig that foot into her guts when she comes forward. Just use her range and then she can start dictating when she comes in, when she does her damage. Right now, Macy's fighting like the shorter fighter a little bit. Oh, hip throw. Nice. Almost. Hip, oh, almost had a hip throw. Nice hook and then fade oh. out. But that's exactly, I like that you say that. And that's the one thing we're always talking about, right? When you have the range fighter, Chesson's on the outside circle and utilize that range. Make mm -hmm. Dumont have to work her way mm -hmm. in. Make Dumont have to figure out how she's going to get inside and make sure you're busting her up with those ranges. Like you said, those teep kicks out front, things like that. You know what I mean? To canalize the circle out the way she did right there. That's when she finally invited Dumont in, but Dumont Dumont's comes through with that. Good combos together. I here. was going to say mm -hmm. this, that two, three, two that she's throwing over and over. It's looking like that could get in there. Just slowly walking her down. And then she gets within distance. She throws out like a flurry of three punches. I like it. Now they're just, again, the kind of the feeling out process. We've got 52 seconds left and just kind of moving, but I like the movement again of chess on staying on the outside. Oy! She just see, needs more offense. Yeah. She stepped in a little too close to that kick and ran into Ooh. a one, two by Dumont. That was nice there. I don't like the naked kicks, like the kicks by themselves that Macy's throwing. That's why Dumont's able to just Ooh. counter her off of that because she's not putting that much it, into it either. She's hesitating a bit, throwing the kick a little light or a little slow. And then Dumont's just reading it and throwing down the pipe. I definitely like it. And that's it, right? Every time, because then you know that those counter shots, because you have a choice. When when Ch when Macy throws the kick with nothing on it, boom, boom, you step in, you throw it too. And I, every time she closed it in, she was able to move out of the way a little bit right there. But she's kind of asking, making sure her hands are up. Keep those hands up when you throw that kick. Oh, we had a spin oh, and a takedown from Chess. Nice huh? takedown by Macy, but a spin by Dumont right at the end. Maybe. <laughs> Well, I mean, you look at significant strikes. We had 21 significant strikes for Macy, 20 for it's Dumont. Pretty close, pretty close. I think that takedown might have been the – Very well. Might have been the moment. Very well might have. Nah, I think you Dumont think? definitely took that round. I mean, I don't know. Everyone knows I don't know how to score fights. <laughs> but nobody does. Either way. Hey, some of these judges with their 30-27 and yes. their wild 30-27 oh. in the other direction, people giving out 10 ace like it's Skittles. We, you, nobody knows. <laughs> you know. Nobody knows, man. You oh, know? man. Yeah, but um, this uh, that round was definitely in Dumont's hand up until that moment. I think she'll probably second guess spinning again because Macy read that really well, mm -hmm. just going underneath her. She changes she levels good for a tall girl, man. She needs yeah, to do she more got of underneath. That. She was able to get underneath Dumont and get yeah. underneath the hips, which is pretty impressive. They both seem upbeat. The corners seem ready. They both look, the one thing though, again, just missing weight. She doesn't look too beat up. She doesn't look too fatigued. This, she looks like she's yeah. still, no, she Dumont looks, looks like here. she's ready. You know what I mean? Right. <laughs> I blame this, maybe, damn the scale. The scale did it. <laughs> it was the scale's fault. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, chat. Round two, round two. The scale owes her money. Yeah, right? Yeah, 30%. <laughs> it seemed like Chasson actually kind of picked up throughout that round. Let's see if it continues. Yeah. Here. She definitely got more comfortable. Slow. Yeah, for sure. See, I like how she definitely seems up on her wheels. She's starting to move around a little bit on that outside, the out, outside of the track, that outside track there, you know, and she's doing a good job of moving. Dumont's not over attacking the situation. She's trying to cut mm -hmm. her off a little bit. Uh-huh. I like Macy's look too, too. She looks like a snow elf or something. <laughs> oh my lord, the gamer just popped out. She said yeah. snow elf. I love it. <laughs> She's like holding holding the arms back, but you know at any moment that thing's going to extend out. Yeah, just like that. <laughs> <laughs> but I like that too, how she's setting that down with it. There you go, mm. trying to parry that kick by Dumont. See, Dumont's got some heavy shots, yeah, Angie. She, she can just heat. get inside, right? Yeah, mm. yeah. 
Macy's uh, filling that range now, though. She's making Dumont miss a lot more than she was in the first round. I like how they just kind of, again, just right in the center chat, just that feeling out, not really the feeling out process, but looking. See, oh. tell, oh, like that's about, what she's <laughs> different. Stand, that's what I'm saying. Again, trying to give different Ooh. looks. She's got a really long over. She's going in for the takedown. She's got her pushed up against the fence. Yeah, Chesson's got Dumont up against the fence. Dumont's got two underhooks, though. I like how she was able to sag down, break the clinch, try to get the hips lower. Dumont's mm -hmm. looking to try to muscle her up a little bit. And Dumont's just chilling here because she has mm -hmm. her, she has Macy like so high up. There's not really a threat of a takedown unless Dumont starts pushing into her. Now she has to start working. That would be a little intimidating right there saying I went from having double underhooks. You broke that, went down, was able to pick a leg. Now you've got a body lock and you're looking to try to trip me. Good job of scrambling. But that would be, I mean, I'm inside. I've got a double locked up. I've got double unders. You oh. muscle through it. Ooh, there's Macy's the takedown. Got some strength, gets the takedown. Chesson's gets got the, the back. back too. Oh, oh get a she's hook hook back in, get that trying, big old she's trying to dig that left hook in. She's got oh. one in. Oh. Oh. Mark she went in and got pushes up. her off. She rolled out of it. GG keeping that leg. Macy's keeping that leg. Does a well, scramble. Here's the back scramble. Chat's on's back up. Same spot they started. <laughs> 20 Good seconds job. later, you two, they yep. come back and there they are back against the fence. <laughs> Macy's got the head in the pocket, underhook side. But Macy can go it. again with the same exact takedown she just got, putting that knee in the middle and pulling her over. Oh, yeah, and there she goes. It. She tried for it. You know, we and that's just got to keep going. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, go ahead. <laughs> say Dumont is again, the way that she's able to power in and get those double underhooks. But for oh. Macy with that lock, she just powers right through mm. two double underhooks. That's impressive. Yeah. The cage work nowadays is, is so much more advanced than it was like back when we were on tough, yeah. you know, <laughs> <laughs> everyone underst understands the game so well. It's yeah, hard to hold somebody down and keep them down. You used to see somebody get put up against the cage and you'd see takedowns quite often. And now people's mm -hmm. takedown defense is just so good against the cage. It's crazy. Yeah. It's almost easier to get the takedown in the middle of the, yeah. of the octagon nowadays. Yeah, it's definitely, let's get out to the center so they can't scramble as much. Or we can try to time it right Ooh. here. She tries with that body lock to trip her over. And now she's unable to, she's overpowering that underhook side, overhook side. Oh, oh she went for an over oh. under, but a little she's too, back her feet. Dumont. a little too tired for that one. Yeah, not enough team. rotation on the hip, but then she plumps ahead, throws big knees. Dumont, Dumont just throwing some heavy hands in this clinch. Yeah. And then again, Macy just bowls her right into the fence, and then she's looking mm -hmm. to get that underhook and look for that takedown again. Dumont's got to get a little fatigued, constantly being pushed up against the fence. And yeah, Macy's head positioning looks real annoying. Like that, yeah, I don't know right if people, yeah, like if you've ever right felt that. Pocket. Yeah, uh -huh. right here yeah. in the pocket. It's a beautiful That's place. That's so annoying. Underhook side, forehead, in the chin. And then again, you know how hard that is, right, Anthony? You're stuck looking away because the mm -hmm. head's here. It's hard to try to be able to grapple in that situation because you kind of, you go where the head position. goes, right? Exactly. Your body can't go yeah. turn the other way. You have to go where the head goes. I heard a great thing in jujitsu, jiu jujitsu, jiu but like if you ever done a squat, think about when you're doing a squat when your face, your head straight forward, you got like more power. Well, as soon as you turn your head, it takes away almost, you know, 20% of your strength. You mm -hmm. can't absolute as much. Sense. Yeah. It's absolute sense. It changes your like uh, core connection. Mm-hmm. But I like it then they're able to keep it against the fence. She's doing a good job of just muscling. Dumont is doing a good job. Oh, she went for the trip. Ah. Good round. Good round. So we have, I think you just look at the stats, total strikes 75 to 60, but significant strikes 32 for Macy, 34 for Dumont. But you have three takedowns for mm -hmm. Chasson. I don't know. I don't know how you two think, but I've, I've kind of have that round was Macy. So maybe one and one if, if you were thinking uh -huh. going by those numbers. I don't know. Could see one and one. Yeah, I'm thinking one and one. Looking at chat, they're kind of, are they torn? We got some with chat. Some, all right, all right. You were saying um, you thought Dumont got the first round. Oh, wait, I, no. I, you were saying you thought uh, Macy got the first round, though, so she could be up two. She could be up two. I guess it just kind of depends. Yeah. Ring generalship, you know what I mean? You can and see one, one or two, well. That's a big one. That's what it was. Exclamation. Exclamation picks chat, exclamation sweeps chat, exclamation quiz chat, exclamation this, exclamation overkill, exclamation 
gems, and the biggest one, exclamation Twitter, at UFC Streams. That's the one. I mean, if you're Chasson, you come out here, and I would imagine you try to do the same thing, pressure, put up against the cage. She was doing mm-hmm. pretty well with that. All right. So, But now, Ange, if you're Dumont, what do you have to do? Man, you have to get in, and you have to not hesitate on those hip throws. You can see her getting the arms – up like getting the double overs and trying to turn her hips like right in the ground. Heavy hands right yeah. now. She's with some big shots. And she see that and was Chasson her opportunity goes right, right there. Down, takes the back. Dumont yeah, heads to the fence. To keep doing that. Bill has her back now. Oh, she worked her way around. There you go. Oh, hey. good knee. Lens a good knee though. Dumont nasty knee. And the way that she dropped down, Macy was dropping down. She gets the takedown. And I think that's going to be the part that's going to be most disheartening was she tried to step in, get a little aggressive with two punches, got too close because Macy and that running double, she's on fire with it and getting that body lock against the fence. Right. That was like a trigger for Macy. As soon as she got in that (laughs) range, she was like, okay, we're going underneath. Every time she's gotten aggressive too, like in the first round when she threw that spinner, when uh, Dumont threw that spinner, Macy was able to sneak underneath there and get the takedown. So that's that's uh, Macy's key, and Dumont has to be a little sneakier when she rushes in. Yeah, the pressure, the pressure, and it's like whatever you throw, and that's what I was going to say. That makes it hard to want to throw punches, want to step mm-hmm. in and throw your shots when she's been able to time you twice, and this is what happens is you're stuck right here. Do you just – go for bowl, maybe set something up to get her to step in and maybe run into something. I mean, that's yeah. gotta be the hardest part, right? It has to be, but you, at this point of the fight, it's too close to, to hesitate. It's too close to uh, second guess. She has nice knees, nice, fast knees. If she's flashing Oy. those knees, it's going to make Macy less, uh, less into the idea of ducking her head into her hips to get the takedown. Yeah, because the one thing she is doing, this is she's kind of she's Mm -hmm. falling into the takedown instead of snapping in. She's Mm -hmm. kind of leaning in, leaving herself possibly open, right, to maybe get knee in the face. Yeah, yeah, Mm -hmm. that knee is there. She just has to. uh, Dumont just has to. just throw it. it. Yeah. Just throw throw it. it. Just do it. <laughs> Set up punches, you know, rather than she's trying to throw these knockout shots upstairs. And that's one of the things you got to try to set that up, right? We can't mm-hmm. overstep, overcommit, especially when someone's trying to meet us with the with the takedown. So maybe you do something to get her to bite, drop the head off. Oh, here was the knee I was looking for in the first place. Mm-hmm. But again, Macy with that underhook and putting that head, it's getting a little underneath the pocket, but still she's doing a really good job. I mean, she chat is literally just at an angle, driving her up against mm-hmm. the fence and Dumont just can't really do much. Spearing with her. Can't do fence. much. Right. Yeah. Right. right? Exactly. Yeah. This just spearing her. What would you do? Mm-hmm. Like you see Macy's trying to get the other hand. We're hearing a little bit of the crowd getting a little restless. You know what I mean? Should the reps break this or what? I mean, she can wait. Dumont can wait for the ref to break it, but it would do her better to just get out of there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, get out of there. Try an off balance. Try a trip. Try to lift. She's trying to lift that underhook right there, but she can also use the overhook to shuck her one way and then go the other way. It has to be back and forth. And we just try to go one way. It's easy for Macy to figure out what you're doing and just stop you in your tracks. See, now she's doing it right now. Dumont is finally framing the head. That's what Uh I needed the whole time. If you've mm-hmm. got, you're stuck with an overhook, you got to frame that head and do a better job. Oh, and it caused a reversal oh. right there when Chasson Great use for of the, the momentum. Takedown. Yeah. Nice job, momentum, but now but Chasson comes back. Chasson's really good in these scrambles. She's always, oh, she, she's even she's in a bad spot, she gets out of it. Oof. Oh, that oh, knee. Oh. Oh. Dumont is landing some hand. heavy oh. shots Dumont. this round, though. Oh, Macy, this Macy little wobble. They would hold on. Dumont's trying to get some space out in the center of the cage, hitting the uppercut. Macy's doing a great job. And of just zombie stay on in, her. right? Yeah, just zombie, just zombie, zombie, zombie. Oh, pressure. my goodness. And that wow. is so annoying. Like, I can, I can feel Macy's strength there. You yeah. feel like you're fighting a zombie, like literally fighting a zombie. Someone That's what I'm saying. Just zombie in, and just walking. Yes. In, just hanging on you, hanging on you. Like, get off me so I can strike. Yeah. Have you ever been like held down by your older brothers or something or any <laughs> situation? <laughs> Try to fight your dad or something. Yeah. <laughs> like the they older brother can well. walk through oh. your entire yes. offense because they're just, oh, yeah, they just come That's what right. it that's, feels like when yeah. someone's that good at pressuring in and, and just not giving up. 
No, she did a good job. But once again, she was able to stop the motion that was happening. And now here again, Dumont's got to figure out. See, I don't know why she doesn't go back to framing that face, a little bump, get that elbow, that left arm down and frame that head because that's what she has to do in a situation like this. Unless she gets below she the waistline, then you can start pushing man. down on it. <laughs> yeah, that's she's our going, only chance of winning right now. Short time, but wow. No way. I mean, yeah. This is pretty much in the bag at the moment. Oh, that uh, but see, knee is there too. Yeah. See, again, she's too late to frame on that head, but it was too job, but a good job by mate. Man. Real good so, pressure. I'm surprised. What did mm. you guys think about that last round? Because Chasson really controlled the positioning, right? She had her up against the fence a lot, but Dumont landed some heavy shots throughout the whole entire round. So how do you score that? I feel oh, like, I got it. I Go ahead. Know. Well, I feel like uh, Chasson's going to take it just because of the pressure and the flurries wow. looked a little even. Like Dumont was landing. It looked like more power, but uh -huh. volume was wise, some shots too, right? Yeah, volume wise, it was equal and control was on Macy's side. But it was it was a really close round. Also, now, six takedowns throughout the fight. I was going to say, now having to ah. deal with that wrestling side of life and the way that they push him back and stuff, does, I, I'm, I'm doing it. Not making weight, does that say anything? Because she seemed like she had the conditioning, but maybe it was just a, I don't know, maybe like she just didn't have that extra, I guess, if that makes sense. Maybe we put yeah. too much. I'm not going to talk about weight being the problem as much as she probably wasn't ready for a fight like this, but an overall with that much wrestling going on, right? So, yeah, in the... Well, Oh yeah, just um, just the way she was grabbing too. I know how much that drains the life out of you. So <laughs> once she finally did, once Dumont finally did get up against the fence, she probably was so tired. It was, took everything in her just to try to pull her up and get her off of her. And that's the one thing that you that it happened is when you finally do get free. And that's again the way she just kind of zombies in and is on you, and you're just mm -hmm. like, oh man. And when you finally get free, it's like. Nope, I'm melted. Dang it, yeah. there's not much I can do right now. Dang, you know, you zapped me. This is one of those fights where, honestly, I could end up seeing it go either way with how the judges are. Let's hear what the judges say real uh -huh. quick. Yep, split, huh? Yeah. 30-27. Yep. This had to be a chess on then. Yeah, it has to be. Mm-hmm. All right, so two 30-27s, and then someone throws a 29-28 the other direction. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. We're on I that hibbity-bibbity again. We're on that hibbity-bibbity. I don't know. I mean, that's I, I get how they got we to those doing. conclusions. Yeah. yeah. I, I do get how they got to those conclusions, but as soon as I heard the 30-27, the only way I could have seen it would have been for uh, Chesson. Because yeah. there was a, at least uh -huh. one round that was without a doubt, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's it's super screwy when you have 30-27 one way, 30-27 the other. The other yeah, way. and that's yeah. super weird. Yeah. That, that you shouldn't have that, yeah. And maybe somebody, they did like the 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 idea that when DeMont did throw, she was throwing to knock you out, whereas both Macy was just throwing to be busy, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think most of Macy's shots got blocked. A lot of DeMont's stuff got through, but at the same time, Macy had a better complete game. 100 I'll tell you what, that her left cauliflower ear is savage. I love it. <laughs> I love that cauliflower ear. It's the yeah. elf ear. <laughs> it's the way it's all built up on the inside. See, but look, it's like but <laughs> it, it, it when it maintains form, but it's all on the inside. I mean, that's mm -hmm. what I like the ear. When it's normal on the outside, it, <laughs> if that makes sense. As opposed to like this one kind of give up. It's just a point. There's no arch no more. It's like <laughs> you can't wear these fancy things. No, you can't wear no earbuds. They don't fit. No, they fall off. You can't. Yeah. The ones that hang over the top, they, they fall off. Yeah. It's yeah. horrible. <laughs> it, it's terrible. It's terrible. Yeah. By the way, I want to say what's up to YouTube. YouTube. How's everybody doing out there? Remember, if you want to be able to con be, be able to rap with us, make sure you drop, come over here to Twitch TV slash UFC. Get in the chat. The water is nice. We are paying attention to it. Having a lot of fun over here. Also, Facebook. Oh, yeah. What's up? Book in the face. I hope you will. And Twitter. What's going on? All of you out there, if you are watching from wherever you are watching and you're watching us, much love and appreciation. We'd love to have you. But make sure at UFC streams on Twitter because we're always posting cool stuff. We're always putting out some cool stuff. We're new and we're blowing up. So get in there. Let's go. Look at Bilal Muhammad. 
Ah. Five, number five. Yeah. Lauren Murphy, who is she fighting next? Oh. Oh, Power Capel. Oh, so <laughs> cute. They never let us sit in the crowd. <laughs> so here was here's the question I was going to ask you guys because whenever you hear about people missing weight, it always is immediately um, people go to the conditioning, right? during the fight like they say okay how's this going to affect them during the fight is that mainly just due to the fact of the idea that if you couldn't make the weight then the weight cut had to have been just extremely difficult or is it like the prolonged uh cutting at the end where you're like you're at such a low weight and depleted for an extended period of time like what what is the main thought process that goes into that when you're like oh it, it's going to affect their conditioning go ahead Ange. Um, I, th I think uh, your body is just more frail when uh -huh. you get to the point of failure. You know uh -huh. what I mean? So like right. if you're thinking like uh, like in workout terms, if you go to failure, there's nothing else you can do right. to lift more, or do more. And when you're weight cutting to failure, you get to that point where you stop sweating, you stop, uh, you can't move, you can't like stand up. And uh -huh. that's not good. Like not everyone, just because we always look like death when we weigh in doesn't mean that we couldn't uh -huh. get in a fight right there and then you right. know was, your body is just in a weakened state and uh you can look at what happened with um who was it that got pushed by jeremy and you had like that killer whiplash that put him oh, out of the yeah, fight no, for like jeremy two Steven years chat? Yeah. who was that yeah i forget i forget his name um or, or i know his name but it, i'm drawing a blank right now but um, but yeah, like your your body is so weak. Your car close. Thank you, Burgundy. Yes, thank you, thank you. Your body is so weak at that moment that you know when you're recovering, it might not recover as well as someone who was able to walk around and feel like kind of normal and that's just a little thirsty. So that's why the conditioning always comes into play. But at the same time, you have a fighter that couldn't make the weight, so they end up being bigger. Yeah a lot of times than the one who did make weight. So that's the unfair part. If the mm -hmm. fight goes all three rounds, then you might have an advantage in your conditioning. But if the fight is has a really crazy first round, you might get hurt in that first round where you wouldn't have been as hurt if the person didn't have an extra like 10 pounds on them in, uh -huh. in, the, uh, in that round. You know, and the other part is really quick. Twitchy Terry TV, thank you for the Jakar Close and AF Whoosh. Thank you very much. I just thank seen Burgundy first, but thank you all for the reply. So the other thing is, too, is if you think about it this way, Vis, if they missed weight, we always, they make this assumption he must not have trained or she, they must not have trained very hard in camp. Because why else uh, would you be off weight? You must have had, maybe right. you weren't training so hard at camp. Maybe you're having mm -hmm. diet issues. Maybe you Too had- Too much tear you know I mean? They always, bad, right? They always look like maybe his heart, their heart's not into it, maybe, right? So you uh, always have to deal with that because if you're a fine- tuned machine and ready to go the number one thing is you're always on weight and ready to go right so when you get right. caught off that's kind of one of the things they start thinking well why were you caught off well maybe they didn't get the workouts they were looking for maybe they were sick for two weeks maybe so you start looking for all right those are chinks in the armor so to uh -huh. speak and that's kind of where it plays into and then to go back to what andrew's saying which is more important is how hard was the weight cut itself and then when you see the eyes sucked in the face is done it's like how much can they rehydrate the next day how much do you really have left did you have to spend a lot of time riding that bike do you spend a lot of time in that sauna and how nightmarish is it to try to get it back the next day and that's another issue if you cut too much weight right most of us have a routine we have a pattern even if it's 10 pounds if you're used to it you know what you're doing the week of to peel it off and it just goes along with the schedule you know i'll be two pounds at this time i'll be one pound at this time and i should be on so that's kind of the you know that's the one thing but you always say it's the first thing we always say if you didn't make weight maybe they're not in as good a shape as they thought they mm -hmm. were going to be because right the camp must mm -hmm. not have been what they were expecting only because you wouldn't be in a situation if it was perfect right Ugh, i'm getting I guess PTSD the one, talking about it. <laughs> it is tough because ah. it is tough about, right you got weight coming up anyway so <laughs> we got that so yeah. All right. But okay. So with that coming up, that's the thing, right? You have your, you know, where you are. Are you happy mm -hmm. with where you're at right now on the scale? Let people understand that, that are in chat. Like you're monitoring, again, you're monitoring your weight from jump street. Are you happy where you're at right now? And if you weren't, let's just say, you know what I mean? 
Would you right. would you be able to gauge yourself, right? Yeah. Um, it's it's funny because like you gotta you also have to stay big enough to to compete as well. So you don't want to go in super low. I had to up my calories last week because I was a little too low uh, mm-hmm. for fight week. Um, so you're on the scale a lot just because everything is like perfectly regimented. You, you must be 127 when you get to Vegas, you must be 126 after you like do your run and your first workout. Okay. Media day. I'm hoping I'm like 125, you know, and then like weight Mm -hmm. cut day, you're hoping that you don't have more than eight pounds of water to get rid of you for that, like 12 hour stretch of you being totally dehydrated. So yeah, it's a, it's always like a science experiment. It's uh-huh. actually pretty crazy the fact that we put ourselves through it. But you know, once you get a once you get a routine and once you get a good method of doing it that your body reacts to, then you you go by that. Like that's 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 your bread and butter. It's awesome uh, when people share this because as a fan, and I'm sure like most people in chat, it's like you, we just see the, what you see on TV, right? So it's like you see your fighter, <laughs> they show up, you might see them do the interviews and all this stuff, but there's so much stuff that's going on behind the scenes that uh-huh. they're dealing with before they even get in the octagon. They're already having to deal with the weight management. You know, on top of that, it's like you have to go to this interview, make sure you eat this meal at this time. There's so much more stuff going on than what you actually get to see or realize, right? Mm-hmm. Well, and that's why I love having Ann Jr. to be able to talk about that is again, the one thing that I kept, well, that's because the one thing I kept talking about the last couple of days and stuff, you know, on, on the stream, you know, on Twitch TV slash UFC stream, hey. drop in, hit the follow. But the one thing is, is that's what I was saying is we always have a scale with us. It's never a mm-hmm. question. Everything we do, we're getting on a scale. We have a scale. We know. And like you said, I want to be a certain weight every day before I ever even get to that week of the fight. Right. And that's what I love having this conversation about. Cause like you said, this, not many people truly understand the goings on behind it, but that is something for us. And that's why I was having such a hard time. What do you mean? I, how could you not get on a scale? Like you want to know every five seconds how much you weigh. You have a drink of water, how much do I weigh? You have right. you go to the bathroom, how much do I weigh? You <laughs> even so much as did a walk, how much did I lose? It's constant. Uh-huh. constant. Uh-huh. It's an obsession. You think we <laughs> have, all have eating disorders <laughs> afterwards, you know? Because it, it is one hundred percent We're so concerned with that number, and it's yep. not even how we look. Like we don't care how we look. Is we're concerned with that number and being on weight on the day that we have to weigh in, and that's it. Right. And do I have enough to cut? Do I have enough of this? Am I still, yeah. you know what I mean? How much am I staying hydrated? How much are mm-hmm. going into it? And that's, again, that's why I have a different shock. And that's when most people, you know, it's 0.5 or not. That's, we spend our time. I'm trying to figure out, I want to be exactly. And the other thing is I'm not leaving that, my quote unquote, my weight session until I'm about, a, I would say if you can do a pound, I'd like to be a pound under because I never, you never know, right? They make one mm-hmm. adjustment. The, the weather could be different. The scale could be funky by half a yeah. pound. So I always want to make sure while you're still rolling, right? And while we're still going through it, let's just cut that extra half. If we're not quote unquote, just on a struggle bus, right? Right. Because it's so much easier to keep going than to stop and then start up again and get your sweat going again and like go through that whole process. Like you're using way more energy just to get the water out of you a second time than to do it if you have that energy already. But I I do like doing like a little morning weight cut if the weight comes off really easy at night because then I can actually sleep. I don't feel like this, like my gums, my (laughs) gums sticking to my teeth or my lips sticking to my teeth because I I'd like no to water not have that mouth. cotton mouth, right? I would like to not have that cotton mouth at least at <laughs> night. So if I can have just a little bit of water, I'll yes. cut a little extra so I can have a sip. Of course, I'm standing on the scale while I'm doing it. Yeah, swishing yep. it around with, 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 you know. <laughs> with the plastic cup, like right, exactly, yes, like yes. measured out. Per, like you stand on the scale as you pour it and yes. go. All right, I'm, I'm. It says I weigh one fifty five exactly with this cup of water in my hand. Here we go, you know, and then yeah. you just savor it. But that's what I don't uh-huh. think people truly understand is just how impulsive we can't stop thinking about every little thing we put in our body the entire exactly. time and how much it'll make us weigh. It's crazy. Do you have uh, the nightmares, uh, weight cut night? Did you have oh, yeah. the nightmares? Oh, yeah, you're 10 pounds of, over. I- yeah, or waking up and drinking. <laughs> I, I always have a nightmare of waking up, sleepwalking, and drinking, like chugging a coconut water. And I'll Without wake even up- thinking, right? <laughs> I'll wake up. I would be sweating if I had water in my body, but I'll, <laughs> I don't. But I would be sweating waking up 
after that nightmare. <laughs> well, so, real quick, because Chad asked something as Chinaldo's getting ready to walk out, because this is going to be an amazing fight. And I did do. Felder's stance was it's 100% on the fighter. If you have a team and a nutritionist, how is your shared blame? Well, if you have people there, it's not... It's still on you, but your teammates, that's kind of what you have them there for is to help because it's not easy. You are in a state of, I, how do you, how do you put it? Just, and you're bad shit crazy. All yeah, you're thinking yeah, about nuts, is I don't, yeah. I don't like feeling this way. I'm miserable. I'm hot. I'm starving. What we were just talking about, the cotton mouth, my lips are stuck. My eyes, I feel them sucked in. I don't know how much I have in me. All the while, here you are just depleting the, pardon my language, the crap out of yourself. And you still have in the back of your head, I still have to fight tomorrow. I, I, come on. So, yes, you need to have people, right? And how important is it to have those, have certain just people with you to motivate you, prompt you, and kind of keep you in check? Man, I, I, I mean, I haven't had this experience, but I feel like it's probably would have similar to what it feels like dealing with like someone going cold turkey it's just you you can't drink water and that's all they want and you have the water and you can give it to them but you have to deny them the water and that's it's it's the hardest thing once they start getting the puppy dog eyes and they start <laughs> whining and they start telling you how much they're gonna cut weight the next day but you know sometimes you just gotta put your mama voice on and just be like no get back in the tub. No, you know, and it, it's a hard thing to do, but, and, and they always thank you. So once you make that weight, once they get the water back in them, then they're happy that it's oh, over I love you. And, and they're oh, ready to fight. <laughs> I'm so happy you said it because I didn't even put that. Here's the other thing, chat. Like what Ange just said is you're literally begging. You're pleading. Yeah. All right. Just let me have a, just let me have a glass of cold just, water. I promise you, I'll run two cube. extra. One ice cube. Can I just have one ice cube? Please don't. Okay. If if I just just let me lay down for an hour. Just let me lay down for an hour. And if I don't have to do, just don't make me run. Please. Yeah. Can I just have a carrot? Please. But you really a are carrot. right. <laughs> but you're literally I that, that carrot, broken. Man. And I just yeah. Can I have a couple of ice chips? And to me, it's like a slushy. That is a flavored yes. slushy in my it's head. So if I'm good. eating ice chips. But you're to that point. Point. I would, I would beat you up for a for a cup of ice right now. Just, <laughs> I mean, I, yes. <laughs> oh my! God. I don't know if people, but you see what I'm saying. When you're in that moment, and that's what it is, and you have to literally. That's why it's tough to be around, like to be the cornerman, be your friends, be your teammates, because mm -hmm. you're like, I can't do it. But, <laughs> but you're. <laughs> Especially if you've never done it before, like first time oh. at a hard weight cut is like you're like, oh, just give them a little bit, you know. Yeah. You're so <laughs> such a wimp. Like after a couple times, and you're like, nope, get back in the tub. Nope, get back in the tub. <laughs> but and then it's so hard. It's like, okay, let me go sit over. Here. Can I just sit for a little while? No, you got to get back in. Let me just yeah. lay here. Let me. Okay, can I just take a little nap? I'm gonna nap for just a little bit. Um, I just want to lay here. Nope, you got to get in. You're not done yet. You still have three pounds. No, 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 no. I I'll lose in a minute. I'll lose in a minute. I mean, you'll <laughs> find everything to rationalize. Yeah. All right, it's let's hard, get back man. to the fight. Now, here's a fight <laughs> that I'm actually looking forward to because both of these two, Chinaldo and Roberts, have very big left hands. I'm like, all right, this is going to be the striking. I'm excited for this fight. This, the striking side, I think both of them, this is what they do. Right. We got Trinaldo getting introduced right now. Man, I flip in. It's been a minute since these guys have fought, isn't it? No. Both of these guys. Maybe maybe not. I'm gonna, I'm well, see, not as busy as he had liked given a two year. Right. Yep. <laughs> right on cue. <laughs> right on cue. He said it right. Right with yeah. yeah. That was awesome. All right, here Ooh. we go. The first 30 seconds. I think but Danny see, Roberts is coming off of a knockout, right? Look at the size of Roberts on his Roberts, side. You can I mean, tell. He's long. Look at the length Look at of him. Huge compared to Trinaldo. I mean, Trinaldo's a big guy too. Roberts looks mm -hmm. giant in there. But you like how I like how Trinaldo's doing a good job of trying to cut him off. We've got Roberts on an outside track. I like to call it. Oh by no! The, way between the cage <laughs> and that corner. There goes Trinaldo. And big left hand. Threw a haymaker and right there. Missed it. I am yeah. man. I am seeing so much of this nowadays. We're right here mm -hmm. against the fence. Over under. It's become the new. It really has, and just become, oh, you got something going on, but you see what I mean? It's really become, this is the moment, chat. Like, the fights are really starting to end up here a lot more. These clinch battles, mm -hmm. it's going back to dirty boxing, about to be king as Trinaldo tried to cook the head and throw two uppercuts. Robert's looking to plumb the head and throw it. Robert did a really good job there to get it into the clinch, get himself off the fence. Yeah, he did. He was moving. He was moving. Mm -hmm. He wasn't staying stuck like Dumont was in the last round. He was using his back and forth motion, pulling 
pulling Chanel out. Now he's eating a couple budges. <laughs> Man, uh, AK Snoo, I'm telling you right now, I'd hire someone to stand outside my opponent's hotel room and cook steak and some potatoes. <laughs> 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 but you would, uh, because they're they're technically not all there with you a might, waterfall you you do that at your own expense as chinaldo senior <laughs> trying to again i like this fight with roberts and, and like roberts is trying to cut him off and it's it's mm -hmm. it's the one thing roberts is on Oof. the outside he's got to be careful right there right when you do you notice that answer when you start backing somebody up you know where they're at like all right they're up against the fence they can't go backwards anymore do i unload a shot or what do you do yeah, because uh, Trinado, he his ground game is so good. He's he's stopping Roberts in his track every time he level changes. So if you get close to the fence, you level change. You know he doesn't want to go back further because of the shot. So that's when uh, Trinado's open to throw those punches at Roberts. And it's landing every time. Like every time Roberts gets behind that black line in the octagon, Trinado changes level. He stops because he needs to change level with him. And then Trinado throws punches. Mm-hmm. Love it. See, then he tried to he, he going in and throw that jab and that big overhand left. And again, he got, like I said, two southpaws in the battle game right here. Yeah. And it's the way that, you know, I like his side to side and he trying to cut him off. Robert to sit on the outside, trying to double jab his way in. But Trinaldo's doing a good job of backing up and closing the distance, kind of hopping in to throw that left. But I'd like to yeah. see him maybe do a one, Ooh. two, big jump knee left hand. Look how much cage he covered. Right. Oh, Robert's covered the cage, a big jump Yo. knee to a left hand, both missed, but. Roberts needs to go into like track and field, like do some long <laughs> jumps like or something. Athletic, huh? That was crazy. Ooh, Chinaldo, he keeps Ooh, landing that, he those hands though. I like right he's, this. He's, he's getting in when that he gets left. in that disc, throwing that left hand, just overhead popping. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Roberts needs to start opening up with the striking because Chinaldo's just landing way too often on him. There nice, he goes. Nice calf kick. He's throwing those two kicks. Checked by Trinaldo. But see, again, Roberts, I think, you know, if he could circle, and I don't know what he's looking for. Trinaldo, obviously, he wants to get inside. He's being the shorter fighter like he's supposed to, getting inside. Now Danny's starting to do that one, two, one, up kick. Use some of those rangy shots. Mm -hmm. Whenever I'm fighting someone that's a little shorter than me, who I know wants to take down, I always go ham on the body shots, like body like that. That jab, that cross is super long. Like he should be aiming that right at the chest just to keep him backing up. I love it. We've got 68% stand uh, chat. 68% of you um, stand up throwing. We've got on Roberts. Stand up ooh, throwing ooh, has 148,000 channel points. Woo! On Roberts. Terra oh, formality wow. with 30K on Trinaldo. All right. All right. Oh, wow. Wait. Trinaldo, wait. Yeah, how old is Trinaldo? 43? Okay, I'm rooting for him regardless. Yeah. Man, 43. Still yeah. good. Looking good too. Still, still young chicken. We call it spring <laughs> chicken. <laughs> spring chicken. Yeah. <laughs> nice left hand there, though, by Roberts a minute ago. And again, I think the one thing is the way that he's kind of cruising back, keeping that left, keeping that left hand up. And it's kind of slowed Tonaldo down. If you notice, he's not walking forward so much. He's looking yeah. like mm -hmm. he wants to try to counter. Ooh. Oh. Is he Robert's falling starting off to get loose, or man. did he get hit? Uh, Trinado. I think I'm not sure, but I like when there. I like when Roberts is starting to actually put the punch together. A one, two, you know, what I mean, yes. rather than just throwing a big left hand, which is Trinaldo is trying to throw the big left hand, then maybe come back with that hook as he walks off and circles around a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the volume's Oy. picked up for ooh, Roberts. Ooh, see how he come back with that hook right there? Very nice by Trinaldo on the counter. Come back with the left hand, but that right hook is the key. Oy. Oh. Ooh. Man, they kept, oh. they kept going a little bit after the bell there. Passion heads popping each other a little bit. It happens, but that's one thing. It's ironic because of the the length of of Roberts. He is the one kind of stepping in and lunging, throwing those mm -hmm. shots, and almost in a, it's helping uh, Trinaldo a little bit. Yeah, he looks yeah, a little. He's... He don't look too tired. Trinaldo looks fine. Yeah, Roberts looks is fine. a little hunched over. Looks a little a little tired there. Does he look a little defeated? I don't know. I think I think he was getting uncomfortable towards the end. I don't think he looks super defeated, but you know, as a fighter, if you're getting hit, you're you're getting angry, you know. And and um, Danny's Honored. getting hit a little more than Trinaldo in that first round. And I try to tell people, it's not so much angry like I'm mad at you. It's more about yeah, it, like, you're scoring points. You're beating me. Exactly. I exactly. It it's not like frustrated. Yeah, it's the I'm losing. 
You know? Yeah, yeah. No. Oh, I ain't losing, bro. This is not the plan. <laughs> As we're getting ready for the second round, Black Shield Spartan South. You know it's true love when I wreck my sleep. Schedule for for you, UFC fan, South Africa, man. I love it. I love it. Here we go, round two. They walk right out to the center of the Monster Energy, and see Oof. that the one two right go. down the pipe by Roberts. I like seeing that. Yes, yeah, his punches are so straight, like very uh -huh. technical. Yeah, Robert. Oh, no, go ahead. Athlete. Super. Ooh, he's got oh, oh, he's got him wobbled. He's got him still. The Chinaldo hits it with a shot. He's got him in. Ooh, he had him seasoned right there. That was crazy. What did, oh. punch did he hit him with? He's got to disengage, maybe push off, but he's going in for the takedown. You've got him hurt. Oh, and now my they're goodness. in a scramble. Trinaldo he doesn't even back notice. And punches. <laughs> he does. I feel like he doesn't know that he has him hurt. Trinaldo doesn't. Okay, Roberts is just well, doing wow. everything he can to hold on to Trinaldo. Roberts right just running yeah. at him trying to hold on to him. Oh, yeah, man. Go. That's what you do. You, you try to close that distance so they can't land anything hard on you again. Right. I mean, you have to know, right? When that one thing is when I'm doing everything I can to hold on to you, that's got to almost make you feel like really panicked to try to get away and land that shot. But now, we, if you look at Roberts, looks like he's kind of got his bearings back a little bit. And Trinaldo stopped throwing. And the only yeah. other time I'd seen someone react like that from a punch might have been like Kevin Lee. Like, oh, yeah. Barboza. Barboza, yeah. yeah that, oh, oh, another left hand right there. See, it's still there. Trinaldo he's still wobbling. Trinaldo is just not feeling the, he's just not feeling the, you know what I mean? He's Roberts not is in trouble, man. He is in trouble here. Trinaldo's just humming. Oh, down. Oh, to the liver shot. To the liver. liver oh, shot. That hurt. Elbow. Body Trinaldo. shot. All right, he's trying to fight it. Robert's going to his back. He's doing everything to give yeah, Robert's he's giving right up there. position Robert's to is avoid the submission. Again. He lost it. Oh That's man, Trinaldo made this fight way longer than it had to be. Now he's got side control. And Roberts has got his feet up on the fence. He's relaxing, but he's fixed. He had him. <laughs> he had him. <laughs> I don't think he just didn't feel the urgency. And I understand not getting too crazy, but uh -huh. dang, you had him. He was yeah, stilted. Him, stilted. Yeah. Man, sometimes when you're fighting, you're not looking at the person's face. You're, you, you're just staring at their chest. So you don't see when they're so hurt that all you need is one or two more punches to knock them out. I feel like if you looked in his eyes, you'd see them rolling around because mm -hmm. Roberts was not there for a second. You know, but then to put on that choke and now look at the way that Roberts again, GG. Oh, we got an arm triangle. Trying to go maybe arm triangle step yeah. out of that half, out of that Roberts half guard. Roberts trying to defend here. Roberts doing a good job of trying. Yeah, Roberts trying to fend it off. Turn all that. He got the head back yeah. in, mm. and he's really doing a good job now of, of just kind of Surviving. slowing the pace down, getting his bearings a little mm -hmm. bit right. Yeah, good job to Roberts for yeah. hanging in there. That was that that was really tough blows. Yeah, he's been in deep water a couple times now. Yeah. You know, and, and he, that's go ahead. Well, he's still in trouble. Like he can still get TKO'd in these positions, but it's definitely not as likely. He's he's giving himself time to recover and he can break his posture just to keep the shots from getting too big. Like he can stall here. I just kept, he did a phenomenal job of making it through it. He was in trouble so many times. Now we've got this fight so slowed down mm -hmm. that it's really helping Roberts a lot. Chinaldo, obviously, I, you can tell he kind of wants maybe that arm triangle if he wants to push that side. Yeah. Not too heavy on the ground and pound this. I mean, he's just kind of accepted it. He's just looking to maybe do some small grind, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah he's wearing him down a little bit. Roberts has done a good job. He keeps tying him up, you know, not letting him work past, not get to a submission, not land big shots. Mm -hmm. Oh, see, I like that. He was spinning out towards the head. That's I'm a fan of that, Chinaldo, but then he allowed Roberts to get the half guard back, TG, and he's looking to, He's looking like he's going to – I wonder if he gets everything – he gets his wits about him and how fast he can stand up from this position. Yeah, I think oh, he, he probably wouldn't out. even mind riding this round out on the ground just so he can stay out of the way of danger. Trinaldo's on his back now, chat. Roberts is in referee's Ooh. position, all fours, looking to fight that hand to stand Standing him up. up now. The back on the oh no, what's gonna Here happen? we go. Get your head up. Ooh. Oh, oh Roberts is some Robert. big shots now. Oh man. Yep. Oh, they're just, they throwing... just phone booth and throwing down yep. right now. Clinch knees. Brawling. 
This fight is insane. Oh, Janelle to turn oh. around the left. Look it at that. Roberts Rowan is walking bombs. him down, pushing him up against the fence. <laughs> oh, Roberts just hey. let it all go right there. He's like, yeah. full gas tank out. Nice round. Nice round. <laughs> He's like, I'm going to if I'm going to go out, I'm going to go out on my shield. <laughs> he survived the round. Man, who knows what's going to happen this next round? Banged that up. was impressive. But mm -hmm. I'll see. How, yeah, we'll see how he comes out. We'll see how tired which one is and how they can recover on the way out. But what a round. Good Lord. I don't know. I mean, to sit back this when you have somebody that hurt, you right. step back and try to throw. But you grab the guillotine and allowed you all that clinching into the floor. But. He must have. He must have thought he, that it was a good time to do it, right? I'm sure he thought that, you know, in the heat of it and everything. But man, he had Roberts hurt. He probably could have ended up finishing the fight there, just like another big shot or two. Oh, it was so close. And that was what. Oh, oh. Well, we'll see how he comes back from this. We got a little cut above the right eye on Roberts. He's breathing pretty heavy. But the right. Look at that. Look oh, at the Roberts. Man. Look at him. Look at him. Oh. And that's what I was going to say before that happened. Sometimes when you're a super technical fighter with super technical, like straight oh. long punches, the loopy ones are harder uh -huh. to deal with because you're not used to that. You're not used to um, the people taking advantage of those openings. And Trinado is just a big old, he has those big old shoulders. He's just like a cannon when he throws. All right, here we go. Here we go now. Ronaldo stepping dead center, controlling it. Round three. He, they both look like Roberts looks like he's got his bearings about him. Yeah. He's kind of moving a little bit. He looks like he's recovered. You think he's still wobbly a little bit? He looks, I'm looking at chat, like he looks like he's got it back a little bit, right? But I think Ronaldo know. knows, you know, and that's the one thing, right? When you when you land that one shot, it's like, oh nope, he doesn't have it back. So you kind of you need to test it and find out. But Ronaldo's key to just stand right there in the center and wait a little bit. And you know, what's scary is his corner, I'm sure, is yelling at him for going for that guillotine. They're like, you know, shut up, tap, head at him next time. Keep hitting him. And these are the things that you hit him with. Do it again. You know, so now yeah. now he knows exactly how to rock Roberts again. It's kind of like when you have the mountain, you fall off for the arm bar. Then they're able to they get their way out of it. Next, you know, you're in the guard. No yeah. position yeah. before submission. Yeah. It's like you had the position. Throw the shot. Don't you dare. But he went for it. Now Roberts is the one got him Roberts plunked, pushed into, up against geez. the fence. Oh, mm. big they're throwing shots again. They're trading. Here they again. go. Man. They can't Roberts help. It. They get up against that against fence. The they get close. They start phone boothing. Mm hmm. And now we're going to sit in that over under position. That is the one thing. Tonaldo is throwing those little tight hooks where Roberts is trying to throw those straighter shots, like you said, and they yeah. tend to mess you up because these things are coming from out here and you're busy focusing on what's straight down the pipe and right. boom, you get hit on the side of the temple and you don't know what happened. Especially when your loopy punches are as fast as the straight ones. Oh yeah. And he's corkscrewing oh, yeah. those things in there. All right, here we go. Here we go. So now they're making their way in. They're still in the center. Oh, nice, nice kick. kick. Oh, oh, man. He that put was a, a lot end. into that left hand. That was by a Ronaldo end. went to swing and a miss. Ooh, brought the wind. Brought the wind. Clinched by Roberts. Pushed him up against the fence. I always feel a little bad for the person when that happens. It's like wasting your power move, you know? <laughs> <laughs> now like, you got to build uh, it all back up. Yeah. You wasted your star move. You just wasted your <laughs> ultimate. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Oh, that is sick. Oh, I man. love it. Oh, that is exactly it. I just up. built that whole thing up. Now I got to recharge it. Dang it. Exactly. <laughs> oh, there it is. Nice one, too, by Roberts walking him down. On, on the aggression, see, that's the one thing when they're both throwing those lefts at the same time. They're trying to work his way. Like, that'll be the curious. I don't know how we're going to score this thing right yeah. now. Mm. Oh. Ooh, ooh! See, I like what they're, they're talking about—a possible ten-eight in a second, yeah. maybe-ish. Had you it's not jumped for that guillotine, but then you kind of kept—I don't know. Did you, did you have them stilted long enough? Oof. See, ooh, right there—a jab coming ooh, in by Roberts and Trinaldo throwing a mean overhand left. Yeah, it was two two wobbles though. Like in Muay Thai, that would give you two ten-eight counts, and then uh -huh. you definitely have a ten-eight round. Right oh, there. Just start him again. Oh, oh, now he's back in that gear. He's the got kind of over. He's gonna go for a cradle. Please, why are you cradling? 
Why are you going for a <laughs> Your corner told you to hit him. They said hit him. You got him up against the fence. Free your left hand Elbow. and let it ride. Yeah, he did. He's, he's wobbly. Yeah, he still hasn't recovered. I don't know if, if it's maybe Kale Kale here. That was another big laugh. Something. Man. Nice jab. But you can tell that he's tilted, but it's oh, nice jab. Wow. And he's just sending him back. I mean, he's backing him up hard with the jab, but it's like, I don't know. Is he trying to hold on to that gas tank or what is it? I don't know what he's doing, but he has him hurt. I mean, he's 43. Get the man a break. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm glad he's doing it in general at 43. Yeah. Love to death. But now that you're out there, what are you holding on to it for? He's hurt, dang it. <laughs> But here we go. Robert. Oh, Robert's, Robert's now throwing the left hand. Dang. You see what I mean? You kind of let him out and he kind of built up his, he built up his energy a little bit. Yeah, he, <laughs> he go. recharged for sure. Yeah, he recharged, right? You now we be got careful. Ginaldo pushing him up against the fence. Short now 30 time, 30 seconds. seconds. Oh, this is going to be either crazy or this. I feel like it's going to get nuts in a second. He's it's still pushing. I hear oh. somebody, their voice is cracking. They're screaming so loud in the corner. Ronaldo snap oh, down left Ronaldo, hand. Another big hand. No, to get that's a takedown. Take down. Ronaldo's going take for a takedown. <laughs> Power half by Roberts, but he can't get it over because Ronaldo's in a good position, but he's still using it to hold on to. In on his lock. Nice. All right. Fun. All right. Man. Dang. By the way, chat, really quick, let me ask you, what fighter are you like from UFC 274? Want to find oh, out? Take the quiz and be entered to win a trip to UFC 276 in July with exclamation quiz in chat, in Twitch chat. YouTube, you're going to have to come on over to Twitch TV slash UFC Facebook. Jump over to Twitch TV slash UFC. Get in the chat. Find out. The water's nice. You'll like it. Man, you don't win a UFC trip? <laughs> Yeah, which where's that quiz at, bro? I'm doing it right now, bro. Exclamation bro, quiz, bro. exclamation <laughs> quiz, jump in. We got an exclamation sweeps. We got all kinds of things happening. I know I'm gonna be there. Me and AK Snoo, we're gonna be running amok the whole international fight week, running around Twitch TV slash UFC going ham. Let's go. So it's gonna be thing. And the second chance to win nice. something too. Enter to win. Oh, by the way, you can also enter to win a VIP trip to UFC 276 in Las Vegas. You have to use exclamation sweeps. S W E E P S. My braces. I can't say everything that well. Um, mm -hmm. in Twitch chat and follow the link. YouTube. You're gonna have to come over here. Twitch TV slash UFC and enter exclamation sweeps. Let's go. All right, here we go. Decision. Oh, who's it going to be? Oh, dang. 29-28. Clean sweep. Francisco. No. 29-28 one, but Is one had him 30-26, and one had him just straight three rounds. I think probably that first round, right? Uh, the one judge who probably scored the first round. I for heard 28, 28. You, you, Am I wrong? Yeah. I, I, no, swear 30, I, heard, 26. I swear I heard the very first. 29, 28, 28, 28, 28, 28 would make sense, though. I swear I heard a 28, 28. That would be two rounds for Roberts and 10, 8 for Trinata. Am I crazy? Cat. Am I the only one that heard that? Well, I don't know, but I know we had well, no, 30, 26. You don't agree with the 10 8 round? Majority win or something. Wait, let me look. I'm going to look. Let's see. By the way, chat, much love and appreciation. All subs go to support the American Cancer Society. Not some subs. All subs go to support oh, the American nice. Cancer Society in this stream. Excavation sweeps. Killer hash 20. Put an S on that bad boy. Put an S on it. Okay, well, hey, so while we're chilling and getting ready for the main oh. event, we're going to we're going to throw out a You're cold right. open. We got wait, go ahead and do it again. What? Oh, I just said there was a 28 28. There was a wow. 28 28. So how yeah. would you get 28 28? The second round, Trinaldo 10 8. And the other rounds you gave to the other guy. Is that okay. how that works? I'm okay, so having I don't one know how they, they nah. got that, though, because he got rocked those other rounds. I don't know how you would say that, but mm -hmm. Okay, so we have that one crazy judge that's going to be like dead opposite <laughs> what everybody else thinks. It's already yeah, out man. there, right? It's already out there. I don't know, but oh, man. all right, Chad. So we're gonna have, we've got the title a, fights. 
I can see we it got already. A cold open for all of you. And we'll be back in three minutes. Enjoy it. We'll talk to you in a second. The record book for the all-time greats is being written in real time by a man who has redefined dominance in the toughest division in combat sports. A lightweight champion who has won 10 straight fights, who has more finishes than anyone in UFC history, more submissions by a mile, more stories waiting to be told. I'm a guy who's differentiated in the middle of the sport. I don't bat to bat. I bat in search of a legacy, in search of a story. Tonight, as the UFC returns to the Valley of the Sun, an Arizona native has been tasked with stopping the Brazilian superstar. A high-powered bonus machine. We're not a oh! Justin Gaethje! Who turns every fight into an onslaught of shock and awe. Every exchange into a jaw-dropping event. Oh my god! Oh my god! A fighter who averages more strikes per minute than anyone in UFC history. And is coming for that belt. My philosophy is to be mentally and physically as, as ready and capable of committing violence on another human being. He's going to have to walk through fire. First, it's a throwback to how it all began, as the best strawweight in the world faces off with a familiar foe, this time as a defending champion, a picture of cold, unnerving execution. There's the top! No! Rose Nama Yunus! Reinvented and fully realized as the best finisher in the division's history. Oh! The throws! The throws! Yet, if history is on the challenger's side, so is momentum, as this punishing force is at the peak of her powers and just needs an inch to ruin somebody's night. The divisional leader in takedowns with the most vicious ground and pound in the class. Carla Sparza! Five straight wins. She is coming for what was originally hers. Plus, the lightweight division is about to go boom as two of the most devastating action fighters clash head on. El Kakui, the boogeyman who has haunted the division for the better part of a decade. And his nemesis, a forward rolling, bomb throwing brawler, hell bent on destruction. Oh! oh! It's over! Michael Chandler! Woo! Two titles are on the line, and history will be written with a flamethrower. Live from the sold out Footprint Center in Phoenix, Arizona, it's UFC 274, Oliveira versus Gaethje, and it starts right now. Exact perfect timing, perfect time. My man walks in with that suit, that red suit that Oliviera would just rolled in on. Good uh -huh. lord, chat. Good. Did you see that? The blood man. red suit. He kept all the way right. The blood red. The blood red. Oh, <laughs> he's he's coming for blood tonight. You know, I'm very happy with this. By the way, I'm like it was supposed to be the main one. I was curious who they were going to put in for the first fight of the main <laughs> card. And Randy Brown, Chaos Williams. <laughs> <laughs> Now, like one of the boy. things when it comes to when it comes to uh, like Randy Brown, a fellow a fellow okay, Twitch Twitch streamer, a this fellow funny watch like the along partner, right in front of so him you gotta too. love it. <laughs> that is the one thing. The that dog we have. took over for just for a little I bit. I know that was awesome. That was awesome. <laughs> you kicked out the man. We was enjoying it. We we was rolling with with what's the dog name? <laughs> You get butcher. <laughs> but yeah, man. He's like, hey, butcher can it. I was like, I bet they'd be stoked if I turned into a dog <laughs> on this stream. That was just oh. me, you know. No, I tell you what, man, you're <laughs> killing it. Yeah, you are killing it. This is, oh, you're thanks. doing, yeah, no, I'm not kidding you. This is cool. Hey. So here, here's a question, real quick. If Justin wins, he wins the belt, right? Yeah. Or is that not the, okay. Yeah. Um, he still wins I, the belt if he wins the fight. Yeah, and uh, if if uh, Oliveira, Oliveira wins, wins, he gets he... the next crack at the vacant title with whoever it may be. Uh -huh. Yeah, but we know they can change that whenever they want if it's convenient. So that's and, why it's kind of sketch. Saying that even if he wins, it could be other two other people fighting for it. It could be mm -hmm. like um, 
because it's technically it's vacant now. So yeah, he has no belt to, to as leverage anymore, and that's right. the big deal with losing, getting stripped. Is yeah, they could promise you anything, but if you're sick or if you can't fight on a certain day and they want to put a belt up for that date, then they yep. can just get two other contenders and have them fight for it. Right. And Which two like, of oh, you you'll get sick. Next. I'm good. Well, let's <laughs> yeah. go. that's what you're fighting for the interim. Yeah. I mean, I get it. Mm-hmm. Pressure, you know, pressure, mm-hmm. but it's still, you know, it, it's as close. I mean, what plus one fifteen underdog and Gaethje, that fight is going to be, I think it really does boil down to in that first round, especially where Charles will, he does get hit in the beginning. And, you know, it, it's, is it going to be, can he be overwhelmed too quick by Gaethje or, but man, I think now with this, with all of this that happened, you know what I'm saying? With all the quote unquote goings on, I think it might've just made Oliveira a little more pissed off. I think you might, mm. you know, I mean, he's got to prove something now because you're not mm-hmm. going to miss weight and lose and the belt. And then it's all she wrote, right? Maybe ish. I don't know. Yeah. A little more focus maybe going in, huh? Yeah. You would, a little you extra. Know, yeah. A little more dialed in on the idea that I have to win this. Cause at least then I have some kind of argument. Otherwise I may be dipped and it could be five fights away from ever getting a shot at that belt again with the amount of people trying that are waiting, you know, mm-hmm. And, and with he's these been young there. guns, yeah. And he's been yep. there before. He's been sidelined and in, in like you know up and down with his career before. He doesn't want to go back to that. So the motivation is definitely there. And that'll be it. Now I'm excited to. But then again, with Man, Gaethje, I like that attitude monster. because there is just something yeah. right. And this is something again, Ange. I I gotta get you. There is something to it when they don't wait, make weight. It pisses you off. Let's mm-hmm. put aside the fact that the belt and all that. You're just pissed off. And now it's like you look. It, you almost feel like why didn't you didn't just go through what I just went through? And it yeah. makes you want to just knock the out of them, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Like I was in the tub so at, long, and yeah. you weren't. Like that half a pound. Like you know how long you have to sit in the tub for that last half a pound. Like it could Thank be you. hours. Thank it you. It could be hours, and that's a lot of suffering. So one person not having to do that, regardless of the scale issues or whatever, he still didn't have to do that extra hour in the bathtub. So you're gonna try to take that out on him. You're gonna be telling yourself that the person's more depleted, like we were talking about earlier. They're they're not gonna last past the first round. So they quit when they it quit. go when it gets hard. That's and the you, other thing I was gonna add in this when it uh-huh. came to talking about when you don't make weight, they quit. When it, see, when I was gonna ask a question. The question was gonna be how many times like you think every time someone may lose uh, misses weight, you think every single time it was oh they got straight up to the point they couldn't drop another pound. You know, it was like they were on, they were like at the death's door trying to step onto the sta- uh, the, uh, the scale. Or is it sometimes just the fact of like, I don't want to do this anymore. I'm done. Oh, no, sometimes we're saying I like don't want to do this. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. We're saying that from the first time you get in right. that sauna. But I'm saying I don't want to do this. <laughs> when the fighter is, when we see a fighter miss weight, is it ever, would you say the vast, vast majority of the time, it's like they gave everything they had to try to lose all the weight or is there a certain, or could there be a time times where it's like, I just don't want to cut anymore. Like, let's just go away and I'm going to miss. I think there's a handful of fighters that, that are just, you know, not going to do it. They're not going to uh-huh. put themselves through that. Uh-huh. And I think most rational people aren't going to put themselves right. through a weight cut. Like it's, right. it's, it's really traumatic. It's like not uh-huh. a safe thing that we're doing to our bodies. Anyone who <laughs> wrestled knows, you know, like, you know, when you're cutting weight, like a lot of times you're doing it in not the smartest ways. Sometimes you get desperate. Sometimes you go through extreme measures just to get that extra weight off. And then when it stops happening, when the, the weight slows down, then you're just like, I'm done. You know, like it's, it's worth being healthy and going into the fight the next day healthy as opposed to trying to cut more weight not cutting more weight and then still missing and being unhealthy in the fight so mm-hmm. sometimes like it's the smart move to make too sometimes it's the strategic move to make just deciding not to cut that extra pound even though you feel like you can maybe muster up the energy to do like one or two more Makes sense. And then, like I said, then you just, you break. It's just uh-huh. a point, you know, you just, this is it. I can't, I mean, the extremes of some people, but it, it's just hard. You know, but it, I'm telling you, it's, 
But now, with now having all that done, how is today gonna play? Because it was funny. We got that. We had that tweet by Justin. I'm already 165. Yes. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. And my man and Olivieta hadn't even made weight yet. I'm already 165. <laughs> and that's you know? like that's like normal too. Like usually the by the time we're facing off in front of each other, the person looks totally different. Yeah, they look oh, totally 100. filled out. Um, I fought uh, Ariane Connor Lussi. She was on the card. And when I faced off in front of her, I was like, oh, okay, she's not that big. The next day, I was like, who the fuck is that? Like, I'm with you because when I fought Gomi, I literally looked at Gomi and went, he's not that big. The next day, I walked right by him. And my brother goes, hey, there's Gomi. I said, no, I'm not. I thought it was his his bubbly or twin brother right? I, honestly walked, I thought he had a brother. twin or he looked he had a brother that looked just like him that was about 15 20 pounds bigger i'm like yeah that's not him I, like, like, that's gomi i go what <laughs> because when i first looked at him i'm thinking 165 is already a big weight for me right i'm mm. i'm 158 chilling and yeah. i was like i can do this he don't look too bad and then i seen tim fight day i was like Whoa! i walked Wait. right by him that, like that's that's his, <laughs> that's his bubbly twin brother no, uh, it's not. That was him. I am so no. funny. <laughs> <laughs> so, on average, what, what do you like from the time you step on the scale to the time you go into the cage? What's Twelve like pounds. the weight difference? Like a ten percent difference? Twelve pounds heavier. Bam. Um, I mean, some people. I like. I I gain about eight eight to ten pounds. Okay. Um, some people gain like twenty. Uh-huh. In my weight class, twenty. 25 in your weight class. Uh, yeah. There was a so, girl that I fought in Invicta that bragged about being up to like 140 something by the time she insane. fights. Yeah. And well, I knocked her out. So right. that's why it's not a good idea right. to do. No, <laughs> so like, no. say it's a light heavyweight, say, say it's a light heavyweight, to heavyweight is, is, is it possible? Like 30 pounds? Like you could do like a 30 pound difference. Is that possible? Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of guys who, who make up 30 pounds, like uh-huh. in, in the lightweight and the featherweight division. So, so I mean, it's going to be more, you could be like 40 pounds. In the, yeah. The, yeah, man. It's so um, have, some people brag about it, but like usually you keep it kind of close to the cuff. Uh-huh. Right. <laughs> you just tell them, she just always yeah, say, it's usually it's not something pounds. you hear a lot of people talk about. I gain eight pounds. I'm always, I'm eight pounds. How much you over? Four pounds. How much you gain after eight pounds? You just tell them same uh, thing. You yeah. say a number. Yeah. Say by a the number. way, by okay, the way. Okay, that's so, what I should have done. <laughs> <laughs> 43 no. percent of chat well, is on, is on chaos. Right. I actually appreciate that you said uh-huh. it because a lot of fighters don't talk about it. And it's like, I, as a fan, I'm always really curious. Like, how much is it possible? Like, mm-hmm. is, can someone be uh, weighing in? They're at 185. Then next thing you know, they step in the cage. They're weighing two. two but it's a science. And right. it's just sitting up and eating every three hours and hydrating. Mm-hmm. And it's mm-hmm. it's like I said, man, food is everything. Uh-huh. And it's just constantly taking your time. You can't just, you're not just having, quote, unquote, one big meal. And then just letting that, no, man, you're just nibbling and, and eating all night, man. You'll wake up a couple hours, eat a little bit, go back to sleep because it's hard to sleep. You're about to step out there into that oh, damn yeah. octagon. It's not like you've got nothing left to focus on. The weight cut was my focus for the first four <laughs> days. And now all of a sudden it's like shit just got real, pardon my language, but that's kind of the, the feeling yeah. like this is it. And so now yeah. it's like you, some people sleep like a baby, some you know, but you're up, you're eating, you're drinking water. It's like, let's just keep going. <laughs> just keep eating. But that's And funny. then we have 58 well we got 51 percent for williams and 49 percent on brown right now all right all right oh split down the middle uh you guys might not know this but uh randy brown has a pretty good twitch channel as well i absolutely know the rude boy he's here he's also been a watch long partner loving the death nice nice oh here's my favorite though back-to-back wins third largest significant strike differential among active ufc welterweights 1.62 per minute one Mm. of six fighters with two plus sub minute knockouts in ufc welterweight history so he comes in quick dang that's cool i remember watching chaos while ago and just knocking people out let me see that's what he does this is um yeah, this is gonna be a barn burner of a fight, man. I'm really excited about this. Also because Randy is good at uh countering. He's really good Rage. counter striker. Rage. Yeah, he's and so get you good to come at in and, and that's what chaos is gonna have to do. Kind of, I mean, you look at the 78 inch reach 
for uh, Vandy Brown's 77, uh, 77 inch reach for um, chaos. So it's it, mm. but the legs, those teeth yes. kicks, 45 and a half inch for the leg on reach and 41 inch for chaos. But wow. Yeah. He's a spider. <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah. So we got so real quick, if I can, Sizzler with 66.8K points on Williams. GG. Good luck. And we've got Dwight X with 30K channel points on Randy Rude Boy Brown. GG. Good luck. Good luck. Mm -hmm. All right. So Randy's coming in. I like it, though, my man. So I'm glad they got that bump up. That's got it. All right. And just think about that. You went from you were going to be the prelim to Bam, you're the first fight on the main, on the big old pay-per-view. Your first fight. Yeah. What does that do? It, it feels good, man. It, it gets you hype. Moving uh, up, right? Moving it, up. Yeah, but at the same time, the spot that they were at was pretty good, too. They had the main uh -huh. event on the prelims, prelims, and that's the last fight that people see who are too cheap to buy the UFC. No, <laughs> no but it makes sense so, being the, first, a lot the more last people fight on Facebook. See that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there you, you go. Know? Yeah, you a lot more people see that fight than they see the uh, main events. They might see, like, the clips from the main events and care uh -huh. about that more, but this is the last fight that they're going to see um, in person. But this is cool. Opening for a pay-per-view is only up from there like once you once you're on the pay-per-view card then you can start being like main event co-main event so randy brown chaos williams they both have the potential of headlining the card for sure i love it i love it and he's just making his way in making his way in and um, <laughs> is that molly mccann back there or just Oh heck! Oh, I see Joe right Yo there. Yo, the back there. All right, yeah. he's next to go. Is that Meatball <laughs> Molly dancing? Yep, she's Brown is heavily so. Meatball's <laughs> got a wiggle going. <laughs> oh man, that was. Oh, here we go. What was it? I'm trying to think of what was that thing that. Ah, uh, he's making it. Yeah, this is going to be a good fight. I'm excited for this one. Really yeah. excited. I'll be curious. <laughs> like I said, if Randy Brown's just going to keep kicking, keep him out of the way or whatever, but. But see, oh, yeah, man, the, the, look at that photo. He looks so scary. Chaos Williams. He looks, he so looks focused, boss, man. doesn't he? <laughs> he has that, like, brow that, like, he got that brow. no bullshit. He got that. Yes. Face. He's uh -huh. probably, you know, what's funny. He's probably smiling. <laughs> <laughs> that serious face. Is, oh, right? uh, I love it. <laughs> yeah, I think oh. I have seen that jacket before. I'm telling oh. you, I've seen that jacket. Yeah, I've watched it enough clamped. times. I, I remember yep. saying it looked like a I always, painting. Well, yeah, really, because I always it's like some kind of urban, it's like an urban um camo. You know what I mean? It's like an urban camo Shit. jacket. It's 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 the <laughs> it, but that's what's I remember the jacket. Thank you. My man's got it. My man, he got uh, jackets. He's got jackets on fleek. Do you have do you have a pick on this myself. one, this? Anybody just kind of sticking out man. for you or just watching? Ooh, honestly, I'm gonna go with Randy Brown on this one. Just because Ooh. of the experience. Chaos, he's a beast. He's got those knockouts, but I think I'm going to go for Randy Brown on this one. Thank you. <laughs> Clean up. I got to I gotta do it just because it's it's Randy. It's the rude guy. He's my yeah. Twitch buddy. He's, he's a Twitcher with us, so we got to – we dive in. You know what I mean? It's always hard uh, betting against – We do watch like, a We fam. Know. We fam. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, I, I agree. I think he I think he's gonna be slick. I think the last guy that he beat was a good step, a good step towards this fight because that guy had that one punch knockout power too, but he what gave it away. T shirts that I just witnessed right there. What the crowd was, <laughs> what was huh, did you see that? I, 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 missed I looked it. away for a second. Dang, I didn't know if like it looked like somebody had some pit vipers and everything going on. If you don't oh, know nice. me, chat, you know that's all I, I'm always watching the crowd. So forgive me, you two. All right, here we go. Round that, one. That, right into it. Oof. Now, again, when you've got Randy Brown on that outside track, you know what I mean? That line between the line and the fence kind of moving mm -hmm. around chaos. You know what I'm saying? Trying to figure out, but Randy's doing a good job with that range. Look at those legs. Yeah. He does scare me though the way that he's he goes back to that fence like he likes hanging out there you know you can yep. tell he's one of those guys when he box he'd be bouncing off of the ropes you know a hundred percent and if you're a pettit kind of person you like to bounce off and come with a superman or something of that nature it could be a setup but most of the time I don't like getting pushed up against that fence which is someone who likes to kind of back up and counter strike Ooh. along the way and throw those counter shots man Brown is so long man yeah. 
Like it's six three. You, I would, if you just look at him though, you would think he's taller than six three. You like this mm-hmm. guy's six five, six six, just with how long he looks. And when he throws the straights too, he just looks longer. He uh-huh. like extends his arms, like oh, awesome or something. See, that's when chaos brings that big right hand. That's what you got to be careful of. Make sure those hands are up. But you mm-hmm. know, and that's the thing is they're talking about the side again. The ta- the length of Randy's legs, utilizing those, are just and a monster arms. weapon. Yeah. He's got like a really long limbs. Oof. You know, that double jab seed right there. And that's what he's got to be careful when chaos is trying to counter with that jab and that uppercut. He's going to throw that lob, that big right hand over the top. You see that the way that he's backing out, I'm afraid if you, like you were saying, oh. like, hey, there's a teep to the face by Brown. I like that double teep. First oh. one missed, second one landed a bit. Now chaos has him up against the fence in that clinch position. We keep talking yep. about it's, it's, it's happening. Learning how to fight in that clinch is guys, yeah. so we call it dirty boxing. Just but see, tired. Randy Brown was fighting for that head position. He didn't let chaos push his head up against Get the that fence. Underhook. That's the difference there. Pushing him off the fence now. Yep, nice. Nice in the Brown's pocket boxing, too. Nice job of just kind of sitting back again. Just kind of that feeling oh. out process. See, that's the thing Ooh. right there. He's got to be careful Ooh. because Chaos just kind of ran him yeah, over. Chaos in there. He's shot. throwing some, some big shots. Every time ground. you close the distance, Chaos starts throwing bombs. Now he kind of sat in. Chaos is out on that front headlock. Look at, is he? Are we yeah, Darcy? He's, trying, he's going Condon? for a choke. Definitely going for some choke here. Thinking about it. I don't know if he's fully is he committed roll? yet. He yep, wants to try yep, to roll he's it sliding through. in there. Oh, Brown is sitting on his I don't think it's super tight yet, though. Cup the head roll, get that front headlock roll first, get that roll in there, and then start to try to catch when you hit the side. But whenever someone hangs out like that, though, I could tell they're not actually gonna go for it. They're just they they know this is a good control position to slow it down, and they you have and to I, respect it. Man, to get we're out on there. point. Stay there and control the position, <laughs> and you're winning the round. You're scoring points. Mm-hmm. Make right. them have to move. And I'm glad that chaos did that. Why put yourself into a bad situation? Because you want to go too early. Make sure if it's not there, there's nothing wrong with just sitting out there on that front head and just being heavy, hanging right. out. Big right hand that missed by Brown right there as he is now kind of being the aggressor. Chaos comes back and throws a big right hand of his own that misses. Ooh. But see, Ooh. Brown is stumbling quite a bit when he throws yeah. that kick. Yeah, he's so uh, he's so springy. Sometimes when you're throwing kicks and stuff, the, the canvas is really slippery. So it's easy to lose your balance there. I like how Chaos just pummeled his way into a double underhook, went for a trip for a minute. Randy said, no can do. He's got one plum, one side of the plum. And that's it. It's Chaos. I like watching this. Trying to figure. See, the thing is right here is, you know what I mean? This is... Randy's making it easy for chaos by look, Ooh. he's jumping in, he's lunging in, he's closing the distance for right. chaos who likes to get in close. Right. Yeah, he's not using as much of his length. I do like him going oh. forward better than, right. than staying up against the fence, though, because I think he was just setting up, setting himself up to get smashed, smashed 100%. against there. I like how, look, he goes in, he kind of reached Ooh. in for a shot, sprawled by chaos, no setup right That's there. Small. But now he's going to lock up the front headlock, looking for a guillotine with his back against the fence, <clears throat> but utilizing some hands, punch, punch, and then shoot for the takedown. He just kind of fell into a chaos, said no can do, good knee, two knees by, by Brown. They're still up against the fence, a lot of wrestling position again right here. Brandy's looking mm. to sit up and try to grab that guillotine a little bit. And I mean, this is a good way to threaten and to keep him from wanting to go there in the second round. He doesn't really have much time to do anything with the guillotine, but at least he's stalling and chaos isn't going to want to throw his head in there in the second round. Hmm. Oh, now he's going to sit up. Guard on him. Okay. I thought he's going to jump guard. This just a taste. That guillotine. He just gave him a taste. And just in happen. case I may make you carry me just a little bit more, but a good round by both. <laughs> Yeah, what, what, did, what did you think about that first round? Who would you give that first round to? It's kind of hard. I'm thinking hard chaos. I'm <sighs> thinking chaos, man. You got significant strikes are 18 by chaos, 26 total yeah. strikes, 13, yeah, 11. But there's hard. always that 30, 27 on the other side. So I don't even – these judges nowadays, I'm telling you. The judge I, almost, I wish we had live scoring because I would like bejeweled. to know. 
<laughs> oh, good right hand Oof. right there. Yeah, that was a solid yeah, those, right hand. Look at that. Those nice counters, shot. man. And you know, that's the, the other thing about when those are the big shots, when those are the significant shots, if the judge is sitting on the other man. side of the octagon, he's going to see that one. Yeah, look you at know, me. You can tell. That's yeah. a really good shot at seeing Brown there. He definitely got stunned by that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when Randy Brown was moving backwards and then would come forward with a combo, Chaos was doing a real good job of just like slipping out of the way the first couple and then landing a counter like uppercut or something inside. That's why I like Brown going forward. It's less predictable that way. All right, here we go again right here. Dirty Ooh, double jab right at you. Now, I like that. Utilizing that by Randy yep. Brown. Pop that double jab. Keep him out there. Find it, find that range with the jab. Ooh. Nice leg kick. That was a good leg kick. There, see, Randy's starting to figure it out right there, though. He Brown changed his stance with that talk. double jab right hand. He got a prep a pep talk from Sensei. Oof. He, he did something because he's kind of yeah. feeling the groove right there, but he almost ran into those, those big shots of chaos. You got to be mm. careful. I like that double jab, double jab left hand. He was throwing that double jab right hand. There's a big teep kick getting out of the way, messing with it. I don't think he truly can understand. Chaos can close that distance pretty quick. Making that okay. move right there. All right. See, Chaos I like how- It's like a ticking time bomb, man. I'm you know what's so happening, so right? <laughs> And the way that Randy kind of flirts like that, he gets in close and he just kind of lean back like you almost, you can't touch me from here. And that's what I mean. Chaos can lunge in and mm. pop that shot. Ooh, but see Brown, how right there? Good movement right yeah, there. Yeah, Brown is out of the way and Chaos isn't coming forward with those hooks. That was like some Matrix level yeah. dodging right there. Because yep. <laughs> Chaos was swinging with speed, man. Speed and power. And he dodged three in a row, three punches in a row. You know, and that's the one. See, I like those jabs by Brown. Utilize those jabs. Chaos is still being patient. He's definitely kind of, I mean, he's he's frozen a little bit. Brown is walking him down. Yeah. Well, missing like that is scary, especially yeah. against a, a really good counter puncher. You know, every time you miss a punch, they're making calculations. Mm -hmm. Yep, they're they're getting ready. They see your reactions and you get nervous about doing the same reaction. Brown is feeling again. it right now, man. man. Isn't he? he look at him. He's oh, oh but but all it got him there. All it takes is one hit from chaos, and Round has to respect it. The frustration right there, though. He kind of yeah. got it. Like, he's kind of mm -hmm. got him to break out of his rhythm, come at him, start lunging. That's exactly like, you what it was. A, I'm going to get you. And now they're up against the fence. But that's one of those things. Is, but Brandy's, Brandy's got to be careful when he's leaning back like that. Now they're in that old runner, push out the fence. Now they're broke. And now they're back to the center. Here we go. Yeah, Chaos did not like Ooh. how much Brown was feeling it right there. He was slinging a question mark right there. See, look at those long shots if when they can land, but Chaos does a good job of getting out of the way. That's true. I have a feeling Brown might spin on him. See how he's over. Did you just see him bit? duck that right there and come back yeah. with that elbow? Oh, man. See, if you have the feeling like that, that's the thing, right, Angie? If you're in the fight and you're able, you're willing to try little things like that, lean and come back with an elbow, like, ooh, that mm -hmm. lets you know, like, I'm, 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 I'm sharp right now. Uh -huh. Yeah. I'm looking to set things up, right? And Chaos's frustration is is wearing on his cardio, it feels like. Like, yeah, he can go forward with a couple big punches in a row, but he doesn't look as comfortable on his feet right now. He looks a little more flat now. And I think that has to do, Vish, right? When you start throwing punches and they miss, right. you know what I mean? It's He's like, well, all I don't want to keep throwing them and waste them. And it's what Angie said too. Not only are you throwing the punches, but as you know now, with a long guy and that's a counter puncher, it's like every time you miss, you might be having one coming, right? Right. Well, one you know, about that. <laughs> Randy lets you know that he's waiting and he kind of looks like you can't tell if he's baiting or what. And then bam, he fires back really mm -hmm. quick. And like I said, those long legs, that's just the biggest thing. Chaos has got him pushed up against the fence chat and he's got an underhook. He's got a head in the pocket doing a good job. But Randy's just kind of willing to let it go, controlling the bicep on the side. Randy plumps the head. Ooh. Chaos backs out. Nice little uh, hook on the exit, though, from Chaos. And then again, the way that he just kind of ranges, and that's the one thing you can tell with Randy. He definitely he's found his range. He's getting mm -hmm. just outside. Even the kick of chaos, he was able to get out of the way. But he's just kind of breathing, relaxed, moving in. Chaos, Ooh. he oh, just looks like he's struggling a little bit on how to get inside this. Yeah. Yeah, it was a lot easier when Randy was giving up a little real right. estate. But now, now that he doesn't know when he's going to slide out of the way or when he's going to come forward, Man, it's hard to hit. He is hard to hit. 
And it's kind of, I like what like Tyler two cuts and read between the lines. And I'm sure others in chat are saying is just that flow. And that's the one thing this, when you have that flow, you yep. kind of, I can do no mm. damage. I see everything. Uh -huh. You're willing to risk a little bit, but chaos almost jumped in and made the boo-boo because that's what chaos can yeah. do. So he's got to be careful that he stays in the flow, but doesn't yep. get too confident. Right. Doesn't yes. overflow, I guess. Overflow. Right? Uh, doesn't overflow. Oh my God. <laughs> Don't overflow. <laughs> Oh man, chaos ate a nasty check hook trying to close the uh -huh. distance there. That was a good round for Randy. Brown's feeling it. It's what you said. As soon as he started moving forward, chaos has not had really an answer for it, right? Chaos likes being the, the guy pressuring. As soon as he moved up off of the cage, this fight's completely changed. Mm -hmm. no, it gets a long guy, too. Man, that's tough. Uh -huh. Like, that's a hard uh, riddle to crack. And it's the way that, because what he's doing is he'll pop his way in, and then when it's time for Chaos to throw, he's able to slide back out, yeah. and he's not there anymore. He's got a really good range of in and out, in and out, and the problem is with Chaos, he's trying to block the shots, right? It happens, and then they're gone. So when you pop up start throwing, he's already out of the way, and it makes you look like you're slow. You know what I mean? It, it wears mm -hmm. on you a little bit. So then mm -hmm. you start holding it, waiting to get into that position, right? And you get embarrassed too. Like nobody wants to be swinging like that and missing. Like, like oh shit, everyone in Phoenix saw that. I love like, that you just yeah. said that. Like he's like, dang, I just, I'm that guy, man. I'm that one. I just, I big swing and a miss. Oh, uh, it's embarrassing. I hate <laughs> sparring guys like that. And sparring anyone like that who's just so twitchy and makes you second guess your own attacks before you throw them. Like it's such a, it's such a, a, a mind, a mind. Um, Big Chaos time mind game was just yelling <laughs> right in his face, saying, "Hey, we're not letting this go to the judges." Oh, all right, God. here we go. So yeah, now goes was kinda... on him. Ooh. Oh, see that big Man, old that kick, kick up, up kick up right there to Chaos's face by Brown. Man, that foot is so big too. I'd be so mad about that. <laughs> no, no, I'm telling you what, with see Brown using that, using that jab, using that side kick, using those kicks. That's that's mm. definitely the end thing for him to do. 100%. Chaos is stuck on the outside trying to figure out how do I get in? Because when he does get in and he's already gone, it's frustrating because you don't want to over commit, go running at him too much, right? One thing Chaos isn't really doing is fainting. He, he hasn't fainted much in this fight. So he needs to really just buck on him, like really like change level, do something, show the right hand a bit to see what Randy does so he can try to fire back real quick with something else. But yeah, he's not feigning that much. And I think Randy's just doing all the feigning for him. He's he's following suit. Oh, he oh, slapped him across the face. He just stopped and slapped him with that Oof. left hand and smacked him with the right. That was beautiful. Turned it. Boom. I like that. A good two, three. Very nice. Just to add to the frustration. And that is it, right? When you when you got that fighter that has the range and they're on point and you can't figure out how to get inside, it's frustrating being the shorter. Being the, like ideally the shorter fighter, Oof. he Ooh. just loaded up, came back to right hand, and then when Chaos tried to throw back, he missed. Yeah, you Brown put him in berserker right mode or berserker mode. Like every time you hit him like that and do oh. some little, Ooh. Brown is just on He's him right BB now. He's BB gunning man. him. He's BB yeah. gunning him. Death. Just plop, 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 kick to the face, frustrated. You can tell he's in his feels right now. Mm hmm. Yeah, it makes him not make the smartest decisions. It makes him just try to hit hard, and that's even easier to dodge. Definitely frustrating. Good calf kick by Chaos, but he's just like I said. The he one thing he's do done, something. I think the biggest thing Randy's done, either one of you, is he's just made Chaos so uncomfortable that it's that's the best way to just kind of freeze him yep. up. But ironically, Oof. if you look at significant strikes, Chaos has fifty eight. Randy Brown has fifty three. Interesting, but I think I think Chaos did do the most damage in that first round with those. Uh, Oh, oh, oh. Did he catch it? There it is. And that's why you can't let him hit you. Ooh. Now we've got now we got chaos on top, chaos in the guard. Randy's got him locked up. Open guard butterfly. Oh, he could still do something here, some damage here. Throw some little chipping elbows, try to set up the sweep. But he's got to do something other than just sit right there, right? Because now Randy's gonna start going to work, maybe lift up those hips. Right. And get back to his feet, right? Did y'all see the punch that landed? I, like, I, I missed it. See it. I didn't even, yeah, I'd never seen it. I think it was on the other oh! side of his head. Now he Oof. came back and fired a big right hand back in chaos. Chaos ate it. And now he, oh! Oh, he chaos is just throwing. Right hand and got out the way of chaos. 
He's got it. He's hitting him. Goes in for a double sprawl. Here comes Randy Pips. Chaos is trying to back up and counter, but Randy's not letting him do it. Well, he knows it's probably one and one, so he can't let right. Chaos get anything off on him. All that styling he was doing, that has to be get put to the side. Now he has to do damage. Oh, oh, big he right hand miss. Everything he the into that right hand. Diamond gets the fence, throws the double. What did he say, Viz? He threw everything into that right hand. Big whiff. Oh, it, man. It, they ask uh, Brown up against the cage now. Brown throwing down some elbows. Nice elbows. Good elbows. He's got it pushed up against the fence. Chat. Randy's got his back against the cage. Overhook. Looking to try to frame a little bit. Throw elbows. Score some points. Some little chipping knees will work here, too, on either one of their parts. Let him plumb that head. Nice plumb by Brown. They break. They're back to the center. Here we go. Randy walks him down. He's definitely been uh, feeling it. Last 40 seconds. Ooh. Something crazy is about to happen. Ooh. Chaos mm. is backing up until he finds that. He's just looking for that one opening. Right tries to spin one off real quick. Mm. Randy I'm surprised has I haven't seen Randy spin yet. Overhook, Chaos gets a body lock, push him up against the fence again. Oh, he's going to look to try to snap down on that head, have an underhook. Yeah. On the, nice job right here. Push him up. There you go. Good job. Plumb the head, throw some knees. There this you go. Three big so knees. Ooh. This round is so close. Like it could come down to the last 10 seconds. Yep. Chaos is on the outside, trying to Ooh. shoot man off the fence, throws a right, nice. then a left hook. Randy throws a piece. Hey. Wow. That was a good uh, fight. Not bad. That was a good fight. <laughs> the is, who do we think won the last round? Yeah, uh, talking it out. Yeah, so, uh, you know, when you... Uh... <laughs> fourth round. Let's do a fourth round. I just yeah, know, like, more. you look at it. You look at total Oof. strikes. We've got 85 to 83, but, man, I'm telling you what, it's... Oh, it looked... That was a good fight. I like it. Yeah, that was really... That was really just like a... a clash of styles with uh, striking you know Ooh. just the you had the styling guy and you had the guy who's just all power and pressure kiki jiki oh that dude, was waiting. the shot we're right waiting. there ah so he ducked down in chaos oh. lands like a nice little like under what somewhat of an uppercut yeah and the way brown moves like that if, when you're sparring that guy that's the punch that you're looking uh -huh. for the entire fight right. you know, all i have to you just gotta land at once because him ducking and you coming up with it that right, like doubles that the power yeah right oh dana is like oh uh, yeah okay <laughs> yeah well, oh they was he was like don't don't talk to you you go there you with him yeah. real quick. <laughs> they're ready for you <laughs> right they all oh all right, we're gonna have to find out because I'm Man. telling you what, Oy. I'm calling it split. I'm calling it split. Yeah, it's one. definitely split. Yeah. Someone's gonna go 30, the they're gonna go like this 30, 27 this way, 30, 27 this way, and then somebody's <laughs> gonna be as close as it gets, right? Maybe ish. Man, I don't know. Yeah, we'll have to find yeah, out. You really could see this one go either it way. It can't be 30, 27 on either side. And still. 29, 28, 28, Brown. 29, 28, Williams. 29, 28. Hey. Andy Brown. Hey. Brown Good boy, wins the I'm, I, I'll allow that. I'll allow that. I could have seen it go either way. It's one of those I'm fights where it's... definitely understanding the booze, you know, because that's I how people it. are. But, like, that was a close fight, man. That Run was it back, you fight. two. Run it back. Yeah. <laughs> Do it again. See, this could be well, that moment where they can they, the they keep winning. One more round. Again. One yeah, right? more round. They need to add that option. Or, you know what I feel like? I always say this. I feel like there should be more draws. When you have a fight close like that, especially that third round, you shouldn't have to assign a winner. You should be able to say that was a 10, 10 round. So then it would oh. go to, then it would be a draw, but. You're welcome. Kiki Jiki. No worries. Thank y'all for being here. You know that. And that's it. You know, and the crowd is booing. They're kind of going him. He's on a three fight witching, but if you go back and you just look at just, like I said, if you look at just the punches and stuff, I mean, they, they were so even. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All the way through, but. 
Yeah, I think he did a good job. I mean, Chaos landed some heavy shots when he got inside, but it, like, right. it was pretty evident, right? That, right? that Randy Brown was controlling the distance and he was kind of was feeling, especially the second round. Like I mm-hmm. the first round chaos, but Randy came out and kind of really you could tell the difference, right? In the second round. Yeah. 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 I'm wondering what the round, volume the question. Count. Yeah. 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 I'm wondering like, what, what the volume count for the third round was. But I Randy's think, yeah, we, oh, well, then we had that knockdown in the third. Ooh, it was we did a have the knockdown That's in the why. third round. Yeah. Okay. That's why people oh. were booing. Yeah. Ooh. All right. Maybe two rounds to one. Dang, I forgot about that part. Mm-hmm. He lulled me. See, I, I, then I might be, I might have fell victim like the judges because he lulled <laughs> me into forgetting that he got knocked down, and it was just like a slip, and then it he was, was up, he was controlling. It. <laughs> Dang it, yeah, he slipped. Those, he those me on that. is a slippery. He's, yeah, that's it. He sold me on that. All right, uh, he sold me on it. GG, I like it. Well, hey. possible you could think, and maybe a judge could see think that because I mean, during the fight, we'd even see what he got hit with. Mm-hmm. Well, and that's it, Biss, and it goes back to when it always talk about. It. It's like you, it's a hard to remember. Okay, well, what happened in the first forty-five seconds of the round? Then there was something that happened in the two minutes and twenty seconds, and then there's whatever happened in four minutes and ten seconds. But then there's the last ten seconds, the last thirty seconds. You can remember playing his day, right? And it's right. like, all right, well, how do we set that up where you can remember what happened in the beginning? Like, I'm not playing. Mm-hmm. I actually forgot a little bit. There was a knockdown. Oh, yeah, is that but- Rick Rufus? Good luck, oh. man. Hey, Jamal Hill, the big bro. There's Brian, was the sitting manager. Right next to him. Yeah, our manager. Wow. Chuck right. Liddell. Chuck, Chuck Liddell. Liddell. Not a gray head on him. Yes. Legend. Another spring chicken. <laughs> yeah, that was um, people online are saying robbery. But, they do yell a lot of robbery, but when it's I that think people might have been saying it the other way too. Like I think either way you you go, like you're gonna have some of that in that fight. Mm-hmm. You might have heard just as many boos if chaos wins because people thought Brown won. You know exactly. I can see it go either way. Yeah, I think people really react to uh, knockdown stuff. So you could yeah. be um, like the the Cheeto Vera um, uh, Rob Font fight. You can be winning the entire round and then you get knocked down. And if it's bad enough, then the fight goes to the person who got the knockdown, not the right. person who was scoring like double, double the uh, punches beforehand. Mm-hmm. But, um, but that makes think- sense. But if you just do a stumble, you know what I mean? Like a little yeah. stumble, yeah. it's a little tougher to call that like in boxing. Yes, a knockdown, they're giving you a 10 But in this, it's like it's. It's it's a stumble, but he's already back up. We can we can lose our balance in this mm-hmm. in this zone, right? In this fight. So that's and it again, if it's a little more and he's in trouble, oh, and you can land a couple more shots yeah. on him. You can see the wobbling or something like that. But in this, you know, that's hard to really win over the, the judges. Cause he did do a good job of flowing and controlling minus that one that moment, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So yeah, you have to think, do you penalize a fighter for two seconds? when they were controlling most of the round. And the good thing is like Chow was saying, chaos definitely thought he won, but yeah, we all definitely think we win all of it. You know what I mean? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> we always win it. Oh, speaking <laughs> up with this fight coming up, man, we got Mauricio who we got the show gun and Oven St. Prue Ooh. coming up. Two man. Uh, bets, man. The, yep. The predictions are open in chat. Make sure you use those channel points. That's why we use them. Get in there. Make sure you have that exclamation picks going as well, or you had, because on Monday, um, we'll be going through and seeing how everybody did. Hopefully, I don't know how long I'm going to be detained, but <laughs> I got that, man. That, you know it. That, come on. But we'll have to see. Um, yeah, no, it's it's crazy, though. I'm excited. It's been a lot of fun. And keep betting those points. Keep betting those points. Exclamation sweeps. Exclamation picks. Exclamation quiz. <laughs> a lot of exclamations. Then we got, what is the designer doing? We got the commercial going on right here. Uh, he is fighting King and Nier, right? Yeah. I believe I, so. Yeah. yeah. Coming up. Yeah. King and Nier had like a crazy performance against Brom Brunson. I was sure that Blom Brunson had it in the bag in the first round and he just came out of nowhere, elbowed him to death. Hearing, hearing uh, talks of Adesanya Cannonier and then uh, hearing maybe uh, possibly Volkanovski, Max Holloway three. Oh, 
Ooh, I've, been I've, been that. I've been hearing. I heard. I heard that. Uh, the uh-huh. Vulcan, yeah, I heard the nice. same. Nice. I like it. Oh, I like man. it. I actually could see a three. I wouldn't mind a three. I definitely personally. could see a three. Yeah, I think personally, all the fans want it. I thought I. I thought Max actually won the second fight. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of it was people one. Did. It was. Yeah. It was one of those You're fights. Welcome, it was close. You know, we could have like. You could see it go either way, but I personally had thought Max had won that. Look at that. Yeah, there though. it is. They're talk- there it is. Right there. 276. Okay. We're going to be live. I don't know where we're going to be on the backside. Jessica I, Macy Barber. What? Uriah Hall, Andre Munoz, Sean O'Malley, Pedro Munoz. Sorry. Ooh. Andre Munitz, Lauren he Murphy, and Nisha Tate. That's, I was going to mm-hmm. say, Lauren was just about, is fighting somebody. Strickland and Alex Pajeda. So that is happening. <laughs> oh, come on. Are you kidding me? That's a stacked Strickland card. Strickland right will step there, in baby. with Alex. I like it. What was that, oh, Dustin? Man. I appreciate that, Papa Grant. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, YouTube. Remember, we need got to get over here and sign up, get that exclamation sweeps, exclamation quiz for those things out there. But make sure the water is nice. Jump on in, jump on in, <laughs> come over here and hang out. Twitch TV slash UFC. And if you're out there on the book of the face, Facebook, come on over. Twitch TV slash UFC. Get in the chat. Build up those channel points. Which Terry said, Angie just draining white claws, but it's actually (laughs) unspiked. It's unspiked because I'm lame and I have to fight uh, next week, so I can't drink. (laughs) (laughs) And and when you get over here, babe, make sure you hit that follow button and subs. Subs are not required, but all subs go to support the American Cancer Society. Oh, sorry, I interrupted you. you no, you didn't. No, you talk. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> no. I was listening in the ears. I can hear the, the cockpit chiefs in ah, the ears. Big brother. UFC Hall of Fame ceremony. There's so many things going on. So many activities. So many Two, activities seven, to do. Right? Maybe I'll go and just hang out with you. Just yeah, we'll have along. the camp. Jump in. Let's go. Yeah. It's uh, International Fight Week in Vegas. Yeah, you know yes. it. I would assume it's in Vegas. My thirteenth wedding anniversary is on the fourth of July, so it's oh, we're gonna be all of it. It's all happening. You, you have a Twitch nice. setup. Nice. We're gonna be twitching. Yeah, we're gonna oh, be ooh, running around, ooh. backpacking, streaming, going nuts. We're going That's awesome. awesome. AK Snoo and me, and we'll go run with everybody. Let's go. Yeah. Do you get in trouble for twitching on the anniversary? No, I'm going to twitch all day. No, she's good. <laughs> well, it's 4th of July. You got to be streaming. That's the beautiful thing, right? Yeah. All, so many things to do. That's a that's a good good wife you got there. <laughs> yeah. As long as she doesn't have to be on the camera, it's like, you do you. Yeah. Get over there. Keep that camera away from me. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll see. Man, I can't, man. I'm, oh, show it's Shogun. You know what I mean? But I just, they're both coming off a loss. We'll have to see, you know, I mean, it's one of those things that we know that the, 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 that St. Prue choke. Oh, oh, I don't yeah. even know where to begin. The Von Prue. I swear. That choke when, is so nasty. Wasn't Shogun like really doing well in his last fight and then he ended up getting knocked out? Like I, from what I remember, I swear I'm remembering yeah. like he was really doing well. Like he was winning the fight, and then he got KO'd. Yeah, I feel like you're right. Like, was I, that I, the Paul like Craig that. one? Was it Craig? Was that dude? I think he was like doing well, and then he ended up getting KO'd. I uh, swear, I'm not hmm. sure though. Like at some, I reason, have so I many fights in my head. I have to. Yeah. Like, that's what I rely on chat to help chat, me. Chat, tell us. Tell us Remember what the Shogun Handle Hall of Fame fight, July fifth, twenty eighteen. I do, I do. Okay, so he lost to Ovin St. Prue back in twenty fourteen. This is a Dang. rematch. Yeah. Yes. Okay. That's what I was looking for. I'm like, he said he's gonna knock him out again. He got KO'd thirty four <laughs> seconds into round one. Dang. So and that yeah, was he, the rise of Ovens too. I remember yes. he was huge back then. Back when um when we had our tough season, he was Man. over there getting that choke on everyone. It's okay, so crazy. So Pitchy Terry, it was Paul Craig. It was Paul Craig. Okay. Shogun was a was a monster, you know. Mm-hmm. He was the top guy in the division for a while. And uh wasn't the, the didn't Shogun have the title all the way up until John Jones, right? Am I am I thinking wrong right now? No, you're. 
pretty sure no. he had the title and then ended up losing it to uh to jones like way back in the day i'm like am i crazy no i love it i love it i'm looking at chat and watching i'm watching <laughs> walk out there research. and i'm like i'm looking right <laughs> Why don't those kind of things? I just that's what I let chat do. That's why I'm like, we watch so much and there's so much going on. And so I remember like this has got a memory going. I'm and like, we this get is taking me to a head. spot. We get punched <laughs> in the head. You know what I mean? I got 10,000 things going on. At I the same swear time. that's the fight, John. Like comes you are correct. flying knee, like right at the very beginning of the fight. Yes. Was it a title fight? See, and that's what I love. This comes in and said, boom, he's got it. I'm like, hey, yep. I've been watching this for a while, man. It's been a long that's time. why you in the that's why you in the seat hanging out with us real yeah. long. <laughs> You've been watching longer than me, I'm sure. <laughs> man, oh my know. lord. So we'll have to see you actually fight fighting, so I don't know if it even matters, you know. You don't want to nah, it, it does matter. I always love hearing um because I can I became a fan after I started doing Muay Thai, which was okay. like 2010. That's uh -huh. when I first started like having amateur fights and stuff. And then I was like, oh, let me check this MMA thing out. And I uh -huh. remember the first fight that I actually cared about was, um, what was it? Was it Gina Carano versus Cyborg? It was one of those. It was one of oh. those chick fights. And I was like, oh, this is cool. Okay. okay. I'm <laughs> probably not going to do it one day, but this is cool. So yeah, it's always cool to, to talk to people who've been watching way longer than that. But I love that's it because awesome. I mean that's one of the things too when it comes to, you know, it's like the stats and stuff. It's why well, I just get caught up so much fighting, so much going on on the yeah. now. I have a hard time going backwards and remembering this and stuff. But I love mm -hmm. it. Like I'm in the same boat. I'm kind of like, wait, did this happen? And then after uh -huh. all, let chat kind of, yes, it did. Okay, I'm like, all right, I just want to make sure I'm not punchy. But you know, what I mean, I'm constantly filling the cup, so I got to figure out. What I'm doing, things are spilling over sometimes, but that's what I love about it. <laughs> overflowing. You know, overflowing. <laughs> I can't keep it all. It's like it gets shifted around and changes, but yeah, I love it. I love it. Yo, Snerius. How's everybody doing? We've got Shogun Hua walking out to the cage right now. By the way, I hope everybody is doing well in the chat world. Much love and appreciation. You too. Yeah. Good you job, Viz. We need you. Look there at it you. is. I knew Good it. Is. Job, oh, look at that. I knew it. Look at this. Look at this. this. <laughs> MMA extraordinaire. I love it. We got to get you this. in the commentary Right booth. here. Former <laughs> UFC light heavyweight champ. 2018 UFC Hall of Fame inductee. Fight wing. Tied most performance awards in UFC light heavyweight history with eight. Third most knockouts in UFC WC. Strike force and pride history with 17. Nice. And that was the one thing interviewing him, by the way. Well, I got to do that with Matt Sarah. And so we we're at and Jim. Oh, yeah, we, you guys oh, yeah. we got to we got to interview. Uh, and I just stood there. I didn't know what to say. Luckily, Matt <laughs> and Jim, they did most of the uh, you know what I mean? They did most of the questions. I'm just looking at him. Like it's Shogun Hua. I fanboy. Yeah. <laughs> I fanboy. What Magoo? One, two, three. Can I get a shout out? There you go. Shout it. Um, but what that's up, the Magoo? one thing, right? So it's just I was, I'm a fan of my man. So we'll see. He says, I think he said he has two more fights in him uh -huh. and then he's, that's it. So okay. we shall see, but hopefully, you know, it's one of those things. And if I like this with both of them had such a crazy career, mm -hmm. I just, Oh, I'm excited. Let's who find out. Got? Not to mention redemption. Who you got in this fight? Man, oh yeah. No, I, I don't, don't know. Do I don't do that. <laughs> Just because you, uh, you know you get a pick. Oh, I'll... it was driving. It was driving. Matt's like, yo, so you're that, and then you claim afterwards. I said, no, I don't. I don't, I have no clue when Dang, it comes he's to only these 40? two. I'm going That's Shogun. crazy. I feel like Shogun would be like ten years older. Just because of like the expanse of the his name. career. He's been around. Yeah, now. that's crazy. He's done so much in so little time. Let's see. Yeah, do you have? Are you pick? Do you have a? Do you have a certain pick in this one? Overkill. Man, I, I <laughs> it's hard to say because he did mess up Paul Craig and Ovens has been getting dropped by a lot of people in his last fight. So, man, it's, it's tough. If, if Ovens's chin holds up, I think he could beat this. I think he can win this. I mean, but we'll see. I got to go with the 40 just because, <laughs> Prue, you just miss it, but you're 39. So I got to go with the age. I got to go with the age. Being the older guy, I like to see that 40 still be able to do it, right? <laughs> got to go with the 40 on that one. 
I think Shogun's body has more years on him than 42. Oh. Like Ooh. all the wars he's been in, like yes. <laughs> definitely Absolutely. the the veteran in there. I think his first fight in the UFC was UFC 76. I'm looking at it, 2007 mm. against Forrest Griffin. Dang. Mm-hmm. Ugh. There he is. Oh, he got that serious face, though. Yeah. All right, chat. Here we go. Here we go. <sighs> YouTube, Facebook. I'm telling you, Twitch TV slash UFC. Drop on in. You'll like it. It's Here we okay. Go. Oh man, here we My go. God is excited. <laughs> Yo, Papa Grunt, gift to no subs, much love and appreciation. All subs go to support the American Cancer Society. Oh, here we go. Here we go. All right, let's see. Let's see who ends up on top. Right to the center, righty versus lefty. The oh, feeling okay. out process here. Now, the one thing you see how right off the bat, kind of just the way Shogun's just got the hand out there, throws a good right leg. Prue is uh, the feeling out process, really, chat. That's the one issue, right? Big kick out of the way by Prue gets out of the way. Especially when you have the opposite stances. They always do the touch hands thing in the middle. Touch, 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 the the fingertips. Yeah. But I like that because that's one of the things you can capitalize. Capitalize on that lead what, or get in inside, but not mm-hmm. moving too fast. What's that, Vis? What is the deal with that? What is the deal with the like the each of the each of them touching your hands? Well, because you can, yeah, that's what distance. your lead hand is, Ryan. It's a range finder. It's kind uh-huh. of a it's a range finder. It's a gauge. Look at the birdie. So you're kind of just sitting there slapping that hand and then you're letting the cannon go, right? So you just kind of range mm-hmm. finding. And when you have the righty versus lefty, you know that they got the lead sides are pointing right at each other. So you're kind of just setting it up and just kind of playing it out because you know to let the cannon go. The straight right meets the lefty, the straight left meets the righty. And it's trying to settle it up in circle. So you kind of get in that situation. Then again with Huga showing that. Trying to Ooh. show that right hand. Say Prue got in too close, ran into a right left by Shogun right there. Yeah, their back hands are perfectly lined up with each other's chin. So the lead hand is kind of keeping that from happening right away. Like they can control when the person comes in and out of range a little better, at least before they find the range and then they start, then the hand fights ends. And they're just throwing at each other. Look at that pair now. Oh, hey. So see right there, nice job. He slipped inside right there. It's a little dangerous. Say Prue threw a big left. He slipped He's inside. He's looking for that knockout. Right in, far to the mm-hmm. top, you know what I mean? And Same Prue keeps was, lunging in. You know, that's the one thing, right, you too, when you get into this feeling out process right here, you get nervous because you know it's just someone's going to land that one big oop that kind of mm-hmm. changes up the mood, right? Right. Ooh. Oh, he's kind of snapped his head back a little bit right there. Yeah, see how that goes straight down the pipe? There's nothing in the way when you're fighting lefty versus righty. There's nothing in the way of that backhand. And that's kind of, I wish he would commit a little more to it. But the one thing I do like when, when St. Prue, Ooh. there it is. See, he's throwing in doubles. He's throwing in twos at least. Yeah. And right now it's one shot of St. Prue, but who a right hand left hook. He's and that's starting to pay dividends. Now you can come back maybe a two, three, two or something of that nature, mm-hmm. but it looks to get that second, third punch. That's the problem right here, right? St. Prue is deep kicking him away a little bit, lunges in with that left hand. And then it's who are trying to land right, left hook. Every time he's lunged in Shogun's gotten out of the way though. Every single time. Yeah. It's really seen it. I'm telling you what, he keeps getting teeth kicked to that belly hole three mile island. He's going to have a pink belly for sure, right? <laughs> there you go. Belly. Two shots right there. Who tries to come inside? Yeah, OSP is, they both being really patient, chat. Now he's kind of backed him up a little bit. He's on that outside track, backing up against the fence a little bit. But other than that, um, oh, can I make a shout out here to the Philippines? What up, Philippines? Hey, Love Philippines. you. Love you. Love the food. Oh, I loved fighting there. It's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, I love the fighters. <laughs> crazy driving. Y'all, man, crazy driving. But <laughs> woo, everything else was beautiful. There we go. Here we go again. Now, if you notice, though, it's a lot of straightforward, straight back with this right, left. Not much circling. Right, trying oh, to step Chris outside Paul. that lead leg or anything like that. Ooh. Nice deep kick, knocked us Hua back. But that's the one thing you're just not seeing is, has he got a cut on his forehead, Hua? He's got something. something. See that? Mm-hmm. Oh, where'd that come from? Little jab. Sometimes it's like a, a, a thumbnail or something. Just a little. Ch- 
and slice them open. Yeah, and that's that one thing. But like, just get Ooh. the circling going. See again, and that's what happens every time. Chad is when Saint Prue His throws belly that left is hand, definitely red right now. Then he starts yeah. bombing that left, right, or something like that. But I'd like to see him start circling a little bit. Would help. It's just a lot of people they just don't like the circle. I'm telling you, yeah, people are just against it. Yeah, you just want to, you just want to touch him. You just want to hit him, <laughs> yeah. especially Sit when you get a in. taste. Yeah. 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 <laughs> You get a taste of what it feels like to punch him in the face. You're like, oh, I want it again. I don't want to be patient. You know, but even just circling, because there's like a lot of people do really well moving straight forward, straight back. But adding mm -hmm. in that circling can change up a lot. And I just wish, but look at the redness. Yeah, man. man. Shogun is red up in the front by St. Prue just poking. Belly. A lot of patience. Yep. We're at 15 to 19 strikes. So it's a slow process with seven seconds left. Moving slow, but... Here we go. Three, two, one, end of the round. Oof. Such a patient first yep. round. And that little stab kick, that thing does numbers on yeah, your look stamina. At his stomach. Yeah, that oh, every time red. that digs in, that's like a little body shot. That's like a little left hook to the liver every time he digs in with that with that stab kick and it's so fast that it'll catch you a lot of times when you're taking in that breath then you're just like Hoo! you know and it takes out uh it takes a little year there was a tiny step. little cut on his forehead you can see that oh there was okay okay mm -hmm. really quick critical what oh that hey, looks like if a Vince nail. ever wants to, yeah. i would love to train with this and box with him get him in the ring Dude, and i would love that talk to them Oh, yeah. I'll respect the pack. I'm down. This, all this has to say is do it, man. This is my partner. I love, man. This is, yep. So anytime. There's someone in chat's like, Jids, you got to convince this to uh, Tritico2123 to start getting his ass in the ring. 100, I'll work with him all day. All yeah. day. He's got he's to carry me through the game world, and I'm in. Let's go. Man, wrestlers throw the best overhands. That's so all they got. Big power. overhand and in you go, you're right? Big overhand power, and into man. the takedown. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that crowd. All right, here we go. Round two, round two. Let's go. And the crowd is relentless right now. Oof. Boo happy. Boo oh, happy. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm not surprised. It's Phoenix. <laughs> oh, this They're drunk at froze. this point. Oh no! I thought it was just a uh, smugly it's imagining a great, his He's got MMA career. <laughs> <laughs> right, I well, guess I would it. have a hard overhead. Oh, do we got an Oma Oma Potato up in here? How you doing, Potato? Yo, oh, man, UFC vets running in there, hanging out. Appreciate it. All right, here we go. So now we're back. We're kind of in the same position. I yeah. can't stop staring at this face, but I'm gonna work <laughs> past it. I don't like the way that um, Ovens is slapping that lead hand down. I feel like I feel like Shogun's going to read it and use it because he brings his hand all the way down away from his face. He's not protecting anything when he slaps that lead hand down. Bear with Let's us for a minute, nervous. chat. When somebody dips, you know how it's going to look a little weird on the screen, but we're assuming he's going to make his way back. So we'll be Oof. all right. So you're just going to look a little awkward to that moment. But. You know what I'm saying? You know what the really frustrating thing is, is yes, right here, the patient side of it, it makes you want to step in. Like you said, when you're slapping those hands down, mm -hmm. like somebody's got to utilize that lead hook, or maybe, like I said, you got to get up on the wheels and start moving. Look, at even who are starting to move around a little bit, you got to open this up, right, Ange? Get to the side, start creating, like circling. See, I like how he's circling. Yeah. It's different than standing right here in front of each other, just one punch at a time, trying to slap over the top of the other one's hand. Add in that circling and just kind of break the Oof. rhythm. There you go. Right, left hook by who it just, I think it landed a little bit, but the punch output is tiny right now. And someone's got to kind of feel and step it up, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, everything's getting blocked for the most part. We, like maybe one punch has gotten through for either one of them. But could, he heard Coach Jens yelling circle and that's working <laughs> for him a little bit. He's not eating as many stab kicks to the gut at least. Yep. And that was really, I think, taking an effect on Shogun. Yeah, and getting him up in it because it's Oof, hard. And, I mean, I'm one. guilty of it. As we get older, we get flat footed. We go, oh, there oh, you go, a little more aggression. There he goes. Good right hand. But then he bailed off and he got back to the center. And it's like, is he fearing the takedown? I, maybe he's a fearing that choke. I don't know. Mm. You know, who is tempted to get back to the center, not play around next to that cage? I think he's really fearing just the the inside boxing. He doesn't want to get hit. Neither of them want to get hit too hard because those gloves are so small. Those guys are really big. Anything, even if they're not, you know, known for big knockouts, both of them have been knocked out in their last couple of fights. Yeah. So it's definitely a possibility that happens. They got to play it safe a little bit. 
Yep, and they are, and that's the one thing because they both respect it, and they're both coming off. They're both coming off, like you said. So it's got to be. I mean, it's one of those things that it's um. What? Well, yeah, no. So yeah, it'll look a little different. Chat, bear with us. We're waiting for Vis to work on that, and then if not, we'll figure it out. But yeah, we'll make. We're making the adjustments. There we go. So now who are those? See, now the one thing, he is kind of winning in the war that, see right there, when he gets St. Prue back up against the fence, but then he's like, nope, I'm going to come back to the Oof. center and we're going to do this again. But and that's even why though that stab. we're down with the 33 total strikes to 31 total strikes into the second round, this is just going to be that fight. Nobody's really feeling any kind of urgency. Mm. There you go. Nice kick blocked and swept, not really blocked, but caught and swept by Hua. came back with a counter right leg of his own. Well, there he is. Hey, he froze up on the awesomest face. If you can hear us, we'll wait. Till <laughs> <you get to. laughs> it was All a really right, good face. Like, but you see again, like right here, well, even yeah, Hua knows he's got to try to set up these, get inside, start circling a little bit. And let's get out of this monotony of slap hands, slap hands, and throw. Oi! Woo! See, that's the game. He's waiting big for lift. St. Prue to throw that big left and mm -hmm. come underneath it. Nice. Yeah, nice timing by Rua slipping underneath that big punch. But those stab kicks are really like making him making him tentative of going for it. Because anytime Shogun goes straight in, Ovens is really good at just see he's see, he's, he's flashing even it now. The knee right there. He's yeah, flashing he's it. flashing it. He's he's got him scared of it. Yep, they pay, they they pay so huge dividends, right? They pay mm -hmm. big dividends, don't they, Ange, taking those? Yeah, that makes you taste your breakfast, Boys. man. <laughs> <laughs> you only take a few before you're going to not want to stand up in the corner. Oy, oh, there nice. you go. He got in there Ooh, through the right a hand. On that. Yeah. Nice, super hand, super hand-ish. Oh, deep kick. It's just the volume mm. of it all. That's the one thing. We're not even in the 40 Ooh. strikes between Ooh, the two. You know I mean, Ooh. someone doesn't even have 40 punches. So there's a big, a lot of respect, a lot of hesitancy, a lot of feeling out process, but not much action when it comes to that. So trying to figure out the, pu the puzzle. Yeah. Phoenix Arizona is not, is not happy. happy. They're not. They're mad. The big mad. Yeah. This is a tough fight, though. This is tough to to manage for Shogun. Like he can't get around that big old leg of OSPs. Uh -huh. Like it, that leg is a is a is a pole. It's like a big old staff. Every time he comes forward, he's just getting pushed back and and paying for it with his with his uh with his stamina. I can't. <laughs> yeah, when it comes to this fight, I can't score it either. But again, thirty seven. This will be anybody's guess. Thirty seven significant strikes by Hua. Thirty five significant strikes by Prue. Right. Somebody does kind of need to step up. But the problem mm. is, and either one of you, when you start getting into that rhythm, it's hard to get out of it. They're kind of mm -hmm. stuck into the, the 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 theme of the fight, so to speak. Right? They're kind of stuck in this. And it, it, how do you change it up? Right? What do you got to do? Something uh -huh. just kind of wild, right? To just kick started off yeah man i mean when you think about the randy brown fight like the whole round that he dominated it was being off rhythm just doing something unexpected right. and he only got caught when he'd slipped the same way like one or two times in a row so just switching that rhythm up that's that's what one of those the first person who does that is going to win this fight oh that was different the there he's in. we've got there. a clinch now and he's got to push up against the, up against the fence First time, see, so St. Prue even kind of heard. I wasn't listening to the coaches, but I've got to change up something. So he made a mm -hmm. strategic move to sit in there, push him, get him up against the fence. But now there's not going to be much going on. Not much risk taken by either fighter. Nobody's really going after. But now he's got him pushed up against the fence where he can start poking that kick at him again. There's not much, there's not much retreat able to happen. Yeah, way easier to hit him with that push kick. Up yep, against but, the fence. But then who I heard it and he moved out back to the center, circled his way back to the center. And now we're off and we're still doing that slap Ooh. hand, slap hands. The oh, crowd is not that. happy. They're waving their huh? <laughs> you see him yeah. waving the, the phones, phones are around. coming out. Or did we lose power or something? <laughs> <laughs> it's the uh, it. it's the fireflies. <laughs> yeah, right. We got the fireflies going. Now here we go. So again, it's just a lot of that. A lot of thinking, not too much risking, and that's it. But the front, the front belly hole of Hua, quite yeah. red, <laughs> getting beaten quite, up. Yeah, oh, it is so pink. It's gonna be sore, man. And there you go. Another See, it's one. just that deep kick. Can he just win over it? Can and he over and over deep again. kick himself to victory? 
Yeah, he I mean, can. he probably is. He probably he is can. going to. That's he probably can and is. There it is. <laughs> He's backing him up, so it definitely works in ring generalship. And who has just does? There you go. He's still yeah, trying Shogun, to. Throw I think right Shogun kind of just started Ugh. to think right there. It's like, man, this is not working. I got to swap something up. Got to throw something. I got to mm-hmm. do something. He's trying to circle, but again, once you get into that rhythm, it's just hard to get out of it. And they're playing this game. Nobody wants to take that risk. And they've obviously they've been playing it safe for two rounds. Why? You know, it's hard to feel that quote unquote desperation right now, especially when you probably think you're Oof. you're winning. I think uh, OSP hurt him with those last two push kicks. Uh-huh. His hands got real low. He started circling real hard, like lots of urgency in the circle. There's Ooh. another one. That was like, yeah, was look at where powerful. his elbow is. And that's it. Every time that he throws, he steps in and gets that deep kick to the belly hole. Mm-hmm. And even on that liver side, you know, and he's oh. constantly holding on to his right hand, is cocked and locked, making sure he can block with it. I mean, he's done really well with that kick. Seems like this was the strategy going in, right? He's like, yeah. he constantly kick to the stomach, kick to the stomach. And that's he's just walking down the right hand lands. He backs out, but he's not trying to. Yeah, this has just been one of those fights, man. It, it's just not too much. We're at 46, 47 total punches between the two. Who I just can't see. He's just outside of trying to land that right hand. Man, uh, someone who isn't as tough as Shogun would have dropped by these by now. Like, that's a lot of, oh. Uh, every one of them just on the. That point, is horrible. And could it doesn't imagine? look like that bad. It too. don't look like much, but I was going to say, chat, could you imagine taking that many, like 50 strikes to the belly hole? Pop, yeah. ah, pop. All right, it would get dirty. Oof, I'm telling you, if he could land that right hand, but St. Prue just gets out of the way, but that just kind of goes to show the way, the whole theme of this fight, that extra step in, nobody's taking. And who uh, will land that big right left yeah. and it'll be just out of range. But he just won't take that step in to, you know, that second, that third, that fourth punch. If uh if OSP had like a nice question mark kick, this is the oh, perfect yeah. time to throw it. Just like fake the been going body the whole time. Yeah, so just Go fake the teep and then flip it around. Cause those hands are low. Shogun's right hand is real low right now. They've got a good job of just gauging that range. Nobody's really getting in and man, they're just no urgency. Even now, still chat, no urgency. Just that. They've been just playing the games and throwing no more than one, two punches at best. But it's just, like I said, the crowd's going to go. The crowd is going to go ham. They're just waiting. But they know what's about to happen. So this is a good pre. This is a good lead up to the fight that's coming up next. And yes, I am kind of moving on because I don't think <laughs> if they don't have urgency, I'm not feeling the urgency. <laughs> You're but over it. We've got like Chandler Phoenix. and Ferguson coming up next and it's hard. Oh. It is hard not to get jumping for that. But again, a jump in right hand, left hook by who landed a little bit, but Uh-oh. that's about it. And then he's moving out of the way. Got a little bounce in the step now about to go Taekwondo style. Oh, no, I back to do circling. something. He went something. <laughs> There we go. Now he's just moving around on the track and he's really going to ride it out. I mean, I don't know. You're 40 years old, content just to yeah. make it. The crowd is going ham and Oof. that's going to be the fight. And he's limping. Oh, Saint that's Prue is tough. limping, but I mean, you got to eat some elbow throwing that toe, throwing that uh, push kick like that. It's all yeah, tough, yeah. really. It's mostly big toe digging into the person's ribs over and over again. So every they now broke his again. own toe, kicking him that many times. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, it's frustrating because when you do it, look, boom, and he, Ooh, maybe you catch the elbow. Oh, that's a good elbow kick. Right Man, dude. That was a <laughs> great that view elbow's that. down. Look at that elbow's down right there. Watch him dig in. The elbow. Oh, <laughs> but it kind of grazed those outer foot, caught a little bit of the elbow, maybe, but. I don't know. Then that nice kick, right? That could have had him limping too, because Shogun landing at the top. But see what I mean? Just, just those are just missing. I don't mm-hmm. like just grazed, but it's like if you could have just took one little more step, something. Mm-hmm. But it's gonna be. Cra- I don't know, man. If I like, it's all right. It happens. Yeah, the oven should have this in the bag though. At least at least two to one. Yeah, I think the, I mean the biggest thing in that whole fight was those kicks to the stomach. You're looking at it, it's deep crazy. Deep. Like on the punch in the matchup stats, 53 significant strikes by St. Prue to 48 by mm-hmm. Ahua. So not all significant strikes are made equal though. No, I'm I'm with it. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how they figure out. 
well they do it because they got it. total strikes and sniff strikes <laughs> happening together. But at the same token, I guess I get it because the little pity pat shots, maybe, but the way that they were, you know what I mean? I can't yeah. wait to see what these judges do. Figure out how to call it a draw. You should just leave it a draw. <laughs> just, I would. I wouldn't even just call it a draw. I would give big, it to Ovens just from the damage for, to the gut, you know, yeah, just because it was visible. Like you could see the reaction, not just the pink belly, but you could see the reaction. Ring generalship controlled the ring at least. Yeah. Right? Oh. 29, 28, who are? 29, 28, same thing. already, so it doesn't matter who won. <laughs> Oh, oh and no. St. Prue gets the dub. Oh, Prue, I thought. Who I threw his hand up. See, and that's the point is, Dang. the problem is they did it. Now, here's my question. Why, like the corner, hey, man, you're not winning. You got it. We need to do more than what you're doing. Patty the Batty sitting out there. Jared Cannonier hey. right there. What? Who are those guys? Arizona. Oh, Park. real? No. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, actual. actual. Dwight Howard's in the oh, building. We got Dwight Howard. We got Dwight Howard channel. Who's the one right behind him, though? Just off Man. the shoulder there. Okay. Well, I now. Get up on my regular. Okay. Sports. Let's have this conversation <laughs> really quick right now. Ferguson and Chandler. Yeah. Ferguson and Chandler. It's the fight I'm Woo! most excited for. Yeah. It's my most Shouts excited for fight right Strout here. Strout holding pads. He used to. Um, he was in the Muay Thai scene in New York when I was coming up too. So it was real cool seeing him at fight weeks all the time. Ferguson oh, looking one focused, more time. mad focused. Okay. Yeah, I'm excited for this okay. one. Okay. <laughs> Gents has been my official score scorecard guy for about a year now. Yeah, well, I tell you what, but you know, I mean, sometimes, sometimes it happens. All right, so really quick chat. Guess what we have for you? We've got a video. We got a video for you to check out Chandler Ferguson. We'll see you when we'll see you when it get back. What? First man to put a double digit winning streak on paper in what is widely regarded as the toughest division in the UFC. Edson Barbosa, Lendo Venata, Rafael Dos Anjos, Kevin Lee, Anthony Pettis, Donald Cerrone. Killer after killer fell to this man. This training camp for UFC 274, we're going a little bit more old school, uh, kicking it back to the roots. When I say basic, I'm going back to my wrestling roots. He's in trouble, Joe. He is in trouble. He's There's the tip. Tony Ferguson! Tony Ferguson, man, is a savage. And if he can get back to himself, he really still has time to make his way back to the elite of the lightweight division. Chandler, you can have your hands full. Ever since I signed with the UFC, I hit the ground running. I was the backup at UFC 254, fought in January. Oh! Dan's hurt bad! In May. Oh, and now a right and sits Oliveira down! He's in real trouble. And then, of course, capped it off at the end of the year at Madison Square Garden with the fight of the year with Justin Gaethje. Oh! Gaethje shit getting tested early. These upcoming performances, you're going to see a more calm, composed, but still tenacious Michael Chandler. Looking for the finish, but fighting a little bit more like a veteran. Oh! Big knockdown for Michael Chandler! It's over! Michael Chandler! I grew up learning how to hunt at a very young age, but I don't like to hunt animals. So what I do is I hunt people now. He's going to stay in your face. He's going to keep engaging you in just that ugly fight. I'm stalking him like he's a deer. So I got a double lung and a heart shot coming for him. As soon as Tony feels my explosions in there, as soon as he feels my speed and the accuracy and the footwork and the timing, I think I'm going to be faster than him, more dominant than him, and go out there and get the finish. Oh! Surprise, surprise! Whoa! Michael Chandler! Your time is coming, bona fide UFC lightweight contender! See you at the top! I'm going to find him, and I'm going to get him. I'm going to bag me a deer. That's it, man. He's a trophy buck. I'm going to go out there, I'm going to get him, man. He's ready. I want to go out there, I want to compete. If I put together a great performance, I beat any lightweight on the planet. <laughs> this, this, this. I'm always on time, baby. <laughs> I'm telling you, hey, by the way, really quick, shout out YouTube. YouTube, have you made your way over and said, hey, What's up, Jans? I'm from YouTube. Came over to see what's going on. Twitch TV slash UFC. Love and appreciation. And the Facebook. 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 Drop on over. Twitch TV slash UFC. 
Oh man, this could be a war. Slash UFC. <laughs> the yeah. other one is we have to get in there at oh, UFC man. streams exclamation Jesus. Twitter in it. chat. Yeah, this fight's about to be nuts, right? I can't. Here's the thing: what it boils down to is I'm kind of curious how Ferguson's making the walkout right now. Is he? Can he? Is he going to be the beastly Ferguson? As, you know, I mean, I'm man, woof, I don't know, man. I feel like I feel like Tony having like a, this time off is actually probably going to help him. Like, I think he's going to come into this fight. I think this is going to be a war. I have a, I just have this gut feeling that we're in for a war right here. With Chandler, well, he's a he's all healed up too. Uh huh. Yeah. Right, like he he's had like a year and a half to let all his old injuries, all his old nagging stuff that kept taking him out of fight weeks, out of fight camps. Now he's been able to heal up. He's been able to think a lot, train the way he wants to. So he's he's probably going in a lot lighter than he well than the average fighter with a loose streak. It's actually only been one year. It, it seems like it's yeah, been like longer. a year and a half, right? No, yeah. he's, he's the last time he fought only May, one year, oh. May fifteenth. Wow, oh, I thought it was longer than that. Okay. It seems Dang. forever, doesn't it? Same. Yeah. It feels like it's been a while. There's been so many fights. It's just such mm-hmm. a busy career. But that's the other thing. And someone said something about Chandler, about that one and two in the UFC. But those two are, you know, you look at who they're against. You look at the damage of what he did and how fired up he was. And then you look at the one fight where he knocked out Hooker really quick with that leading mm-hmm. yep. shot. So that's the one thing. Even though he has come in one and two, he has been put in the... No easy fight for Chandler. And now yep. you've got this one in front of you, Tony Ferguson. And I'm just excited Another to see where it's going to be. You know, and that's it. I mean, you fought, what What was it, Gaethje? You fought um, Oliveira. You fought Hooker. And now you're fighting Ferguson. Seriously? <laughs> you know, the funny thing about that is uh, two of the last three people Tony fought was Justin Gaethje and Charles. So both these guys are coming in, losing to the same guys, you know. I mean, yeah. the, the, the best guys in the whole entire division. So it's going to be very interesting to see who's going to come out on top on Tango Kilo. What fight. this is his easy fight. Jens, he earned it. Who do you think is the easy fight? That's the one thing is I don't know, but we've got, we've got 36% yeah, no right fights. now in chat on, on Ferguson and we've got 64% right now on Chandler. So wow. is, is uh, F society has a hundred thousand points on Ferguson. G G. Wow. Good odds, though. I mean, this is a fight that I would bet on because I know Tony Ferguson's history. I know that he's a warrior, he's a survivor, and he finds openings where a lot of people would just kind of give up and go flat. So this is a good fight to bet on, especially if Tony's an underdog like that. And Hi. um, you know, Chandler, he hasn't had the fight the people in the lower end that make their way up to the top. Like Chandler came in, he was fighting the top dog right away. So there's always a little bit of, um, a little bit of question marks there. Like how would Chandler do if he had to fight ranked number 15, ranked number 10 in the way that Ferguson Mm -hmm. had to, in order to make his way to the top. So that he has to be coming in with a little confidence, just knowing that his entire career has been facing killers in the UFC. And Chandler is kind of the new kid on the block that just got there, has some crazy fights, but showed a lot of ways to win. Yeah, no, 100%. And that's exactly it. And by the way, one more time, Snoo, because I, I, I got in there, but... um. Hike with me with 130,000 points on Chandler. So love and appreciation with you. Good luck with that. That's it. And with this part is there is no easy fight period at the top. And with, even with Ferguson, Mm -hmm. I don't care what anybody says. The only thing I've always said when it comes to Ferguson is he's too damn tough for his, for his own good at, at the age, Mm -hmm. right? We just can't take those kind of shots. That's what, but that's what made him. I'll go in and let you, you'll not let you, but you'll hit me. I'll walk through and I'll hit you 15 times you'll hit me five i'll hit you ten i'll hit you and i'll melt you and i'll break your spirit and i'll crush you and i'll beat you down you know what i mean 
And that's yes. now the only difference is what you have to worry about is, yes, he just dives in and thrives in with the chaos, but it's that explosiveness at the beginning because that is the only thing he's got to be kind of weary about because that is the one thing that Chandler still, even though he's he's not the younger fighter-ish, but that's what he has, that quick explosion. Does Chandler want to grind? No, that's a Ferguson fight. Does he want explosive and quick? Yeah, that's a Chandler fight. That's kind of what's going to happen in here. You can't let Tony, because Tony doesn't stop. He just runs at you. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know what I mean? He mm -hmm. runs at you and dives into the phone booth. Like, I doesn't, let's go. And he'll take three shots to get in there and get that fight. And it'll break your heart really quick if you hit him and he just walks through it. It starts to just demoralize you. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. but we yeah, he grinds you down, tries to grind you down into dust slowly over the fight. With that 13 first round finishes for Chandler, you know, and that's again, like I said, if he can do it, he wants to do it early, but it's he can do it explosively that way. But with the yeah. grind, you know, he can still fight his way out. It'll be oh, oh, I'm so excited for this fight, especially. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I mean, that Chandler Gaethje fight, though, man, he showed that he could do that for three rounds. Like, yep. Even though Gaethje had his number after the first two, he yep. still was in that fight. He was still explosive. He was still making it crazy, keeping Gaethje on his toes, making sure he was still sharp, you know? So Chandler is definitely ready for a grind. Just probably doesn't want one. <laughs> yeah, but I don't think, and that's the thing, right? If it's turned out, but again, after watching the Gaethje Chandler fight, there's so much alike in a lot of ways that everything is thrown hard. You mm. got to be careful closing that distance. And when you throw those kicks, with your with leaving your hands down and things like that but at any time tony proved he can slice you with those elbows catch you not looking this is going to be a lot of fun to who's going to figure out the game plans and then the coaching behind it and we got a negative 320 favorite in chandler right now which is mm. man crazy crazy Oi, I, but I'm so excited to see, man. <laughs> come on, yeah, man. He's out here boxing the cage, man. How can man? you not love Ferguson? All, I mean, you just got to love him. It, it's uh. insane. He has just been in some wars, and that's why it was so much fun on Friday, breaking down the fights of fighters fighting on Saturday's fights. You know, getting to watch him. I'm so excited to see him finally do this. Yeah. Tony. Ooh, let's go. Oh, Kukui chat. So let's go. Man. It's it's great seeing Ferguson back in there, man. Yes. And it's great to see a crowd. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is, man. It is. I'm there wondering, I always oh, wondered man, if that so affected him too. Fight, man. I'm being so excited for this fight, man. Yeah, no. This is my fight of the night right here. But I mean, Chandler's had nothing but savages from the word jump street, which mm -hmm. is, again, that's cool. But <laughs> he's got another one. He's got yeah. another one. Both All these the guys savages. are facing a savage tonight. Oh, yeah. he, he knew I what did. he did when he knocked out Hooker. He knew that's, that was his fate from then on. Right. Savage City. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. With number five, number ticket, seven. Hey, literally. And with, yeah. <laughs> hey, but with this whole vacated thing happening, this could maybe, this might, this could ish. Yes. It could jump true. a Chandler or jump someone right in there to, to you know, here we go. Here we go. All right, let's go, baby. Yeah. Righty we'll versus lefty gloves. right off the bat. Now, see that the bounce i like that bounce of chandler when you up there and tony's obviously trying to move around he's circling chat doing a lot of and he's trying to you can tell with the puzzle trying to figure it out but chandler is sitting right in the center mm -hmm. just kind of bouncing tony's wanting to try to figure out how he's going to get inside right yeah chandler's stance is just always no matter where he's moving backwards forwards he always looks like he's ready to attack you know, and that's the one thing. It's like, what is he looking for, right? He, you can tell Tony looks like he's trying to, uh, like more counter, but he wants to throw, but he's not wanting to overextend. He's not wanting to get mm -hmm. in too much. And he's starting to work his way in a little bit, but the patience of these two, I'm not used to this. Oof. Nice big calf kick by Chandler, explosive. And both these guys nice eat leg kick kicks, so belly. you My know belly. that's what the game plan is. Upstairs, downstairs, see, taking that right hand. He's throwing that right hand yeah, to the belly got some hole. Good movement so far Oof. in this fight. 
You know, that's the one thing I do like about Chandler, that wide leg stance right there. Oh, he caught him with the hook, back it out. Yo! Tony caught him with the hook, back it out. Chandler stumbles yeah. down, but he's up. He's up, and he looks like he's trying to collect himself. Tony threw a big kick, another left to the He head. did hurt him there. Because I was the right left. balance. But Ferguson yeah, ain't smothering, right. but he's got him. Go ahead. Yeah, to, um, Chandler's hurt, but Tony has to be careful because Chandler uh -huh. always has that counter hook in him, especially when his back is on the fence. But that was nice. I think he hit him like when he was about to throw a leg kick or something. Right. It almost like looks like he was a little in. bit off balance, but it, so I wasn't so sure if he, uh, Chandler was hurt or not, but you yeah. could tell afterwards he definitely got rocked a little bit. But you see what it is. It's when Chandler Ooh. comes in and he throws that right hand to the stomach, right? Mm. As he backs out, he backs out with his hand down, and that's when Tony's yeah. catching him with that. Yeah, he's, he's throwing it over and over again. He's yep. hitting with and that it, left yep. hook maybe like five that times circle. already. And that's what he's looking for is when Chandler throws that right hand to the belly, he's catching that. Tony's catching him with that hook. See, right there, Ooh. he just almost again. again, but he's got to aim it. If he catches him with that hook again as he backs out, his hands are down. That's why Chandler's either got to throw that right hand and stay in or make sure, man, get that hand out when you throw that hook. It was also Chandler has to dive in so hard because of Tony's length, too. Yeah. Right. Yep. So Tony's just stiffing him with that oh, right hand. He goes in Whoa! on a big double. Nice, nice double, double for Chandler. I'm he's surprised, you know what, to be honest, I'm surprised he didn't do that sooner. But yeah. just to kind yeah, of open it up. Sense, so though. now those level changes will actually have an effect because, oh, is he shooting, right? Ferguson but now he's doing a good job. elbows from the bottom, though, man. Look he how he's locking him up so already, pushing elbows, his face man. against his knee. What he's doing yeah. right now is beautiful. He's shoving the knee chat up to his face, and he's pulling down on the head, shoving that chin right into his own knee, just clenching it down on it, making everything so painful. Look at that. See, he brings the knee up to the face, and then he'll, mm -hmm. he'll grab the back of the head and shove it right into it. Yeah, it's just super frustrating, that frame. You want to pass it. You feel like you can, but it's just the yeah, knee uh -huh. in your chest. Well, notice you Ferguson away. never, Oof. he's never taken the feet off the hips. Chandler Ferguson goes lunging back in. We've got catch guard. up somewhere. Chandler's trying to throw bombs, oh. but he better not because Ferguson's got an open guard climbing up, looking armbar ish if he wanted to, holding on. To, see the biggest thing? He's got that back of the head locked down. Triangle he's going choke. for the triangle yet. Oh. Chandler gets oh, out of it, man. dropping some bombs on him. Big bombs by Chandler for those more big bombs, his, more big, big bombs. He's hooking the back of the head and throwing shots, and that's what Nasty he needs to do. Nasty ground and pound right here. Yep, he needed to do that because that's what Tony is kicking him back. And notice now he locked up the guard, and he knows to start throwing these shots from here. And that's a sometimes that's a good way to get out of those attempts is to punch him in the face, get him thinking about the punches and not about swinging your hips to the side. But he does have to be careful with that because Tony's like grabbing and moving and hasn't stopped. Uh huh. Tony, Tony's uh, left eye's cut up a little bit. Yeah. Is Tony cut? Because Chandler's definitely cut. As he might sit towards that that cotton note, but he's got to be careful. All right, muscles him back down, chat. So he's just sitting, doing a good job of sitting right in the guard, head mm. down, and Tony is ripping, dude, ripping. I guess we're good. We're he's loud. It's so eleven forty-five, five thirty. So it's okay. <laughs> That was like, uh, what was it? Yeah, definitely. Nine to three elbows. Yeah, 11, 45, <laughs> 5, 30 are legal yeah. if, you're on your back. if you're on your back, those are legal. Mm -hmm. And then Chandler's still trying to do the same thing. Just keep grinding forward, right? And throwing those body shots. Now, here's the question to you two. Did he get the round back? Uh, I think so, man. I mean, it's hard to tell how hurt he was in that stumble. Here's so the getting problem. the takedown was smart. And I'll tell you this. Look top. at the smile on Tony. Get Great the cut man. off. Keep pushing him. Tony's on fire. You cannot mess with this. You can't mess with Tony in this kind of in this kind of fight. You're in trouble. Tony will outwork you. He will mm -hmm. smack. He will hurt you with this pace. And that'd be something about a woo -hoo -hoo, a five rounder, right? But Tony's yeah. on fire right now. Chandler needs to get Tony to the ground and get past his legs. He needs to get to the side control or something. Sit it's on not one be, leg at least, right? Yeah, get to a half, like a half guard. If in his guard, Tony's guard is nasty, man. The elbows and all oh, the there it out is. of there. Tony's it guard is right right nasty. A little right hand over. Oh, and then that left hook all day, man. Mm -hmm. That's it. Chandler's as much as good as he looks sitting out there bouncing, he steps in. But yep. see, that's the change. Drive, 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 drive. Oh. The way he flung him too, man. Yeah, that's that so a such a strong wow. Oh, what a fight. What a fight.
But I was saying Dad the was spite... not ready after watching who and saying, oh, man, this is what we they need. They just woke right? up. They just woke up. They're like, oh, yeah, that's a little cut go. up. Here we go. Tony's a little cut up. Let's see. Round two. Again, Tony's coming right at him. But again, Chandler's got to figure out what does he do? You know, he can't, the lunging in. Tony's waiting for it. Oh, oh he the no way. way. Oh, the front he kick dropped him. him. He just oh, deep kicked him and knocked him unconscious. Buddy, him down. Chandler just no. deep kicked him and knocked him unconscious. Oh, my. Holy crap. Chandler's just out there doing multiple backflips. Holy crap. Look, he's still out. Wow. He's still oh, out. Tony is done, though. I mean, out, out. Out, out. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh my gosh. God. Wow. You can, how can you call that a lucky kick when you aimed it and it landed? Dude. No such thing as luck. Wow. Yes. Oh, that was what like a, a crescent shot. kick, I think. You know what was like crazy? Little, it just didn't look heavy. into the inside. It yeah. just didn't look right heavy. Right on the jaw, man. It was like almost at an he was almost at the side and caught him right at the jaw. Hey, Nevada and Molly hamming it up for the camera. <laughs> oh, I man. I got to see the clip. Out. I got to see it again. I can't even yeah, tell. Yeah, I need to see it back. Does. It reminded me of that uh, that Cage Warriors kick we saw. The, oh, um, I remember the no-look, the no-look fakey crescent kick. Yeah, yeah, the no-look fakey thing. It, yeah, I called I it think, the no-look I feel fakey. like that's what it was. I'm not. I, it was fast, so I'm not sure. Oh, Don't I quote me it. on it if I'm wrong. I but if I'm it. right, Cage Warriors, dude. That was insane. Yo, show it to us. Why are they teasing us? I know. Us? Let me see it. <laughs> I want to see it. Yo, that is But insane. that was, it, it was weird because the way that he flattened out, like how big could it be? You know what I mean? Chandler's just broken. Chandler's it's just crying. no wars. It just so now though, you. with him winning the way he just did, I could 1000% see him going right back. To oh, he's getting shot. a son in yes. there. Nice. For sure. Yeah. For sure. Oh. Oh, I love it. I love it. Aww. I'm always happy when they have the earmuffs too. Yeah. Oh, all right. All right so here right here, go. he just he just fainted him, right? Tony's looking right at him and he just throws it as hard as he can and oh, just kicks him right yeah. up the chin. Nasty. That was the oh, that was nasty. Rear leg. A la, um was that a, a, a um oh. Oh, just booted it. Imagine imagine uh, like a punt in football, and that's exactly yeah. what just happened or in Tony's Vitor, face. Man. Who did Vitor Belfort upkick just like this? Right oh. underneath the chin oh. and just wrecked him. Dang. It was perfect. It was like the perfect funny. snap the right on the edge. Boom. <laughs> I can't believe, right I can't believe he let foot, him. Man. He didn't even Dang. see it. Didn't even see it. Look, he's got oh. Joe doing the face. Oh, my God. He got gone back to everybody. Fuck. That's the most insane oh. up kick I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. That was nuts. Is he awake yet? One. No, like, he's not. Oh, man. Oh, what I don't Tony's understand okay. is what was he looking at? Like, what made him miss that? You know Tony's, what I mean? Uh, Tony's on a stool. He's up. It's a uh, man. I mean, I I got hit with a push kick in my last fight. It's just it, it, the way it sneaks up under the. Oh, you arm, never see it. You almost you almost think that you're blocking it. Like you see the foot coming up, and you're like, oh, it's not gonna be in a way. But the angle of it, it just snuck up right, like right under the elbow, uh -huh. and hit like a straight line right to the chin. That was super impressive. That was awesome. That was awesome. That was and insane. again, Chandler, man, this kid is just. Yeah, I'm telling you, reeling it. Went through some adversity there. Comes out the next round yeah. and just lands a nasty kick. That dude. power, man. And Kicking having power him. like that, you can never count a guy like that out. Like his build, his like yeah. athleticism, the way he's able to bounce yes. in and out and just explode before you can react. Ball like, the thing oof. just boom. That the question uh. is with Tony. I mean, in all honesty. What man, like he is taking a lot. That dome is taking a lot. Yeah. He's getting, you know, I mean, it's tough. Yeah, it's it's a tough one. I mean, if he wants to fight again, then he should, but maybe not the best of the best, you know. <laughs> like that's the you always get into this weird volley when you have someone who's been on the top and then they hit a losing streak, but because of their ranking, they just keep getting killers. You know, like mm -hmm. if you're ranked four, you can't expect to get some scrub or not even a scrub, but just someone who's ranked under top 10, everyone in top 10 is a killer. So this could happen, this kick. man, can happen to anyone. You know, and the thing Oof. is, look at that. I mean, that thing oh was just God. money. He never even was seeped it. So I mean, look well at that. thrown. He wasn't even looking. There. He was oh. going to throw a hook or something. Oh. 
Nah, it looked like he was about to catch it. It looked like he was about to catch it, but he didn't oh, expect it like to come up to the face. Oh, like he thought maybe a leg kick, not a straight up. He just oh. yeah, or moving. like a teep to the face, like what yeah. uh, Ovens was throwing. Teep to the uh, body. That's I mean, such a good kick, man. Oh my god, that chamber. That's crazy, man. Double vision, but this kid is something. It is something, man. It was a lot of fun interviewing him this week too. It was crazy. Ah, uh, nice. You get to interview him. One. Brian. Ooh. Oh, Look my at, goodness. Or rematch. Look, he's, I told you. Justin he's calling him out. Oh, my gosh. He's calling him out. He, I'm telling he you. Getting everybody this. pumped up, too. You know what, yeah. though? Yeah. Dude, I, his fight with Gaethje was so awesome. We almost watched it twice yesterday. <laughs> like we were doing, like we're on the Twitch TV UFC. We were watching, breaking down the fights. I'm like, I'll watch that twice because I can't believe. Look at him. He's selling oh, it. Man, He's I'm selling hyped. it. I'm hyped. I want it. Look at it. Dang. Uh, he has energy like a boss. Oh, Yo, man. Okay. He called them all out. He called out Connor. He called out, called, <laughs> called out Justin, too. Oh, my oh, God. And who doesn't want to see it after that? That They're was insane. Three. That was insane. What a beast. What a beast. I, I, I love mean, Michael Chandler. He's one of my favorite, one of my favorite fighters. Wow. Straight that's, up. Love that, dude. Got it. That's it. No it, it I'm, I'm stunned. I got nothing. I got nothing. <laughs> Bro. Oh man, and it wasn't it like Dang. that kick wasn't even in the toes, nothing like just right on the ball. No, it V Jump did it one thousand percent. He said, yeah. Poof, and he that was yeah, the exact kick. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Man, Dang. that was nasty, that was dude. That was What's really the good. crowd? Oh, for Tony, man. Now there's the cheer for him. O'Malley. Also on Twitch. Usman. Oh, look at oh, wow. Usman. Usman. Oh, He's iced out, out, man. Yes, out. Out. We're out. We're letting. We're, we're chest assist. We've got chest assist. Him and Ali like are it. looking more and more alike as the <laughs> years go on. <laughs> oh, wait. hey, oh man, we're supposed to see him Is fight Gina today Carano too. And Cerrone and we got him in a both in a movie. Wow. That is definitely what we needed after the OSP um, Shogun fight. I mean, it was man. definitely. The, the opposite, right? The opposite. They can't is, even uh, be mad about it now. Uh, like, there's no way to be mad about that fight after seeing that display of violence. That was insane. Yeah. Okay. That was, um, man. That was such all right. All right. Yeah, no, it's crazy. crazy knockout, Cowboy bro. is everything, chat. Oh, so, yeah. by the way, speaking of, we have a video coming up right now, chat, of the co main event Rose Nama Yunus, Carla Sparsa. We'll see you afterwards. Rose Namajunas, Carla Esparza meeting for the second time, and the strawweight title is on the line. When you think about Carla Esparza coming into this fight, she has the, the video that she can play in her mind of what it feels like to submit Rose Namajunas. Trying to push that elbow out. She's There's tapping. the tap. Carla Esparza is the UFC strawweight champion of the world. She's done it once. Can she do it again? Getting the title, like, at that moment was probably, like, the highlight of my life. Like, I um, had always thought that, you know, women would never be in the UFC, to, so to be part of such a historical moment and, and become the champion, it was just, like, surreal. Rose Namajunas is a different fighter than Carla Esparza faced the first time. There's just no doubt about it. Rose rises to occasions. She relishes challenges. I definitely feel way more comfortable as a champion now, but I'm not too comfortable, let's just say that. Oh, another knockdown! Rose Namajunas trying to close the show! That is it! All she's been doing is fighting the very best in the division seemingly for the last couple of years. I've developed discipline and consistency, and um, I've developed more skills, and I've also developed the heart of a champion, and then some. Oh! oh! Early head kick! Thug Rose has over! I felt like I got had the belt one second, and then it was gone the next. To be able to fight back to it eight years later, it's really huge for me. Carla Sparza right now, she's the wrestler in the division. She has such an oppressive top game. I want to feel like, you no, know, I earned that belt and, I, and I'm the best. Carla Sparza, five straight wins. 
I see myself beating Carla by forcing her to come out of her comfort zone. I'll punch her in the face, take her back, and choke her out. There's the tap! Rose Nama Yunus! You know, I just think I'm a bigger, better version of the Carla that fought Rose eight years ago. That's gonna be the rematch queen coming back and avenging her loss. I will be victorious. Doug Rose! Doug Rose! So, don't blink. Four, three, we're back. Congratulations to the DC, DC. Yeah, I love Daniel it. Daniel Cormier. That Hall of Fame. That is beautiful. My man. Beautiful. Right back here. Getting inducted. Oh, I see it in the court. I love yes. it. Yes. Yeah. Hey, DC's my favorite fighter. I love it. Oh, Wrestlers. man, that is cool. He said wrestler. He said wrestler. Wrestlers. Yeah. Uh, Wrestlers yeah. sticking together like a cult. I mean, it's Khabib. Well, it's Khabib and they both, right? Khabib's in this year as well. And yep. Yeah, it was like uh, maybe two pay-per-views ago, I think they announced Khabib going in. Yeah, Kosova. I honestly thought they're right there. That was a, an amazing, amazing kick. I mean, it's just, it was insane. What a woof. I mean, that was nuts. So the predictions for Rose and Carla are up. Let's see. Now, I mean... I got to figure it, man. I don't, with you two, oh. one in the, I mean, whoever wants to go first, but Rose Nami is Carlos Barca. How do oh, you see it? This, this. Baby. Let me see. Well, it. you know, I didn't <laughs> even know going up into this that they had fought before. So they fought ah. the ultimate fight. Oh, really? Final. No, I had no idea. And I know Carlos got, got the wrestling right. Uh, but man, I feel like. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Rose has just gotten so much like better over the course of her career, man. I, Rose has got something special, so I, I'm gonna go with Rose here. I like it. We'll I see. like it. Okay, okay. I, I am. Know. I there's a variable here, and I don't like to pick fights because I'm always wrong. But <laughs> there's there's that variable because Rose saw, showed a lot of openings in her last fight against mm -hmm. Whaley and they were all wrestling based and Carla has excellent wrestling. She always has. And she's only gotten better at being dominant with it and staying on top, making them sit the entire round underneath her. So that's why I'm like, OK, was it just the people that Carla's fighting? The reason that she's been looking so dominant or is she at the point where she has leveled up her wrestling to the point where she can take out Rose and her striking, you know, people don't give her credit, but it's easier to knock out a striker because they're going to stand with you. If you're dealing with someone who's a grappler, you can't just stand and bang with them because they're going right. to take you down like Chandler did in the last fight. So that's the variable. That's a question mark for me. So I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. I can't decide. Jen, so what do you think? Now I'm with you. Well, you know, one <laughs> shout out, shout out, sucker punch ENT, both fighters, you know, I mean, teammates aspect, but I, I think it has to go on early. What happens in the early rounds with Rose mm -hmm. Tom and the footwork? She has to know, right? The idea is the, the, the sliding and, and the striking, because you got to go back to Jan Jacek. I know it's not the same as now, but Carla is a, she's a, beast wrestler she is a great wrestler you know what i mean and so you got to establish it right off the bat we've got to establish the striking and move and make her figure out like start panicking and frustrating how are we going to get inside safely and get that takedown and not get into a scramble situation where because rose again can catch you with a quick submission so it's up to carl to figure out how to slow it down and bring it into the wrestling side of it which is beautiful and you know so it's one of those things that It'll be tough. It'll be really tough to see. But at the same token, I, I'm excited. I can't wait. But I hope she goes out there and, and dictates, how do you slow Rose Nama Yunus down? You know, and what is she going to do with that striking? And I, I love just throwing big, heavy shots into a takedown is money. They got to mm -hmm. block them and in you go. So, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun because, and I said, the, I think the biggest irony right now, we were talking about this earlier, was for Rose Nama Yunus, think about it. The champ is trying to get some get back because mm -hmm. she lost the first time. So she's trying to get the get back, even though she's the favorite and the champ, where the, the challenger already has a win. Is like, I'm going to do it again. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So I love it, man. It, it's crazy. But I love yeah, how, um, 
I love how uh, Rose is wearing the champ shirt in her reel and Carla's wearing a cookie monster t-shirt. Yeah. 93% <laughs> right now. What did we say? 93% on Rose Namajunas? Ooh. People call them. One to 13 that payout on Carla right now. And that's another thing. I mean, she has done, but what she did to Jan, to Jan in her last fight, Jan Yanan, I can't say the whole thing, but is <laughs> to control that fighter the way she did. When she gets you down, that'll be a whole nother aspect is what is Rose going to do to get up? Got to try mm -hmm. to get up, try to get up. And that starts to wear on you. Did we work on that? Have we worked on our wrestling? And you know, she has, so I can't, I'm excited to see what's going to happen for both fighters. But congratulations to both of them for being in there. And mm -hmm. right now we've got Nicolizio, Nicolizio with 250,000 channel points on Rose Nama Yunus. Good wow. luck. Wow. Good luck. <laughs> That's a lot of points. There's 1.6 million points in this pool right now. Y'all are gangsters. Y'all been playing. <laughs> playing. I love it. I love it. So what do All people right. get with the points? Oh, this is what we use, and this is how we do. We just keep building up points and just bragging rights, bragging mm -hmm. rights. And then we do the exclamation picks, which is another thing that we do. And over there on the ESPN, they got a link. And then we'll, on Monday, we kind of just see who did the best with all the picks and stuff. Gives you something to do with the points, like have some online gamble. You know what I mean? See who's uh -huh. the reigning, defending pick champion is out here. Who's the man with the Who's the man of the best picks? Then you get to become the VIP. You get to knock out the mods. And there's what was the other thing? You get to knock you out, get the to <laughs> and knock out the mods. Knock out the mods. Knock them out with your oh. fist. <laughs> so it's gonna be fun, man. She's negative two twenty, but that's see these shots just that aggressive takedown. But you have to know, right? You have to know. Oh, this is gonna be something. I'm excited. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm still stung on the last one that I had DC getting inducted. That's just baller. So I believe it yes. is. It's DC, Khabib, man, 276 is going to be fun. Make Jens do push ups. Not anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> it used to be Jens do push ups, but. Oh, man. Y'all got away with doing too many. I was up in the 150s and spent. No. Wow. Oh, <laughs> this doing but tons of push ups. I'm lifting every day, so I can't. It hurts. No, no. Oh, man. I could get my conditioning in if I started oh, streaming more. I'm telling you. Yeah, it's in. <laughs> so who is oh, this? Oh, uh, okay. Out? Yep, I like Carla, this. Carla with, with, her, with her death stare. Yo, just for these odds, it's 100%. The one, oh, and I'm sorry, I never say it, but the long shot that has the chance, that's the irony, right? The mm. long shot has the win over these two the last time they met. Yeah. Regardless, the long shot is a wrestler who can do exactly what needs to be done to beat yeah. Rose Nama Yunus, which is slow her down, put her butt, put her butt in quicksand and 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 just mute and take away all that movement. Get yeah. it out. That's what this wrestler can do. So that's the one thing that, man, if you're looking for that underdog, but yeah, what exactly. were the odds on this fight? What were like the biggest odds? I'm sure they're gonna show it coming up here, but I'd love to see. I would imagine Rose is pretty heavily favored on the betting. She must yeah. be, but she was also a huge underdog when she fought Joanna the first time. The Kentucky so. Derby winner today was the second longest shot to win. Oh, oh, crazy. I'm sorry I missed it, man. Kentucky Derby to me is like the Super Bowl to everybody else. I grew up oh. on the racetrack. My parents were jockeys and horse trainers, so it's oh, always yeah. been the biggest. Yeah. Crazy. I remember you telling me that. Crazy. That's so crazy. See, and that's it, man. Her wrestling, man, I it, this is going to be a lot of fun to see what Rose has done to counter the wrestling, mm. right? And what Carla has done to, to, to deal with that movement and striking. Because, boy, when Rose starts moving, she she's all over the place, cutting those angles, hitting those circles, setting up, throwing in feints, and boom. Jen, $10 paid out about 1000 What? Inaugural wow. UFC and Invicta FC strawweight champ, longest active win streak in UFC strawweight division with five UFC most takedowns UFC strawweight history with 42. Dang. Really? Not really That's a secret a of what she's going to do, right? Yeah. And, you know, there is some comfort in that. You know, she's not going to come out with like super slick counter punching and mm. crazy head kicks and spinning things. She's going to go <laughs> for a takedown. Like, you know, that's her gonna, game plan. So you're going to be stuffing know takedowns all night. Exactly. You're going to have to be stuffing I, takedowns all night. Exactly. Well, I think Whaley kind of surprised her with that. But Carla, a, you know. 
No, go ahead. But I'm saying it's a different kind of takedown. That low level running double. That's mm. a cannonball. Boop. Mm -hmm. And then it drive, 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 and finish. And she's not dropping, you know, dropping to a low single, getting st and then planted on the ground. She mid levels and just drives. Mm -hmm. And it, it it's impressive. Yeah. Yeah, that's the kind of thing where long legs like roses get tingled all up and trying to retreat. Oh, now we got the other one coming out. Wait, what, Jens, when are you trying to, when do I want to head to Tennessee? Man, give me a reason. I want to go to Chattanooga anyways. My my greatest friend on the planet, my college roomie, he down there, so I got it. Yeah, it'll be cool. I'm looking for Tennessee. 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 Yeah. I'll be Tennessee. all over Tennessee. Yeah, Tennessee. some barbecue. Some, I need some fishing, though. Fishing. One better just put, oh, I was about to read that. One better what? <laughs> someone dropped 25K on somebody. Oh, mm -hmm. I wonder who must be Rose. I feel like people don't do the big numbers on underdogs usually. But you should. You it's should. worth throwing something out there. You got to do it. Did somebody earn big on Pena when they fought? Like, uh, well, I bet someone did. Be. Someone the had to. Here, right? The odds are probably insane. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, she's on her on the yeah, best. On the best. best. No, I on love the best. It. I love it. On the best. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of funny how she sounds when she's saying it too. She's like, out of us. Yeah. 80 to one Kentucky Derby. And is Jen's getting that with what? I got water. In fact, I'm still on my, I broke my fast just to have a fat burner that I'm drinking. I don't have, Ooh. that's it. I know. Everybody, is Jen's getting effed up? No, I'm just loving what I do. I never <laughs> understood that. People like, they tell me like, Jen's is messed up. No, Jen's just loves what he's doing. And Jen's <laughs> like to have fun and he likes to talk. <laughs> the passion. Imagine we all just sat here and not saying nothing. How awkward would that be? <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it for five seconds so everybody can feel the awkwardness. Oh, <clears throat> oh yeah. Angie got Jen's on that white cloth. No, he did not. <laughs> More white clothes. Hey, cheers. Hey. <laughs> I this love it. I love is it. a probiotic seltzer. I got Ooh. all the fancy drinks out, so I don't, so I feel like I'm drinking, even though I'm not. <laughs> no, nah, that's the one thing. People always say that though. It's like I slur a lot because these braces are hard to talk with sometimes. I get uh, excited. I'm having fun. I've been sitting in this chair for hours. I'm just enjoying <laughs> myself. You know yeah. what I mean? I got this, I got overkill. I love what I'm doing. And that's it. So if that may oh, and then the other thing is you can't make fun of me, but if you're looking at my eyes, the blue eye is because it's tiny. And it, I again I have my twin's eye, which is this one. It's called chimerism. And then the other twin has this one. I've got two separate. So when I say separate octaneers, I know that they're separated this way, but they go straight ahead. I have my twins eye and theirs, and then the other side. So I'm just a mutant. And but people make fun of my eye because, <laughs> yeah, because yeah. that's how they work. <laughs> I'm not saying it. Now I won't say the dark eye, but because that's some, what my brain did is they brought them back around in order to make them work. The, the lighter eye, the blue eye has a smaller pupil and the eyelid closes where the dark eye has a big pupil and eyelids really wide. And that's ah. what, that's the mutation. I oh, normally, man. so that's why I look the way I do. And people are like, dude, you fucked up. Like, yeah. Part of my language, but <laughs> I'm saying that for a purpose. See, but people say always say that. The octagon with you. And I have to deal oh, with that. Man. Like I have to listen to that stuff all the time. Luckily, I'm secure enough in my manhood and I keep this thing right next to me just to make me feel better. <laughs> just in case. Oh, no. Just Stunting in case. This is my feel good, right? Stunting on us. I, that's how <laughs> I do it right there. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> These little video face-offs are so strange to me. <laughs> I love like, it. I oh, love Carla it. showing the little head movement, though. So maybe we're going to see. Side to side, side to get inside. Yeah. I like, it. I like it. Rose is doing the Carla. Oh. Staring the head. Not making a facial expression. Cold main event of the evening. Of the evening. Mm. Now, I love and appreciate all of y'all being in your man again. Love having yeah, everybody here. Let's go. Look at that stone cold face. of mm -hmm. That is crazy. Oh, just Every like fight. She's super calm out there, man. Every fight. That's what she does. She just stands there. Mm. Just doesn't move. Very just... stoic. Yes. <laughs> it looks like her <laughs> screen froze. Oh. <laughs> like no this. nonsense yeah. is running this like bad my, my screen earlier <laughs> yeah that's the only less smug <laughs> oh, 
Oh man, this is uh, something. Five is, rounds, chat. Five. This is big. Ooh, this I is can't big. after. Oh. First Fights 30 like seconds. This. Fights like this is always the first, like, yeah, 30 seconds. I'm like, mm -hmm. <laughs> and then the I can relax a bit. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I know the first seconds are just going to be like, oh, shit, what's going to happen? Oh, oh. Is that a thing for fighter? You The butterfly is all the way up to the point where you, like, go and touch gloves, and then it goes away once you touch the gloves? I think it, it goes away once once you get in your first exchange. Yeah. Like, like I feel like. Or something. Yeah, like a fight like Ovens and uh, Shoguns, they probably had the butterflies the whole the time. The whole time. <laughs> yeah, you're still nervous. I mean, you're nervous. Yeah. Okay, are you ready? Are you ready? And you're like, ha, ha, yeah, let's go. Ha. Yeah, <laughs> That's yeah. why I like the first 30 <laughs> seconds. So I'm just going to ooh, ooh, run out and do something crazy, you mm -hmm. know, and, and just try to and get get out that big burst of energy just to yeah. get all the nerves out. Like, whoa, and throw the big. You know what I mean? But oh, oh, the baby, yeah. Yeah. Jump or off just, the cliff, man. Yep, yeah. Or just have that. Yes. And that's what I said in the documentary. Just take the plunge. Mm -hmm. Go. Or some just circle. And that's one thing they do is they kind of circle and just kind of move around the cage and just kind of get in. But it's man, it's nerve wracking. It, it's yeah. tough. It is. It is. It's almost good to get hit right away. Just so you're like, <laughs> oh, shit. And your your body takes oh, you over. Must, now you know? I'm behind. So now you're playing catch up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah not get hit to the point where you're hurt just hit enough to be like oh you want to hit me yeah. oh okay i'm gonna hit you oh yeah ah oh, here we go here we go yes uh, and look again uh, eight years later here they are at the top doing it man crazy so mean. they hate each other i mean her face right off the bat that game she still, she i mean take down she just had that Rose movement expression. oh Talk over the top. The just talk over the top. Since she came out of the back, she's had that same exact expression. Mm -hmm. That one camera angle always freaks me out because the fighter looks smaller than the people in the audience. And she's walking her right out to the center. And again, like mm -hmm. I said, Carla keeping her feet underneath her, just kind of waiting. You know she wants to explode. Rose is outside chat, just kind of bouncing around like you would think on her feet, flirting in and out a little bit. Look, flirting in and out a little bit. But I'm telling you, she's just... You know, and yeah, Carly, you can tell the traps in the shoulders. Yeah, she put on a little size this fight. You can tell with the power. Now, as long as those muscles are conditioned, that's impressive, right? Mm -hmm. They won't be they won't be a a, a a hindrance if they're conditioned. But that's huh? look at this feeling out. Go ahead. Yeah. I'm just thinking she's she's ready to wrestle for all five rounds. Right. Like if she has to hold on to her legs all five rounds, she's ready to do that. And it's fun to like see right here this 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 distance that road that they're keeping between each other. You know, mm. Carla's waiting to see something so she can bust that run and double. Right. And you know that Rose wants to strike, but she can't because she knows, right? So this is the mm -hmm. hustle. This is the game plan. So you got to start adding in some face, but Carla's not biting on any of it. I think I mean, the longer Carla waits, though, the more Rose is going to start landing on her. Like you this think, is a so, bad range for Carla to be in. It is. It is, but luckily they're at that, they're outside of each other's range. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? So it's a safe ish, but it's, I can, with Rose, is she trying to throw something to get Carla to commit? There she goes Whoa. with the Superman right hand, but okay. Rose got out of the way. Nice job. Good icebreaker, I would say. Yeah. And see, the chess this is match. Like, moments like this, you're still kind of overthinking. You're still kind of realizing, oh shit, I'm in a fight, you know? Yep. You're not 100%. in the moment yet. Well, and here's another question for you, Andrew. Okay, well, you notice the wider stance of Nama Yunus just throwing with hands. What, she doesn't want to give her a free takedown by letting her catch the leg mm -hmm. and having a wider stance because that stance is close, chat. It's really easy to tie him up and get that double. A wider stance, that way you got to attack one leg at a time, get a single leg or something like that. But if you notice, that's Ooh. what she's doing. Rose doing a good job of circling and popping that jab is what she has to do and make somebody's going to make that first mistake, right? Yeah, and it's not just the wide stance, but also her ability to switch stance and kind of circle out yeah. on an angle where she's far away from danger from Carla's takedowns. All that's really working for her so far. And, and I know that she really wants to make sure, right? We want to make sure that when I do commit a punch, I'm not too committed because when she does shoot, I've got to make sure I've got everything back and ready for a sprawl. Oh, right. Okay. Carla actually Carla with a the bit two, there. three. Seems They've like got, really just trying to force her to come into it, right? See, Carla's really? trying to, she, but see, Carla has the luxury of 
charging and throwing these punches because it's Rose trying to keep the distance. Carla's mm -hmm. trying to get away with running in and throwing those bombs because what's Rose going to do? Take her down? Nobody yeah. really has the octagon control right now, per se, but they really are in this feeling out process, sticking solid to their game plan of, you know what I mean? Trying to figure out what that game plan is, but they're going to have to make small adjustments because right now they're just outside of each other's range. And you can just tell this is the game that I was expecting when you've got the wrestler and you know, if you hit the floor, you're not getting back up and the striker who wants to set things up and catch submissions along the way. Mm-hmm. Oh, nice leg kick. Leg nice kicks. Leg. But, you know, and again, nobody's being too anxious, right? This and that's like they're both yeah. being really, uh, really patient yeah. still. And the, the big thing about this is if this is Rose's game plan and her game plan is stay back, you know, try to make a Carla come into her counter off of it, right? Make sure that, that she's a distance so she can't get taken down. You got to make sure that you're still getting enough shots in that you're winning these rounds because mm -hmm. otherwise this goes by and – who's to say with how the judges are scoring anything out there they might this might be a round for Esparza here well yeah. yeah and i think everybody's so excited right now or do we have the booze yet because we've only landed three punches a piece yeah <laughs> Kyle's but i think everybody so knows yeah yeah they they understand the why the tension is here they understand yes. it's a, a game of inches at the moment and I think they'll wait another round before they start booing because this is a very unordinary amount of just filling each other out. It's funny because I swear I think they're talking about this right now. I haven't heard a boo and I don't see 49 punches in the air. They're like literally at the three, but that's because we all know, uh -huh. everybody knows what, what's at stake here. I think everybody's played this and they get it. This is... This is this is a chess match right here. There's nothing you can mm -hmm. do. High voltage was saying earlier. This is chess, not checkers. But you know, now they're kind of. But there's too much on the line. Yeah, I mean, you're really gonna see them open up this next round, though, because I think I think a lot of the tension with fighting someone you fought before, especially that long ago, is you don't know what they're gonna come out with. You yeah. don't know what the game plan is exactly or how much better they got with certain things. I think Rose was able to see a little bit of Carla's striking and her range range management. And I feel like she's gonna have some confidence opening up now. Like I know I feel like she's gonna know when to throw the counter, when to step out to the side where Carla was just kind of winging punches and missing and Rose is able to land a few check hooks of her own. Carla landed a little bit in there though. And the good thing about for Carla is when you're a wrestler and you're threatening that takedown the whole time, it's going to open up more striking than maybe yeah, even for a better striker. Throw that yeah. big overhand. And then the other Black, thing is boom. it's just taking that second and third step. Jump, mm -hmm. jump, jump, and then drive. And that's the way. If she can just throw that big bomb, get in, and then she can get those legs and start running. You know what I mean? Running double, do, 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 all the way across. So yeah. here we go. Round two, round two, same kind of yep. issue. But the respect is off the chain between these two right now. Yeah, Carla has to, like, keep inching forward with that, with those punches to get in. She can't give Rose so much respect that she ends up being a – being a punching bag in there yeah and see like, and that it's it pulls into what they were just saying not to cut you off even carla's coaches are saying you be the one don't force anything make her make the mistake and that's why we have this happening right now yeah, so they're both thinking the same forth. thing with you that. make the mistake who's gonna get impatient yeah. first and it's a lot right who's gonna be the first one to bite down and go let's just do this you know what I'm saying? But that's yeah. the problem. They can't look. They got to readjust. Like, number one, Rose got to make sure she stays at the center because she's going to need a lot of running room if Carla drops down into that running double style. She can take it halfway across the, across the cage, right? Yeah, and it's funny. Rose said, come on, but then she starts backing up again. <laughs> so <laughs> well, it's like, she she's, forward. she's trying to set that trap. Really. Yep. You just <laughs> come forward. Get, get eager. Come on. Eager. Come on. Yep. I dare you. It's oh, up. there it is. She's yeah. in on a single. Carla's in, in on, on a single. single. Rose, and then there it is. But Rose made sure she, what was she focused on? She didn't throw a punch. She popped a jab, but she was able to fend off the single leg. Mm -hmm. 
but that is, you know, that's what we're doing. And I don't know what round it'll be that they'll get comfortable enough to risk being on the ground. You know what I mean? At some point, whoever, if she gets that first takedown, then you're going to get that whole effort. Then Nama Yusuke going to have to step in and start getting aggressive. But at this point, we're still, quote unquote, deadlocked. Four significant strikes right. between each other. Nobody yeah. really has the ring generalship going. Yeah. And I mean, if you're a judge, you just flip a coin and you'd be like, mm -hmm. all right. That's why person. I wish you shouldn't even be able to judge these first two yeah. rounds. Just call it oh, oh, you know, oh, oh. It should be more drama, be rounds, especially for fights like this. I always go back to the Holloway, uh, Holloway Volkanovsky fight. That one we were talking about earlier. Right. Yeah. If you have more draw rounds, then Max would have won just because the close rounds are the ones that Volkanovsky won. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm not a fan of that. I think the 10 point must system. I mean, if, you know, that's boxing. Mm. <laughs> so let we might we can have a 10 10. Be all right. Be an 8-8, eight, eight, yeah. both of them. I like that way. We do like an 8-8. Eight, eight. Yeah, you know, there's too look, many variables in the MMA for it to be that simple. But now, having said all that about being smart and going through it, I'll give them both this. Wow, are they being patient. We've only got yeah. 220 left in this second round. Oh, Ooh. and we're trying to get in there, that counter hook by Carla as Rose tried to initiate a lead hook. It's bad. They are being, I'm telling you, they are being... I can't believe one of them just didn't bite down and make this just let's go. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, I mean, this is a risky game because it's you don't know who's winning. No, it's and and now the problem is you're carrying it into the later rounds with a big question mark on who's getting yeah, what. Yes, so you don't and know. This is laying it up to the this is really leaving it up to the judges. And that is no bueno. No, yeah. we saw a couple weird ones. They're not afraid of the split decisions tonight, so. But see, now, on the other hand, see, the thing is this, and what I'm getting through all of this, if I may, is we know that Carla's going to shoot this takedown. It's Rose that is really, I think Rose is in the problem right now because she doesn't know how to start throwing punches because she knows the second she does, Carla's shooting. Yeah. And so that's why she's having a hard time. She can't let her hands go. I don't know if Carla's waiting, thinking I might shoot into a knee or I might shoot into a punch, but I wish Carla would just throw a, a wild overhand both hands have to be up to block it, or she steps back and gives you the running lane to just run that run and double. Well, it's the check hooks, too. Rose's counter game is just superb. So yeah. she's always ready to throw a leg up, throw a punch up. And the punches are even less risky because you can throw to the body, throw a check hook to the or an uppercut to the body and end up hitting her head on the way in. I feel like Carla's just respecting her power, but in her precision. But yeah. I don't know. I like I like that Carla turned into Ro Yo Romero for a second, just stood still and saw like, hey, I'm not the one stalling. It's actually like a mutual thing. Now they're engaging. They're getting there. They're getting there. So we're going to run into it with 24 seconds, 23 seconds left in the round. We're going to have to see the crowd is, you know. But they get it. The feeling out, the feeling out. She's just trying to keep that range. And nobody has hit that, you know what I mean? Nobody's hit that that, that punch or that shot yet to, to be comfortable. Here comes Carla. Like, Carla won't go past the lead hook. Rose mm -hmm. won't go past the jab. What I mean, they won't throw where, that second punch. Oh. Punch, but she almost just Try teeth throw a kick it in. She Why was she mad at that? <laughs> like, how dare you, right? Like, how dare you? The bell didn't <laughs> ring yet. <laughs> I feel like that one push kick won Carla the round just because nothing else was thrown. There was a takedown for two seconds. Like, it, yep. it, I wouldn't count it as a takedown because I felt like it was properly defended. But, like, she showed, Carla showed that she was engaging more. She was trying to score while Rose was, you know, doing kind of the Randy Brown thing, making her miss, and exiting out, staying safe. Rose needs to start landing on Carla so she doesn't have anything weird happen when it goes to the judges, if it goes yep. to the judges. Yeah, because right now you're really, really... Flip the coin. Both of them are leaving into some crazy opinions, yeah. which we have seen the coin. when we're watching fights. But yeah, I, I would literally walk out there and go, yep. yeah, you win. I wouldn't even play with this one otherwise. You, you yep. can't lean on that. Now there's like, two rounds. You don't even know yeah. what's what's happened. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you got three left. You better make sure you win these three. Well, now the fight started. It's kind of like those Muay Thai fights in, uh, yep, in Thailand. Now the bell's, yep, now the yeah. bell is picking up. The music, the music is, is up. playing. It's <laughs> really picking up. Yep, they're, they're smashing on that oboe. And here we go. The oboe. I don't know if it really is, but it sounded good to say, right? Uh, sounded right. <laughs> yep, right. 
Okay, here we go. Now she's throwing those long jabs to the stomach. And that's what I felt like she should have been doing from the get go. Just nice, long, straight punches to the body. Keep Carla from changing that level. Here we go again. And it's, man, I mean, nothing has changed again. Yeah, see, I just turned in a blank sheet. I wouldn't even put a 10. I wouldn't do it. They got to have some kind of freedom to be like, look, man, it still hasn't. We haven't scored anything yet. Mm-hmm. You know, I can't <laughs> believe anybody to me to think that anybody be up two rounds right now at it with this, they have to have some sort of the thing is though. We have I know someone is, is so probably two rounds. I know, but we have to yeah. have something different because there this just isn't, you know what I mean? And no, it's I'm not saying that this is a boring fight because I'm enjoying the puzzle, but it just sucks that they have to try to pick between this, and that's yeah. just there goes Carla for a minute. She tried okay. to shoot in blocked by Rose, but she's gonna. Right now, she's going to push it. All right. Now, well, now they're fighting, at least. So now we're going to have something to look at. Here she goes. Oh, there it is. Double by Carla, but an overhook to nice. store off by Rose. Now she's got to push up against the fence. Is she going to feel the confidence to start throwing punches? Because whatever you call it, that was a big offensive attempt by Carla. That was point scoring. Yeah, that was point scoring. But Carla's have to has to feel a little defeated by that. Just oh, how yeah, quickly now let's talk Rose about on the shut yeah, her off. The fact that she was able to throw her off and get back to her feet really quick. Mm-hmm. And now right. she's got to risk it again out there with the punches, right? But Rose. Ooh. Ooh. There you go. Nice. Okay. She's willing to mix the hands up with Rose when she steps in. Now we just have to figure it out, chat. I mean, there was more to it, but we just need, yeah, I mean, Rose, get confident, and you're gonna have mm-hmm. to get into this, get into this scramble with her or something, because or Carla, get in there, just man, step in, pop, yeah. pop, jab, jab, run and double. Well, I mean, honestly, her money run and double. We're getting more aggressive there. It worked for her, like she it was able to really stick that takedown. She just needed to, I guess, Rose had, did a good job getting up out of it, but there she goes. Look, she's able to step back when Carla mm-hmm. tried to close it. Really good job. She went in on a single. Oh. Rose defended it. Now, Carla's just throwing naked takedowns now. She needs uh-huh. to do that leading with the punches that she did before. So I feel like almost anything Carla throws is going to land just because Rose is so concerned with level changing and beating her on the double leg. You're more worried single. about focusing on that takedown. So you got to bop two right. when you come in, right? Boom, yeah. boom, those overhands. Make her hands have to go up to block that overhand or you're going to shoot into a limp body because you're going to catch her on the way in. I also don't like the way Carla's backing up every time she takes a little real estate from from Rose. She's moving her back and then going right back to the center. I think if Carla just kept walking her back past that black line on the octagon, then she'd start getting those takedowns, especially when it hits the fence. Yeah, and if the hard the hard part right here, the frustrating aspect is, you know, is I don't know if they're weary of this or if they're even understanding. I I wish I could focus more on what the corners are truly saying. Because this, you get banned three rounds down. Right. Mm-hmm. Somebody's got to step in and do something. This is, you know, it, this is, I don't know. Well, if the judges are, are chill, then whoever they gave the first round, they would have given the second round to the other person. I'm <laughs> gonna, so you should uh, give. You know I'm going to do it just to make my boy mad, out. Mr. Helwani mad. Yeah. I'm going to say it one time he's going to hate it. But if you want to be the champ, you got to beat the champ. Yeah, so she's winning I mean, every round because you're not stepping in to beat it. He's like, that. he hates that phrase. But right now, I mean, that might be the only thing that Nama Yunus really has for right now. Right. But both of them do. You know, I don't know. It's very true. That's what I was going to say, though. You can't rely on that. You can't lean on the fact that you're going to be up a point just because you're the champ. Yeah, you don't course. know. Of course. Like Chris, Chris Lee's there. There's a few judges there that, you know, have messed up a bit. This is, let me tell you something. Three rounds, chat. 16 punches each. Wow. each. 16 total. 16 punches total. This is this is crazy. It's gonna. I, I'm telling you, it's gonna run down to. It's gonna run down to in the fifth round. Somebody's just gonna have to just go out on the shield, or maybe they never will. Who knows? I don't know. Well, hell, in the fifth round, it might be too late. Yeah. Well, it might be too late because there's three rounds floating out there now. This fight would not look like this if they hadn't fought each other already. I'm 100 with you, yeah. and that's another thing because the champ. 
would go out there maybe. But the, like I said, this plays into that. The champ is the one with the loss mm-hmm. to the other opponent. When, but, they, but the other opponent wants that title. <laughs> so it's, you know, even though she has the win from the first time, she wants the belt. Mm-hmm. I don't know what they're trying to, man. And then where's the ref throwing up the, the, the yellow cards? You know, <laughs> popping ten yeah, percent of back. your fight purse. Bring popping ten percent of your fight purse. Where's the yellow cards? Yeah, Where's I need the yellow, a yellow card for 10%, this. Ten percent, ten percent, ten percent. I mean, it was really telling when uh, when Carla stood still in the second round and Rose went all the way to the fence. Yeah. You know, like she's trying to make a point that I'm not the one not not bringing the fight. You know, this is uh, these this is a mutual agreement to stand in front of each other and hit each other. Takes two to tangle. Oh, you know what they should do for the fifth round if there's too much of this? All right, you got to you gotta hook this leash to your foot. You got to hook the other end of the leash to your foot. <laughs> and you're stuck right there on the monster. Let's go. Put, your, when front, it takes foot in the, put your front foot <laughs> in the tire. And you got to yeah, play the tire, the tire game, right? So you yeah. got to work on moving your head side to side, but you can't put take it out of the tire. <laughs> How's Kyla going to get a takedown? So? <laughs> <laughs> right? She can clinch. She can clinch. Okay. Okay. Oh, something like that. <laughs> oh, so I, so here we go again. I, it, it, it's look at that, just outside with the punches, just outside with the shots. You got to walk your way in. See, look at there oh. she goes in on double, but she stops it, and there's a huh. jab and a knee. She stops it, but evidently Pat Berry said you're doing what we we're, you're doing what we want because there's booze. That was the game plan was to be that slow and boring and try to make Carla get uncomfortable, or you know what I mean? Yeah, I think the I think the game plan was just to take all the confidence away from Carla's takedowns, make her not not even think she could land anything. And and the truth is, the reason Carla isn't getting these takedowns is because she's afraid of Rosa striking. Then there's the level right, change on the, the single. Leg, She's on the single. Oh. Rose is trying to fight it off. She's, She's got, got the, the take out. Oh. She's got the back. Oh, don't rush oh, she it. She couldn't buck her off. Oh, she, she might take off. Yeah. She off. Rose yeah. has got her back. Oh, now Rose got it in, and then she just let go. And she went back to the center. That's a takedown. So it's. Yeah, that is a takedown. It, there you go. That's an effort. So a little bit Fight's too fast for that. Man, I don't know, but that was that was enough. Good scramble by uh man. You know, the thing is too yeah. is Rose is too apt to just try to turn and get away, chat. She's trying to turn and get away from the leg right and turn in and get mm. into the scramble with her, get into a submission and get that's, something like that. Oh, really? That's the craziest <laughs> thing we've seen so far in this fight was that takedown and attempted back take. <laughs> yeah. And then, but that is the thing, is you know what I mean? And it's one of those things that I don't know, but mm-hmm. that's one of those things that's bad. If see, here's the kind of thing that would help would, would help is Rose, you shoot the takedown. That would change up everything. Yeah. You go pop a takedown, lead hook into a takedown, boop, takedown, boop, body lock, something, but something just oh, press her up against ah, the fence. DC just said yeah. it and John X said, nah. Don't even. <laughs> if you want to be the champ, you gotta beat the champ. And he said, Don't even. Oh man! <laughs> but that's what yep. we're running down to, chat. This is what we're at: nineteen significant strikes to twenty-one with one takedown. <laughs> what? Man, everyone's gonna be mad at the decision. If there it is, goes they're like gonna this boo no the... matter who wins yeah. it. They're gonna boo whoever yep. gets the belt. Everyone's Absolutely. You know what I mean? It's it. gonna be. They're gonna go ham. Like, how about we just drop the belt? Nobody's the champ, and we do a tournament in one day. Five. You know, let's get let's get Edge back up in there. Yeah, you know, but they, there we go. They just oh, need a redo. They just need to like do this again next week. <laughs> well, redo it. Just call like, it right we, now. All right. I saw just the looks that right I needed. And, yeah. yeah. Now this here we go. So right the bat again. Roses. That's one thing right there. Rose. I don't know why she's not getting in a little closer and darting with that jab. Look, she's touching mm-hmm. her. There it's it is. No, that's why. Get get on the, the single. Rose is gonna try to get behind. Got nope. the back. Got her back. Oh. Like the hand. Oh. Like the hand. Okay. Round. Okay. She's trying to. Is she gonna be able in. to step over? She. You can throw that one leg. Get that hook gonna, in nope. and turn the leg. Nice oh wow! Rose, Rose, Rose out is of on it. top. Lands nice. Up, but okay. Another take that down. Was a thing. Nothing to do. She doesn't even want to be on top, huh? That's another takedown, though. 
So how do you score that? Because Carla got what two, three? She's takedowns, in on the leg, but, but you know what I mean. But, but she, she got, got hit punched. by a big punch. Yeah, that was the only big punch that's landed this entire fight. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with this one, but again, she's got to figure out. At some point, you have to figure out. Just get in. Look at. See, you can hit her with the jab. Why you're not, you know? Yeah. Why you're not hitting her? Get in there and risk it. You've already been in on. She's been on two legs. You'll get back, you know. But Carla, at the same token, start coming forward and throw shots. Mm -hmm. Eat one, give three, and go for the takedown that you wanted. Get her down. Mm -hmm. But. We'll see. See, Rose is so scared to commit to a punch chat because she yeah. doesn't want to get time to get and let Carla get in on that leg. And they're both afraid to step to take advantage of the cage for some reason. Like they're both going back to the center after they push him backwards. Like, watch, Carla's gonna. Well, not this time. But every round? time Carla pushes, she goes back to the fifth center. Round. Every time Rose pushes, are we in the fifth round right now? In the fifth, fifth round, round with 22 to 23 significant strikes. Four rounds of shadow this is boxing. absurd. I cannot. Get her to the ground and keep her there, they're saying. Out of all the but rounds. How though? The the tell her round, not to back up. I'm confident in giving one of the rounds to is that one for Esparza. The other this three. One. And that's the this is the round where Rose landed the biggest shot. So that's crazy. Like I, these scorecards are going to be everywhere. Here it comes. Go out and show what you're all about. Like they wanted to do it, but it's not going to happen. You know what I mean? But they both scared because of the Tony fight, Flight Garden, <laughs> that, right? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I bought a, that's I bought what a happened, I do not but... understand the game plan though. Uh, I mean, was it like hopefully she's gonna get reckless and like just come after you and then but what happens if she does it you know well mm. and for that to be able to say if they're booing then we're doing what we want oh no man that's way too patient way too patient all right here we go man here we go last round back to the center i think they're already stuck i don't think anybody's gonna be able to do anything differently this round because they're stuck but mm. If this continues, does Carla win? I, you know what I mean? I don't know. I, I Honestly, don't know. I can see it. I mean, yeah. I can, I can see, see it, them but I can giving see, her the win. I can see three yeah. rounds to one. You know what I mean? I don't know, but she's been in on the leg at least two of the rounds. I don't know. So I would, if I was to be honest, I don't know how you do it, but I would mandatorily call it a tie and just say done. <laughs> <laughs> just it's call it right now. And come back, <laughs> come back and try again or something. <laughs> call it a draw. I mean, this is the type of fight that would end up getting an immediate rematch if it had a weird nah, decision. Like if I don't Carla, think so. only if Carla won, though. Only if Carla won. Hmm. Yeah, you're probably right if Carla won. But it, man, I don't think the fans would want to see it. Nobody would. <laughs> that's the thing. See it. I don't think the fans would want to see it, and that's a po important, you know. Unless Rose has a strong fifth round and then she loses, then the fans would be like, "All right, that's not fair." Yeah, the problem would be is I don't yeah, what they're doing to the stock right now is under the oh, oh she tried she as tried far as 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 wow as yeah. far as it broke it up with the lead with that lead Left hook, hook, yeah. Yeah. You know? Rose had to come in with that lead to the liver right hand lead and she could broke it up with that lead hook, which is I think that's the same hook and draw hit Rose with too when she was right before her uh title fight. And then, you know, we got the circling. And, you know, if they don't, if nothing happens right here, I can't only fathom how ham this crowd's going to go. Oh, yeah. Like, it, looks like, it looks like Rose is, like, a little more protecting of that side of her face right now. So yeah. I feel like that hook did a little something. Carla needs yeah. to capitalize yeah. on yeah. that. Well, and that's it. She knows that that's the, that's the shot of a spot lead hook. There it Ooh. is. See, I like that she at least changes the level and throws that lead hook. Mm -hmm. See? Ooh. Ooh, almost a but clash maybe. of heads right there when yeah. they both dropped in. Chat looked like almost a clash. Carla's going to win that battle. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> no, 100%. <laughs> and now, again, here we go. But I just, you know, I still find it odd that Namunas just can't get in the jab range and still fight the way that she's right. been fighting. There you go. Something. Yeah. Like she needs to keep doing that rangy stuff. The long nope. punches, the long punches exactly. to the to the body, the stab kicks, the open stab kicks, like 
all that stuff is going to score and then you're going to win the fight. See, I didn't have faint, faint, then yeah. throw the shot. Faint, boom, boom, faint. There hasn't been a faint to save someone's life. They haven't done right. There's no faint. No, so, no that it's only faints. This is well, a, okay, a 100% faint fight. Outside, well, they're outside <laughs> fainting. That's, they're, they're outside shadow boxing. Yeah. What I call this is shadow sparring. And they're yeah. out in front of the other one, shadow sparring, but nobody's stepping in to throw. So they're right. like, all right, you keep that distance and we're going to get that look and we're going to shadow spar just out in front of everybody. I don't call that fainting, faint, bam, and then land something, get inside, land a jab, then faint one and try to bait them. But out here, there's there's shadow sparring. Now, this is like would, the first, uh, this is the first round Rose seems to be taking right um, securely. I mean, you would think with how fast Rose is and her footwork and everything that you she would at least be able to do that, right? You just get in Jen, throw some jabs, throws throw you just you know even just like a little BB gun action, right, Jens? Yep, um, that's what I mean. See right there. See how go. she's able to touch with those punches. Rose should have been able to touch a lot more and still be ready to defend the takedown when she gets in deep on the right, which is the one thing she didn't do because she's so busy wanting to make sure she's she's on the stable when when Carla does come in and that's it. Faint pop pop. Faint, boom, boom, something. But she can touch her with that jab if she truly tried and be safe enough to get back. Oh, wow. They're, 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 they're Wonder Boy no. versus Woodley is what no. they said. Oh, definitely not. At least there was a knockdown in that fight. Well, that's the other thing, too. At this moment right here, I, even if one of them were to knock the other one out, you're not forgiven. You're not forgiven <laughs> for the first one. No, you know? nah, they'll forgive you if you drop it. them and it's over. <laughs> but if it's just a wobble, then yeah, nobody's yep. going to want to see that again. Yep. And then here we go again. So I don't, to be honest, how could which one of them, why, they're both saying so patient, no urgency to try to win this belt or try to defend this belt. I just don't understand. And in their mind, they both think they've won. This is so mm. crazy to me. I would think of, there's the takedown. Oh. Which goes to show you had all fight to do something like this. You had all fight to do things like this. Look at Perry screaming and cheering and throwing up and down. And if you think oh, that, wow. that I, she just I showed her dominance it. right there if she wanted to. You know what I mean? I, ah, ah. What, what <laughs> in the world? <laughs> hey, man. I don't get, that's crazy. That she's celebrating there at the end. It's like, you might've just lost. Yeah. You know, like it might be over for you. But the corners probably yeah. had it, but that's the thing. The corners like, look, you have to do something like this every round. Even if you want to sit there and wait, but at the last 40 seconds, you have to do something. Risk it time. So it looks like uh, the replays that Rose run. Five rounds, 33 significant strikes to 30 significant strikes. Wow. Let me take that back. 33 total strikes to 30 total strikes. Man, oh, man. What an odd fight. That was an absurd fight. Yep, that's the fight that just came to my mind. But it happens. Before though, I heard them happens. say that was no, Ingano happen. and Derek Lewis. Yeah. That's the thing. <laughs> when there's so much on the line sometimes, chat, mm -hmm. there's so much on the line. It's hard because you don't want to open, like, you just don't want to have that. I can't make a mistake. <laughs> I can't make a mistake. I can't make a boo boo. You know what I mean? It's just. Dana looks a little awkward back there. I'm wondering what happened with the scorecards. Does he know yet? He was like, you know, he knows. <laughs> he probably ignoring the scorecards. Going to give his own. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Actually, I'm the president. Oh, man, that'd be hilarious. An executive decision. He grabs the mic. <laughs> like, no, it's a draw. <laughs> From Five right. rounds. Hey, the boos are so loud. 48, 47, oh, no. units. Wait. 49, 46 is Sparta. Wow, 49, 46. 48, 47. New. Dang. Fuck, I fucking knew it, man. There you go. Dude, you can't play. There you, you can't go. lean on the champ thing. Like, you can't lean on that. I Not mean, you all. really can't. You Not can't have all. coin flip. Rose won one round. You can't have coin flip rounds. There were two draw rounds. 
Kyle at some oh point, my. you have to. Yeah, I mean, I'm giving it fair because I can't believe they come with, with any of it. Oh man, yeah. I felt like Carla won two. There were two draw rounds. Rose won one, so I feel like the right person won. But at the same time, they didn't do. She didn't do anything. <laughs> like it's so fresh. Like it doesn't make any sense. You're never gonna sell that. They're oh my lord. Yeah. You're not going to sell the rematch, man. People are not going to want to see it. That's a problem. No. Were you wondering how the judges would be scoring this? I mean. <laughs> no. See, if you felt you were the aggressor, you are that's, truly either one of you. That's both the of them thing. thought that. There was though. no aggression. That's the yeah, thing. That's both the of them thought that. And at the same time, you know, on top of that, gents, their corners were telling them that. That's the, so the I, word I that... don't even get it, man. Like, not only do were you not fighting, you're just like, flip a coin. Then they go back to their corners. They're like, yes, you're, this is the game plan. This is working. It's like, okay. Well, I don't I know. Am, I am I'm, so seething with jealousy. Look at what Joe said. Of anyone who can win that way. Joe <laughs> just said it. We were all sitting there together. We're all going, I don't know how to score that because nothing happened. <laughs> yes. Yeah, just like, nope. do you even give a winner a prize? Like, That's it, why you shouldn't. That's why, I don't know. The, okay. Let's not, nope, yep. Well, go get married. That's beautiful. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. But oh, good for her. Like she, she gets to get married. She's a champion. I love it. I love like, it. That works. That mixing works. it up. Either I'm, way, I'm telling you, anyone in the strawweight division can win that fucking belt. Like as soon as Joanna was humanized, like it, it's just gonna be a rotating conveyor belt of straw weights until someone emerges as super, super dominant. Mm -hmm. And like I was saying, and with Rose and the Whaley fight in the second Whaley fight, she showed a lot of openings that Carla could take advantage of. Whaley had a lot more success because she was more confident in her striking, but she saw the game print. She saw the blueprint. Ooh, you know what? Digital Darius just said something that makes Jessica Andrade right now is drooling. To ruin oh, no. oh, oh, for sure. to be able to fight sure. to be able to fight uh Sparsa. She's who did drooling. She, who did she so I'm gonna get my belt back. So I'm gonna get I'm I'm about to get my belt back. Who did she just <laughs> fight uh like a couple weekends ago? Yeah, God, her fight was so it was uh hey, some girls Jack, up who and did coming in the division. Fight? I can't think of her name. She won with that standing uh, arm triangle. Oh, Ooh. Lemos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lemos. The first ever. It out. Lemos, the yeah. first that should have been yeah. my fight. <laughs> blocked it out of my memory. Man. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. No, I she's definitely. I just watched, man. She's definitely seething. All right. Well, we got the main event coming up. We Oof. got Oliveira. We got Justin Gave G, baby. There's no way this can disappoint. Knock on wood. There's no <laughs> way that, that this last fight, can really do it. But uh, I just so, set this uh, fight up to be the most exciting uh, fight of all time. I love it. Yes, we're, having, yes. we're coming yes. up with that. So this has got to be the most exciting jump of all time. Yes. All right, well, having, having you said that, chat, we have a three-minute video of the fight showcasing the, the main event. So here you go. As people say, ah, se achando, não é se achar. Eu sou diferenciada nessa categoria. A minha história, ela escreve isso. Ela não é você falar, é a história, ela vem sendo escrita. Eu falo isso pra todo mundo, eu vivo dentro da favela. Minha mãe não sabe nem ler nem escrever, meu pai sabe bem pouco. Né, a gente morou no fundo da casa da minha avó, um quarto, sala, cozinha e banheiro pra seis pessoas. Que eu poderia ser uma lenda, que eu poderia ser um cara, tipo, que ia fazer história, que eu poderia ser diferenciado. Hoje eu sou campeão dos pesos leves, a categoria mais difícil do UFC. Oh! Chandler's in real trouble. He's out. Charles Oliveira is the undisputed UFC lightweight champion. I'm not a lutador normal. I'm a different guy. Sabe, tipo, a minha história era diferenciada. Como eu falei, eu tô um passo à frente desses caras. Favela, mais uma vez, não venceu. Pode chorar, mas chora de alegria, porque ele tá com a gente hoje. Que eu não tô aqui para ser esse mais um. Eu tô aqui para ser o campeão. Eu vou fazer história, sabe? Charles Oliveira has been around for a long time, man. This guy, uh, he's a bit of a conundrum. You know, more consistent now than ever, and more dangerous now than ever. Go, go, go. 
but any athlete that I'm gonna fight is gonna be super dangerous. Oh my goodness, look at this fight. Oh, these guys are just exchanging in the pocket. They don't care right now. I get the best of every one of these guys that I'm gonna fight, because they know that I give max effort. His message as a fighter remains the same. I am going to knock my opponent out, or I'll get knocked out trying. Oh, it's over! This guy has a war mentality. Oh. Big right from Gaethje, and down Whoa. goes Vic! He's a master of getting people into the darkest, dark recesses of their mind where all doubt lives. My philosophy is to be mentally and physically as, as ready and capable of committing violence on another human being. The ultimate goal at 33 years old is to get this world championship around my waist. Justin Gaethje! No! Oh, big right from Oliveira! He can throw a punch, he can come to front place. Quando eu bato, eles sentem. Né? A diferença é que eles batem em mim, eu, realmente, lógico. Eu tomo no Akidal. Quando eu bato no chão, eu levanto. Como se nada tivesse acontecido. Eu faço aquilo que ninguém faz, entendeu? Eu não tô num time na minha vida que eu não tô muito preocupado quem é o cara, sabe? I don't care what he says. I'm not going to be intimidated by this man. You know, I'm unlike any fighter that's ever stepped in the octagon. I'm trying to inflict major damage, major carnage, major pain at all times. Oh, Tony's hurt. He's hurt real bad. That's it! And I will be damned if I quit, you know, to anybody. I don't look alone. I'm not with a nation gigantic. Oh, I'm going to go to my family. 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 I gotta punch a hole in his face. He's gonna have to walk through fire. Se dois sete quatro, eu vou aumentar meu legado. Sou campeão e você vai ficar durante muito tempo. Eu vou levar uma guerra. Justin wins, though. Do we? Do you think that a rematch? We see that. You think we see a rematch? They might not. They might not give a rematch because of the fact that. You know, the the weight miss. Yeah, I guess no, so that's. <sighs> mm, yeah, probably not. Yeah, so I don't. I mean, these guys probably won't rematch either way. All right, what's up? Okay, chat really quick. Let me hit you up with this. Um, hey, what fighter are you like from UFC two seventy four? Make sure you take the quiz and be entered to win a trip to UFC two seventy six in July with exclamation quiz in chat. In, in the Twitch chat. Also, you can enter to win a VIP trip to UFC 276 in Las Vegas. Go. Use exclamation sweeps. The, I know with the, with the braces. Sweeps. Sweeps, yeah, <laughs> sweeps in sweeps. Twitch chat and follow the link. YouTube, love and appreciate each and every one of you. Make sure you come on over here, Twitch TV slash UFC, just for a second, and, and you can apply. You can pop in there and hit that exclamation sweeps, exclamation quiz. What? Oh, but make sure you hit the follow button because, well, you got to know when we're on because I'm always on 6 p.m. Eastern, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. But this Monday, well, somebody's getting stuck doing something. I don't really want to talk about it, but all I'm going to say is – I. Oh, anyway, <laughs> stuck. So it's not good, whatever it is from that one. Uh -huh. no but um, bueno. so by the way, so drop in. The water's fine. Hang out with chat, and we're good to go. But yeah, that. Oof. I'm just looking ah. at the scorecard for the last fight. So one judge gave Carla every round but the fifth round. And then another judge gave Carla the first, second, and fourth. And then the guy who scored it for Rose gave uh, Rose the first, third, and fifth. So yeah. they were all over the place. Crazy. They were all which I but said. It'd be I can see it, you know? I can see those scores as well. Could he have, what? Half a cup of blood weighs a half a pound. Could Charles have fought... Do you think, but he had an hour. I don't know. You know what I mean? I don't know. But the thing is, he truly thought he had made it all the way through. And we had a long conversation about that. But that's just one of the things. He truly thought he made it, you know? 
Judges were just flipping coins. I would have. Man, I just I I don't even get how like you're game planning for that because you got to know going in. It's like, well, what what happens with this round? I don't get it. I don't get it. It's crazy. I don't know why they said you. I mean, I can't imagine you've got this in the bag. Just keep it up. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Huh? Oh man, here comes Gabechi. My man walking out. Oh, absolute Gabe. savage. Hey, predictions are up, chat. Predictions are up. Man, I want to see. What does what the chat Canelo think on this one? Canelo got beat, huh? Oh, what? Wow. No way. The unbeatable. Ooh. Tank and Heimer dropping 250,000 points on Oliviera. Let's go. Y'all pretty close on these predictions right now. Oh. Woo! Who you got? If this goes five rounds, I'm going to sh- But, oh, man. Uh, well, obviously, I don't. If this goes five rounds, it's a war. Yes. I'm just happy yeah. to see the If it makes it round five, this was a war. The top of the, at the top of the, ooh, I love it. As the godfather of said division, mm. I enjoy seeing the 55-pounders taking over the, yeah. But I'm excited to find out, man. We'll have to see. I, it's. I, you know, with Olivieta now not making weight, 50, he's got a lot on his 50. chest. He has to get out there and smash it. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? He's got to. So he has to have that going on because, you know, I won this thing. They're trying to take it from me, whatever. But Gaethje's just a devastator. He can't fight any other way. So it, that, Gaethje's just a beast. Former yeah. interim UFC lightweight champion, highest strike weight rate in ufc lightweight history 7.5 per minute ufc highest strike accuracy in a ufc lightweight history 60.1 percent for justin gaethje wow. he's throwing the most and he's landing the most help he's throwing the most he's landing the most <clears throat> and they like it did they like it did so there's gonna be a lot of booing but hey i'm glad they snapped out of it really quick after the last fight oh yeah they're oh. ready well, for this they know one, this main man. event's gonna save it they know there's going to be a war out here if it goes to five. And, I mean, if it's not going to go to five, it's something exciting happen. Oof. I'm with it. Just I'm remembering with it. the Ferguson Chandler fight. Man. Oh, Love and goodness. appreciate all y'all that came through and hanging out with us here, watching this watch along. Seriously, means the world much. Love and appreciation. YouTube. Book of the face, even Twitter at yo. By the way, remember at UFC streams on Twitter. They do a lot of cool stuff, man. We're building, we're building. So make sure you Build. pop in and show some love. Love you, Magoo. You know what I'm saying? So love and appreciate. Make sure you hit that follow button. I'll be back here unless they keep me. I don't know how this whole jury thing works, which is just ah, that's what it was. Man. I like how you make it sound like they're kidnapping you. <laughs> like yeah, I feel they- like it. One, uh... you want to know why I'm the maddest? This is no lie. You want to know what makes me the maddest about it? Because I have to be there so early, I can't take my son to school. You literally just uh... effed up my streak, and I'll hate yeah. every one of you when I walk in there. I've got hatred for every person to make me walk <laughs> in. I'm not lying to you because I can't take my son to. The fact he has to take the bus, I'm done. Oh, I prided thing. myself on waking up at 5 30 every morning and taking my son. Yeah, here we what go. A lucky go. son, too. Man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ready? on the bus stop. Yeah. <laughs> Cold, <laughs> waiting, <laughs> freezing. Dad, yeah. give me the puppy eyes. My daddy. All right, here we go. So now look, <laughs> here's the other thing, really quick. When you start as he's making the walk out right now, notice how his eyes, he's all filled up. He seems like he's ready to go. So However, right. the trouble he had cutting the weight and what have you, right? But he seems like he's ready to go now. And what kind of, how does that play when you're walking out there getting booed, Ange, and you didn't make weight and you just lost your belt? Mm, man, Do you feel, I, what gets you to just get into the fight, you know? It, there is it, either going to go one way. He's either going to use that as motivation to secure that number one spot, mm. knowing that he's, at least going to be a little bigger, a little stronger, have more pop in his punches the first few rounds. So he might get after it quickly, 
or he could be a little defeated in there. He could be a little more cautious. He can, I don't know, have other things floating around in his head when he should be focusing on being in the moment. So we're going to have to see what happens. It looks like he's in there, though. He's yeah. in it. He's, he has the swagger of a champion. He doesn't look like he cares. And I feel you like know, a lot of time when people miss weight, they're just like, OK, you know, that was a hump. I'm not going to make that make mistake again. Let's put it behind us and deal with the fight. But because he feels like they absolutely kind of messed him up with the way that the scale was and yeah. all that and he thought he was on and he, he, like he's got he's he's blaming you did this this was mm -hmm. your scale i yeah. was on i was on weight how do i how do i take off my underwear and somehow I'm the same weight. How do I, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So that alone can make, you know, I mean, can destroy him. But UFC lightweight that champ, helps. he <laughs> vacates the title the minute he steps into the cage due to missing weight. Most submissions, 15, and finishes 18 in Dang. UFC history. Most performance awards in UFC history with 18. Now, wow. what I want to talk about really quick to wow. both of you is when he gets him to the ground, how easy was it now when, when Khabib got Gates to the floor, he was transitioning like a boss. Boom, Bye. boom, submission, submission. You're going against the submission king on the ground. Right. right. Yeah. Yeah, his, he's going to be Will he be sticky. able to get Justin to the ground? That's the question. If he can consistently get Justin to the ground, he wins this fight. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> he ran he right like in, that. gave Gaethje a hug. He didn't like, like that and high five the coaches. Oh, and man. Like, Gage, like, you know, when that happens, Gage's I'm like, like no, what the fuck you doing here? Like, yeah. right now. No hugging. I hate you right now. No hugging. <laughs> Scram. Like, no, let me the hug you. Plan? Right there, you kind of get in their head a little bit with that. Yeah. So you, you know. see the opponent coming in wanting to take your head off, and he goes over there, gives you a hug, something like that. <laughs> I'd be <laughs> using that as confidence, though. Like uh -huh. whenever the whenever my opponent is trying to be friendly, like super friendly and humble, I'm like, oh, you're trying to save face. You know, mm -hmm. you, you know don't want me to be mad up. right now because, you know, I'm about to stay. You know, I'm angry. I've got a mad chip on my shoulder yeah. and I hate what you just did to this fight. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? I'm mm -hmm. held. Yeah. And that's it. Oof. That's a long reach advantage. And his arms are so long. That's that's how he's like getting in deep on these submissions and getting weird stuff that people don't expect until it's too late because the arms are all wrapped up around your neck. Like, but now he's just gonna have to watch his neck. This is for this is like, we'll, I'll start with you, Vis, on this one. Gaethje, fired up, ready to go. Does he run out there and make a statement the first 30 seconds? And I'm always talking about I just Boom, boom, boom. You know what I mean? Just, I think or he's going to he go into back. a little bit slower than that because he knows. He knows that the takedown. He knows the takedown's a thing. And if he gets taken down with the submissions and whatnot. But I don't I don't think it's going to be that slow. He'll go out there. He'll start throwing some leg kicks. He'll start throwing some, you know, throw the jab out there and whatnot. He just doesn't want Charles to take it to the ground real fast. Maybe they have the same game plan as Rose. Ha. Oh, my <laughs> God. Coaches. Could you imagine? Same coaches. Same. Uh oh. <laughs> Yeah, Gabe G's in the back. He just watched what happened. He's like, yeah, nah, we're doing it my way. <laughs> yeah, We're going my way. way. Sorry, Kate. guys. Change of plans. Kate, we're going my way. I'm going out on my shield. It's yes. happening. <laughs> Vacate. Vacate. I don't think he knows any other way. <laughs> I, he know he doesn't. The second that kid hears a boo, he'll go, he'll go ham. You know, bam, what I mean? you bam, don't bam. Him <laughs> boo is the call. Boo is the call to throw like that. Here it comes. Punches. Look it. Does he one step it? Give me a bunny hop. Yes. Oh, yes, we got a bunny bumper hop. bunny hop. Knees are feeling good, my man. Yeah. It was just off the ground, but we got a bunny hop. Yeah, yeah, go Bruce. He needs some moon shoes or something. That's you right, Chad. He jumped. The little bouncy uh, shoes. Oh, but no, but I'll take them. them. <laughs> That's like packing your heels because you don't like, you want to be taller, right? Yeah. <laughs> There's like some moon shoes. They have a little spring in them. You oh. can really get up there. <laughs> <laughs> moon shoes. Yeah. Now I get it. All right. I like it. I feel like they were recalled. <laughs> they felt dangerous. Edgy sniper. Much love. Look at this. Here we go. Oh, what a what an up and down back and forth fight card till right now. Yeah. It's like the cool thing is, I don't know if they, this is anybody else, but it's like all the rest has been washed away. Mm. And that's what a main event should do. It's like, yes. OK, everything else is forgotten and forgiven. Yes, yeah. I'm so happy to see this. Yeah. Right. And that's what really makes a main event. Right. It's like 
everything else is out of the way. I can't wait to watch this. Hell yeah. And it's so nice when I don't have any teammates on the card because then I can really appreciate the card for what it is. When I have a teammate on the card, I'm just like stress sweating and I'm freaking out and they finally fight and I'm like, okay, I can't watch the rest. I don't care. Right, right. I like the camaraderie with all the corners wearing the wearing the bleached hair too, bleached haircuts. Here we go. Oh, chat. Oh, chat. Here we go. Let's have a gander. Mm. Oh, I can't wait to see this game plan. Mm. Let's find out. Here we go. Here we go. You Touch got a the hands. Skirt on. Oh, I'm telling you. Little champ skirt. That Michael K.O. is still in your dome, though. All right, born for this. I get it, but <laughs> it'll linger. On Monday, when we're breaking down all the fights, I'm really excited for it. Oh, that's Simon right, Cowell out there. <laughs> here we go. Right off the bat, right out to the center. Feeling out process going. But look at the one thing is if you know the calf Oof. kick. Ooh, calf kick lead hook by, by Gates. Another hit. calf kick already. Olivier is plumbed in on the head. He's got it pushed up against the fence. He's already got the head. Justin oh got out of it. But Justin's bombing two more rights in the a calf dog kick. Fight, man. Ooh, the thing is, is Olivier <sighs> can't close the distance with Gates calf kicking. Yeah. But they both look like they got stung with the right hands. There he is. He's checking it now a little better. Oh, oh, right. Dude, right. There it is again. Oh, oh and there he is. He just knocked Charles oh. down. Dropped on the with the hook and he backed him up, made him come in. This is what I was saying oh, about Ollie Bett is there to get punched in the first round. Nice knee. He's there to get hit. Oh, oh dude. And he just oh. punched him with the hook he and he dropped faded him again. backwards. He just dropped he him faded. again. He, he fell over guard. Timber. Gates is going to make him get up. Those lead hooks are there all day. Or that rear, the lead hook by Gates is there all he's day. He's still wobbling a little bit. Oh, he's, he's more than wobbling. Same. He made that's a so mistake. Nasty. He made a boo-boo trying to go toe-to-toe. -to -toe, and that's what I was saying going in this fight. You cannot look at the blood slowly trickling down the left eye of Oliveira right now from that massive bomb by Gaethje. And then because he's worried about it. See the way he walks in, that right. hand's dropping, but he's trying to Gaethje catch. Gaethje is oh, fucking that overhand he's... right, man. Oliveira is still landing that right nope, over the Oliveira's top. Nope, Oliveira's landing that right there hand. You go. Oh, now yeah, both of them the are still hurting. Wobbled. Right hand, wow. this is dog Oh, fight. he landed that same push kick that, uh, that Chandler landed. Didn't wobble Gaethje, but oof. he's doing a good job of, of stepping up and, and avoiding yes. the calf kick. But there, oh he's gosh. not ready for that lead hook coming back by yeah, Gaethje. Those hooks are just sneaking in. And yep. Gaethje is punching the top of Oliveira's head. Like, that's oh. really doing more damage oh, than anything. He went down Whoa. to the guard. Pulled guard. Pulled guard. Justin's got to posture up. Yeah. He's stand away. Better. Stand away. All right. I'm, a, I'm impressed the champ knew not to up kick oh. there. Look at that. No calf kick right into the tie up right here. Lance oh. knee going to get heavy on the head. Lead hook. Docks. Gaethje dumps underneath it. Oh, man. Here we go. Now we're going back. Oh, to that right hand again. How is he eating these right hands? Man. Oh. Man, right hand and a huge. He put up so much into that hook. He fell forward, fell over, but popped back up. Gaethje did. Oh, Dude, they, they're just exchanging. Short both right hook. Oh, hands, my man. Lord. Big bombs, both of these guys right now. Oh, oh, oh dude. To the face oh. by Oliveira. Sure, he just caught Justin with that kick, right? That landed. Yes. Oh, he oh. landed it. Clean. Oh, Jumping man. It was like a crescent kick. I mean, not a crescent kick, a karate kid kick. Oh, man. Ooh. He's got to be careful. Oh, oh, he dropped, oh. He dropped got Justin with the that right hand. hand. Now he's going to take He's back. going for the back. He's locking in the neck. Oh, he this got is him dangerous. Tied up. Justin's going to try to fight the hands, but he's got his back, Jack. Oh. Elbows to the temp this hill. Is Elbows dangerous. to the temp hill. He's, smart. he's got he's an arm ball right it. there if he wants it. He could reverse this triangle. He's got so many things happening yeah, right now. Yeah, he's going to do some nasty stuff. Look how he's going to peel off this arm. Oh, this is Gage not. Is Gage Gage is such a bad spot. Oh, he's going to get Gage out of it, though. Fighting. He's got his yeah, back. He's right back, back, back on his back. Go oh, in tight, no. squeezing. He's squeezing right oh, now. And he's trying no. to peel the head off. He, he peeled it off. The hand Short off. joke by Oliviera. Gage, he goes oh, out of joke. No way. way. Wow. Oh. Wow. He's like, give him my belt back. Give him my belt back. That Watch was... Dana put it on him anyway. I was, uh, what's the over under of Dana putting the belt on him anyway? Yeah. Dang, that was insane.
It ain't man, happening. Gaethje it's always gets so close. I, I, I feel for him because he's just such a box of fucking, oh, sorry, box of entertainment. Every punch he throws is like killer. But no. Oliveira, he's such a survivor. He'll take yeah, it. It's like, you didn't make weight. <laughs> yeah. I think he was saying, but you didn't make weight. Where's my belt? You didn't make weight. You ain't getting <laughs> that belt. Yeah. <laughs> Now nah, in those situations, Dana's always like, "I know, I know, oh, I know." Dude, <laughs> yeah, uh, they're Holy going around, he's oh, walking around, but I'm surprised he hurt him as much. Oh, Gilbert Burns, you know, like I, man, she's got a chin on him, man. I said the scary version. I wasn't. Well, I didn't say, but oh, the one thing, please. right? We we're talking about is please, in that please first round when he tries to go toe, toe a little bit. <laughs> you might pay for it too fast, but I thought there for a minute. Oof. Oh, is this eye split open or is oh, yeah, no, it was eyebrow? Making, I mean, yeah, no, he got yeah. cut open bad. Cut, Olivier cut. Did. I mean, man, Olivier, he's just he's so good at like just navigating when you get rocked. A lot of people they rush to stand up, they like jump right back in a bad position, but he took his time, he stood up when he needed to, and having that nasty jujitsu keeps people at bay. If he was any other person, Gaethje would have jumped on him and finished the job. But because yep, it was yep. Olivier, Olivier, he had to respect but right, his guy. This, this shot right here, he Oof. blocked Dude, it. He landed some bombs on him, man. He, oh, geez. he landed some bombs on him. Both you know, oh. when he was hurt, look at that, he's wobbled. Look at that, and then he just kind of oh, he was trying to throw he's a like, kick. push kick. Oh. Why though? He's Gage, always got that. Oh, curve. that right hand just right down the pipe and dropped him. Yeah, and just walked up, and then you knew. Oh, I mean, that's one way to get him down. He was trying to look at that the way he just slid around and took that back. All uh, poor Justin did was just try to get to all fours. My man just moved out of the way, no plata, and he just shucked the arm by and took his back, and it was in yeah. tight. Justin peeled it off, and then he just short choked and. Oh, so now he got aware. it even tighter. Oh man. oh, man. man. He is something, isn't he? Dude, he's a flipping beast. He's I've, so I've, good. I've thought that, you know, I, th I, I thought Justin this time. I thought Poirier the time before that and flipping uh, Every back when time. he fought Tony. Man, I thought it, like, he, Tony was in This guy's an absolute savage. And I love to see if he was an underdog this time because he's been the underdog in both of those title fights. He's mm. always the underdog in the fights that he's won as a champ. You know, I love him. I love him, man. Unreal. Just unbelievable. Swing it. So, I know. Like, if you so knock him out, next? you're going to have to knock him out 10 more times to feed to beat We're going to see Islam Makachev. Is that what it's, who it's going to be? Islam's I mean, ready maybe. to fight anybody maybe. right now. You know, he, I mean, this is a great matchup for Islam just because he gets hit. Yeah. You know, this is, and then, like I said, my guy, my favorite guy, 155, is I don't even know if he's ranked in the top 10, but he's the, the man, Armand Sarukian. Oh. On 10 days' notice, went went toe to toe with Makachev in one of the greatest wrestling MMA matches I've ever witnessed. And he did it quick, and, and he's made statements right now. Armand Sarukian. Whoop. Man, I'm in all here. that fight. <laughs> well, while they're doing this interview and we're going to keep the talk going, what do you, okay, let's go really quick with fight of the night. Oh, how do you pick? How do you pick between this and Chandler versus Ferguson? I'm going to go Chandler versus Ferguson. And I'm yeah. going to do that because there's, uh -huh. the belt wasn't involved. So I got it. I'm going to, well, oof. No, I'm going to go performance of the night. So we got fight of the night and performance of the night. So performance okay. of the night, I'll give to, I want to give to, I got to give to Chandler because that was amazing. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? And maybe and we've never seen that from him. Yeah. And the fight of the night would be, it's got to be this. I've never seen a round like it. I can't. <laughs> no. I mean, that's just me, but you too, please. I'll go uh, fight of the night, Ferguson Chandler. I'll get performance okay. of the night, Oliveira. Ah, oh, man. I'm trying to think what happened before this. <laughs> I don't remember. Oh, yeah. You see, uh, Jens, you said your fight of the night was going to be Carla versus Rose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, I thought happened? about it. All right. So my fight of the night is Carla, Sparsa, and Rose. No. Oh. My performance of the night is Carlos Barza because 
no one expected that. <laughs> okay. No one expected that. Um, and my fight of night is this one is Oliveira versus Gaethje. Holy shit. That was insane. Mm-hmm. Now, my honorable mention, though, I got to go Brandon Roy Val because that against yes. Matt Schnell, that was definitely that was definitely something. You know what I mean? That was and, nice. uh, the fainted predict the fainted the prediction. No, I did not faint it. <laughs> there he goes. Oh, what do you say? Hey, Conor McGregor. Again. You gonna roll up or what are you gonna do, huh? All right, so here's the one thing. So here's and the other question I want to ask really quick is what fight are you are you looking forward to next week in the UFC fight night? We've got Jan Blahovic, Alexander Rekic. We've got Ryan Spann, Ian Kudalaba, Davy Grant, Lewis Smoker, Caitlin Chukagian, Caitlin okay. Chukagian, Amanda Hebas. Amanda Hebas, Gina Carano's got me. I'm sorry. Frank I'm Camacho, like, who's that? Torres, Jake <laughs> Hadley. And Alan Nasciamento. I'm going to go with that main event. Jan like Blakovich and Alexander Rakic. That should be a good one, man. I mean, those yeah, are two absolute I like bomb Blakovich. throwers. All right. So, but the most important part, really quick, and I want to make sure you up, you wait, you're, you're down wherever you're at in, in, this, in the lineup here, Ange, because like, I don't know if you're below me or inside of me anymore, but shout out the socials. And I don't know. I, I try to remember how you do your what happened was, but I can't. I try to. I, yeah. <laughs> there it Please is. Tell everybody how they can get hold of you and the fact that you are a Twitcher. Yes. Um, you guys can follow me at Angie Overkill on Twitch and Instagram and Twitter. And we do what had happened was every is. Sunday on Twitch. So make sure you check it out. And I'll be fighting next weekend too. So make sure you tune in because I'm ready to go. I'm gonna why didn't we say that? Oh, yep. good. I'm uh, it's it's on the prelims. So the list. It's okay. Yeah, but we're I gonna be on the list, list, coming. Doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I'm excited. I'm fighting Vienna Janderoba. She's a, a annoying grappler. I'm gonna punch her in the face and hopefully uh, not hesitate too much, <laughs> like our strawweight champs. Oh man, I love it. I love it. Yeah. Man, so you did come hang out with us the week before. I thought it was like two weeks. I don't know why, but I thought it was like nah, uh, next no, week, okay. man. Yeah, you're a baller. That's All right. why I got All the right. white claws. The, okay. Uh, the uh, what do you call it? Um, liquor free white claws. The liquor free white <laughs> claws. <laughs> the soda water. <laughs> I, love it. I love it. Good. Hey, all of the chat, they're saying get it, Ange. Good luck, Ange. And then we'll be breaking it down because obviously I'll be here because evidently, even if I have to do this, damn. Think they don't do it on weekends, right? What jury duty? Yeah, they don't do court <laughs> stuff on weekends, do they? I mean, they could. I'm not sure. What? Come <laughs> on. Now get out of here with that. Are you serious? Get, get. I don't know. Have you been watching the Johnny Depp trial? Uh, that's I have. Probably, I, well, but that's is that on I, Saturday? Oh. Yeah, <laughs> no. But well, because right now what happens? I'm at that level, so I've been called, and my number would. So now I got to go in. And there's, uh-huh. I don't know. So there's a whole group of us. So we'll have to go in and still find out. So that means that. Yeah, usually they, do, they do an interview to make sure that you, like you sh- or someone that they should pick for the jury, right? After you do yeah. a questionnaire, then you have to just do an interview and you got to talk. But like I said, it'll be set. They got me up at seven in the morning and I can't take my son to school. Oh, Grumpy Jens is on his way. Grumpy <laughs> Jens. <laughs> you got to line your hat with foil or something. So like I you take it. the hat off and then they'll be like, oh, shit, he's crazy. <laughs> right? oh, but that's the other thing hey this how do they get a hold of you which they already know but do it my friend right yeah so um you can follow me here on twitch i do a ton of streams i play a lot of battle royales used to be play uh professional uh pubg for tsm uh you can also follow me on instagram tsm underscore this tsm this on twitter and uh if you're out there on tiktok i mean most people are nowadays you can follow me at this Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Go check out your TikTok. Yeah, I'm going to have to look at it. I only have a TikTok so that I can tell everybody. Boy, I'm not going to die the mullet, but I'm going to let the mullet roll in the fight. You always, man. At, you know what I want to like? At Jans Pover on Instagram. It's my favorite. But you'll see me on Monday. Oh, please. On Monday, um, we'll be breaking down the fights here on Twitch TV slash UFC. But tomorrow on Sunday, I know what's going on right now. It's sumo time. So I'll be back on Twitch TV slash Jans Pulver, 7 p.m. Central time. We got to watch sumo, Ted no Fuji, Mabu. So we'll be in there doing that, going back and forth. And then, yeah, we're going to have 
So I swap between Twitch TV slash UFC Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, 6 p.m. Eastern. So make sure, but make sure you check it out. At period. YouTube, Facebook. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Drop into Twitch TV slash UFC. Hit that follow button. You'll like it. The water is nice. We got so many things going on. On top of that, love and appreciation. That's all I got to say. You too. That man, hell of a card. Thank you too very much for Ooh. for for jumping yep. in and hey. hanging with me. It was a great. Thanks time, for baby. having me. Loved it. Loved it. And I think I guess at that moment. The awkwardness of it. I think we have to, we're going to be switching this over to where are we taking this to extra rounds. So stick around. We're going to go over and we're going to check out the extra rounds.